so welcome back to Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I have not played um, any of the games other than Spyro 1. And this is the Steam version, which was on sale for 20 bucks. And I did that because I wanted the better graphics. I wanted to be able to just play it on the PC with no hassle. I feel like, and, and you know, listen, Spyro is so good, I don't mind spending the 20 bucks on it. Is this What wacky adventures will wait for this purple dragon? Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous Stanky. than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? What happened? Chat, what happened? Was there supposed to be more? All I did was go to raise the volume. I didn't press a button. I just clicked outside the window so I could raise the volume. Mouse click is a button. What? I didn't click in the window. Oh, man. Oh man, oh god. Vinny, is there any reason you're starting with Spyro 2? Oh. Hot white. Shores, yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? So I played Spyro 1 when this game came out on the on the PS on the PS4. <laughs> So, there's no save file for the first game on the PC version. So... Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Alright, gonna go get my guitar while this is happening. Well, you saw the professor Speaking of fidgeting. They have claws like this! And teeth like this! And they could spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. Yeah, but then That's you got a dragon. Point. A dragon is our only chance. Oh of man, Ripto, and you know it. A dragon. It's working. It's, it's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> Thank God I got all this well, lore. Well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. <laughs> Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! I Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Crush! Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later. Who was that jerk? The no, bad guy. Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute. How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? So, now I can play the game, and, uh, so first things first, everybody, there's a couple options I would like to go into. So graphics, as you can see, everything is good. This is the, um, the power of the PC version. I can get 120 frames a second. Why would I ever need that? Oh, I don't know. In case, in case I want it to be God. We're going back to the original Stuart Copeland music. 
for now. I'll go back and forth. I'll switch. Vinny, do you have a 120HZ monitor? No. Max frames 72. Well, we'll go to 60. Not like it. It's fine, right? Um, map on? Well, I like map. Map is good. Wow, it looks fucking fantastic. Who would have known you didn't need motion blur in a game like Spyro? Do you remember how fucking drastic it was, too? Like, when I played Spyro on PS4 when it first came out, you couldn't turn the motion blur off? This is just... Ow. The other thing is, apparently the PS4 version was only 30 frames a second, right? But when you put the motion blur on, it kind of hides that a little bit. Which I don't, again, I don't mind 30 if it's a steady, solid 30, and then the game looks nice. I have no problem with 30. As long as it doesn't fluctuate too much, because that takes me out of it. For those who are new to the stream, I, I have in fact streamed Spyro 1. My frustration earlier was only slightly real. But yes, I did play Spyro 1 and I really enjoyed it. And that was my first time playing it the, for the Reignited trilogy, aside from Corruptions. So, you know, I clearly have not played this one. And uh, I've heard this one might be even a little better. So I did a 100% for original Spyro. So I, I may do it for this too. Now this is how you do a remake, not Warcraft 3 Refund. I mean, if you were here for Smash, you heard my spiel about Warcraft. It's one thing, like, I was willing to give Blizzard the benefit of the doubt, because all they had to do was remake the damn game. All they had to do, that's what they said they were doing. They said they were just going to make the assets updated and have it run on modern systems much more easily, and everything would work the same way, custom maps, you name it. And then... They outsource it, they cut features, they don't advertise it, and they launch it in a sorry state where you can't even play the campaign because it just crashes. You just It says defeat. Um, you can't do customs easily. I played one match, and it wasn't bad. Let me, let me just be clear about this. The match that I did play, that I got into in multiplayer, was fine. It ran well, the game played well. That wasn't the problem. But the UI is still antiquated. The chat sucks. And the thing about it is, like, when you scroll around on the screen, it gets kind of, like, crusty, and people are complaining about frame rate issues. Different chat. You're, you're good, chat. This chat's fine. I'm glad I got to play it for myself, and I'm probably just gonna get a refund. But the fact that you can't play the uh, original anymore is fucked up. As we were mentioning earlier, if you play the original um, copies of the game, you know, like Frozen Throne or the original, uh, you apparently, it just downloads the reforged version and you can't play it. So you, you can no longer play custom games in the originals. So Blizzard fucked it. Apparently the budget got cut and all the art and models were outsourced. That's correct. That's what I had heard too, yes. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is this is a remake. It's weird because Activision is the publisher of this game and Activision Blizzard clearly published Warcraft 3 Reforged. Like, this is how you do a remake right. And that's how you do one, like, totally fucking wrong. So, anyway, I just need to vent a little bit because Warcraft 3 is, is just a wonderful game and I'm sad that I... that I now have to deal with this Reforged version. I hope they, um... they patch the old ones back so that you can just play those again. How good are you at RTS games? Not great. I was Silver League in StarCraft 2 at one point in my life, if that means anything. That's probably the extent of my skill. When I was playing a lot of Warcraft 3, I was uh, okay. Was just like, okay. I enjoy playing RTS games, big Command & Conquer fan. Um, love StarCraft, love Warcraft, but, you know, I'm not amazing. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please, take this talisman of Glimmer as a sign of our gratitude! Rats! This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar! Okay. Thanks, mate. Um, I'm gonna just say one more thing about Blizzard, because after all the fucking fiascos with Diablo Immobile and even Diablo 4 looking a little bit bland, and all the stuff that's gone on, the controversy. Aside from all that, I miss looking forward to Blizzard games. 
Not to turn this into a sob story or anything, because I'm fine. I'll live, but... They just had this... Oh, man, they had this aura. And it was great for a while, and... I don't play World of Warcraft anymore. I played it... Up until this first expansion, and that was it. So I don't play those games, and they go hard on those games. I don't play... Um... Hearthstone. So that's not for me. I don't play Overwatch. Which, I mean, again, maybe these are good games and I should like them, and maybe I'm the jerk. But I played all of them at one point, and they were just fine, and they didn't click. Warcraft clicked. Hit the little lizard with rocks. Split! Oh, cool. It's a new mechanic. I mean, I'm fine. When it comes to card games, I'm fine with just Slay the Spire. I love that game so much. You don't have to buy packs. You just buy the game one time and you just play. It's great. But... Anyway, the point is, um, I just miss when Blizzard was doing more things. And, and maybe Diablo 4 will be good. Maybe it'll be a return to form. Maybe they won't cut the budget like they did Warcraft 3 Reforged. Whatever the case is, I just wanted to let you all know that. I just needed to get that out and say it into the world. Vinny, have you ever streamed Diablo 2? I did last year. It was a good time. I enjoyed that. It was a good, a fun stream. Spyro's hover has an additional jump at the end in two. It can help you get to hot, even Rem Lazar areas. Oh. Oh no. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you? Some kind of goat? Mm. I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, yeah. sorry. Did yeah, I was supposed to know that. Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. <laughs> they gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. <laughs> Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <laughs> and now, the cheetah men. They're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Man, and this is designed for a PS4. Imagine this level of polish on the next wave of console games, and then port it over to PC. <laughs> well, I mean, what, I, I said that as a joke, but also I kind of do mean it. Like, it's just gonna, games are gonna be more designed for the next wave of consoles, and then, you know, they're gonna look great, and then they're gonna be ported over to PC, and they're gonna look a little better, even. Someone said Horizon Zero Dawn on PC. Horizon Zero Dawn. That's interesting. And you know what else is interesting? I heard Dreams might also be um, coming to PC at some point. Which we talked about during the previous Dreams stream. Dreams games with more... Um, more processing power behind them. Mouse and keyboard support. Mods wasn't... Wait a minute. Yeah, I guess modding the Dreams engine could work. Yeah, sure. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's the triangle jump. I see you at the end. You, j you get like a flap. Remember when I was playing Spyro 1 and people were like, Vinny, press... Press the button. And nothing was happening. Good. I think Spyro's head probably Hardest fucking hurts. <laughs> Has there ever been a game with a fairy cod mother that was just a fish? Because I feel like one of these fucking games would have really... Jumped on a pun like that. Like a Banjo-Kazooie type game? No? Banjo. It's me, your fairy cod mother. And then you meet the fairy codmother, and it's like, you know how Magikarp just flops around, gasping for air as it dies. That. Waka waka. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater. 
but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. 500 gems. Capitalism! We will go to the one place! It's time to join Tim Curry in space so that Spyro doesn't have to spend his money. Someone just said Blizzard service rep. The best part of the Warcraft 3 debacle is, um... Listen. I'll tell you in a minute. I'll just tell you one last thing in just a minute. Maybe not the best part, but a part I'll tell you about. Okay, so, uh, essentially, it's the super ultra Blizzard fans that are really, really, like, defending Blizzard because give the game time. They, you know, don't get a refund. Support the developers so that they can continue to improve the game. Like, Blizzard needs the money. That is all. Thank you. No, how about you release the game in a functional state that doesn't crash, slurp, slop, that doesn't fucking freeze, that doesn't stutter, on day one. And then if there's any bugs, and not ten bugs in five minutes like some people have had, mind you. If there's any bugs, then you fix them. Someone said, especially for a company that used to be a release when ready company back in the glory days. Yep. I mean, they're just, you know, they're just damaging the reputation bit by bit by bit by bit. And, um... People are still gonna buy their fucking games because they're addicted to World of Warcraft. I mean, hey, I made the mistake of buying Warcraft 3 Reforged, so... And the models... The models aren't even that good. Some of them are great. Some of them look good. The environments are bland. They don't look that much better. They look like... Okay, the game came out in, what, 2003, the original? They look as if... It was remade... Six years later. Seven years later. And... They lack some, like, some of the models lack a lot of the charm of the original models. So while, yes, the resolution is nice, the, you know, the, the visuals definitely are a step up in many ways. It's... It's not all for the best. I would have been just happy to have the game, you know, run really well in widescreen. Full widescreen support, nice visuals, nice resolution, and then just play the custom games. I would have been happy with that. Maybe they will eventually get it into a state where that can happen. Fucking Kryken streamed the game, and the main orc, Duratar, was invisible. He was just gone. He was invisible. Was it Duratar? Loktar? Whatever one. He's still streaming it. Thrall? I got it wrong. And <laughs> Look, everybody, it's Thrall from World of Warcraft 3 Reforged. That's the model right there. No, no wonder it was invisible. It was in this game instead. Thrall? More like Thrain. All right. Okay, I've had my fun making fun of Blizzard, and remember, I was defending Blizzard just last night. To some extent. Just last night I was saying, don't tell me what to play, I'm gonna check it out, it's one of my favorite games, it's gonna be great. I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna be spicy. I wanna enjoy video games. I don't get schadenfreude when my favorite games are fucking destroyed. Which, it's not completely destroyed, I'm being dramatic for comedic effect, it's just... buggy as shit. But, I, um, I just want the game to be good, that's all. Same for Diablo 4, you know, be good. Just be good. You know, it's easier said than done, but... It's not like Blizzard hasn't made great games at some point in their career. Someone in chat just said, imagine if Blizzard and Disney fused. Blizzney. Someone said, was Diablo 3 really that bad? No, I liked it. I didn't like it, um, as much as Diablo 2, and it launched like crap, but eventually it got better. But yeah, there's some inherent issues in Diablo 3 that I'd like to see them address in Diablo 4. But I got like a good hundred and something hours out of that game and enjoyed a lot of them. Hell, I loved StarCraft 2. Genuinely. Someone said, have you ever played Warcam Warhammer 40k? I did, I don't remember which one I played, but I liked it. It was, um, ten year ago it came out. Warkramer. <laughs> Dawn of War. Yeah, I like Dawn of War. That one was good. Who did you play in Dawn of War? I don't- I played all of them a little bit. I never really got enough into it because I was on a wireless internet connection and the, the game didn't work properly like that. I kept getting disconnected from matches with my friends, so I just gave up. But I played through a, a good chunk of the single player and I thought it was fucking great. Um, I liked the orcs. Those were- they were fun. 
Someone said a lot of the original staff at Blizzard has left in the past several months. There's pretty much none of the people who made the original good stuff anymore. I, I mean, that might be a little hyperbo hyperbolic, but if that's true, I wonder what made them leave in the past couple months alone. Maybe they just don't agree with the publishing and, and all the stuff that's been going on. I mean, there's been a lot of bullshit. There's one controversy after another. Possibly that. Maybe they just don't like the direction they're going in and, and what games they're prioritizing. Whatever the case is, I will give Diablo 4 a shot because that's the kind of gamer I am. A stupid one. Refunds are always an option. Not always. Appar yeah, I'm still waiting to hear back from... Like, maybe I didn't do it right, but I requested a refund for Warcraft 3 Reforged. So... And then I started streaming like a minute after that, so I probably didn't even fucking do it right. But... Maybe refunds aren't always an option, but I think from what I've been seeing, Blizzard... Aside from banning people on their forums who say the game is bad and broken, um, which apparently is also a thing... Um... They're apparently giving refunds for the game. So... Chat, I have a question. Are these levels bigger than Spyro 1? More stuff to do in them? But less levels? So this is more like a Banjo-Kazooie type thing than, you know, the level-based, really short style of, uh, Spyro 1. You have to come back to them with your new skills. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, more Mario 64. Well, Banjo than Mario 64, yeah. This game is like 10 hours on a 100% casual run. Fine by me. That sounds like a good stream. See, now this is me though. You know, that's me in gamer form in the video game here, so... Me bashing my skull with a hammer. So it might take a little longer than 10 hours. Am I done in this level? Seems like I'm done. Go back and get swimming. And there was the dancing giant thing. Okay, I missed a lot of stuff. Let me get swimming and then figure it out from there. I gotta find... Maximilian. Money bags. Vinny, you missed the exit. Wait, is the swimming dude not in this level? Excuse me. I got so heated talking about Warcraft that I ended up... I ended up, um, getting the levels confused. You can exit any time through the guidebook. Well, hang on a minute. Let me, while I'm still here, let me check this, this thing out. There's a dancing giant or something. Like, up that way, maybe? You know what? I'll just go get the swimming, and then I'll come back here. And that way I can do that and the other thing. I can kill many birds with one stone. Like that... That one time, there were a bunch of feathers near my car. There's a Twitter account called Cats with Threatening Auras. And they posted a little video of this dude that I would see on the Staten Island Ferry. Who would wear his cat on his head. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, oh you shit, I should have said no. To move around the surface. I guess what well, what is he what does he say? I just want to show you this one thing. Now I need you to understand. Get out of here! <laughs> I need you to understand what this guy is cuz again, I've seen him on the ferry. And it was he he like has his cat on a fucking leash and on his head. What's he saying in this video? I've never seen this one. <laughs> this is, yep, it's real. It's re I've got my own pictures of this guy, and he didn't scream at me or anything, but that is 100%, 100% real. Some, uh, someone said, I saw a post where somebody said the cat is controlling him. Man, I haven't seen that guy in person in, like, eight years. So the fact that he's still around is just fucking, I don't know, it's weird, it's just, I haven't thought about that guy in like eight years. And then there he is. He has toxoplasmosis, so it makes sense that the cat is controlling him. Oh, that's an old video of that dude. I wonder if he's still around. He kicked the shit out of somebody as, and is in jail now. If that's true, I don't know if it's true, I mean, I'm just taking the word of, of a chat member, but it wouldn't surprise me, based on what we just saw. 
I hope the cat's okay. Hope the cat has a, a better head to sit on and control. Or maybe that was the cat's plan all along, to get this guy arrested. The cat's in jail too. <laughs> There's a really great video about how Stuart Copeland made the music for this game. I might have talked about it a couple years ago. A year and a half ago when I played the, uh, the remake for the first time. But, if you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it. It's real good. I showed the video of it? Oh, okay. Well, if you weren't here then, I want to recommend it. Again, Stuart Copeland is the drummer from the band The Police, a band I, like, love. And he is a great, talented musician. He's almost, uh, he's, he's Grohl-esque. Talented dude outside of just drumming, is what I mean. Okay. I want to go to Colossus, since it was more easily accessible. And apparently there's good music over there. So I fucking find others. Just kind of meandering, don't mind me. Learning the layout of this whole place. Has my audio lost bass anytime recently, by the way? Someone complained about that and I heard the clips and... It... It's been good? Okay. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Even in Spyro, people die, chat. It's fine. It's, it's cartoons. <laughs> he writes like such a drummer. I, I mean, nothing else sounds like Stuart Copeland's music. That might be a little much to say that, but... I can pretty much point it out at this point. I could probably just tell you like, oh yeah, that's a Stuart Copeland track. I wonder if that's him on whatever the fuck that is, vocal chanting. Yeah, Grant Kirkhope as well, for sure. I just want to check out, um, like I said, I want to try some of the... I didn't mind the reignited versions. They weren't as good in the first Spyro, but... higher quality, like, versions of some of these things. It's pretty good. I like the... the way the uh, the guitar, like, pops out in the original version better. Oysterhead? Yep, I've listened to Oysterhead. They're doing another, uh, thing. They're, they're re reuniting. Also, someone, um... This is from Google Maps, or Google... whatever the fuck this is, Google Earth. Google Street View. Google Street View and, and someone found the fucking cat guy. That's fake. It's a good fake if it is. Then again, I did show Harrison Ford and George Lucas talking about McClunky last night. In a deep fake that looked surprisingly real. Aside from the terrible Harrison Ford impression. <laughs> it was okay. It was alright. Deep fakes are getting shockingly good. Favorite police album? Uh, my favorite police album... It's... I think I like Regatta de Blanc. Just looking at the track listing on that. Yep, that's the one. It's Regatta de Blanc, the second album. Ghost of the Machine is good. They're all good in their own ways. Every single album they put out, I think, has some merit to it. I like a lot of synchronicity as well. So, yeah, I need more souls to power up. But what does that mean, exactly? Souls? Just kill enemies? Gotcha. Okay. How can you be sure I really exist? I don't know, dude. Don't do this to me now. One of the instruments in this song sounds like someone leaning back in their office chair. And they just kept it. And Stuart Copeland was like, yep, that's percussion, that's fine. Vinny, can you elaborate that he writes like a drummer? Ah. Uh, God damn it. Very rhythmically based in like the drum patterns. Like his leads still sound like a drum pattern. I don't it's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just being a jerk about it, but No, it's not an insult necessarily. I mean, even Dave Grohl said he writes like a drummer. And like his first album, he would uh the first Foo Fighters record, he would drum a lot of the songs first and then add the rhythm over it. And he would play guitar 
kind of more rhythmically than melodically. It's, it's a... I don't know what it... I think it can be a good thing. I just... you hear it. I don't know. I'm listening to Stuart Copeland's music. I'm like, yep. I like how the... <laughs> there's one frame of him. <laughs> he was... Thanks, dude. It's nice of you. Yeah, it's not a bad thing at all. And, uh, like I said, that first Foo Fighters album is amazing, so... I have no problem with someone writing songs like a drummer. And it's a great thing. I write songs like an asshole, so that's, you know... Take your pick. Um, for people who have a tear in the middle of the screen... If you... <laughs> yeah, sure, hockey's peaceful and calming, sure. Um... Some people say there's literally a, a line in the middle of their screen. Activate hardware acceleration on your browser. It'll get rid of it. Speed! Oh. Someone said, did you get this on your Switch like you did Crash? Well, no, I have it on PS4 and I have it on PC now, as of today, which is this version. I don't have the Switch version of this game. Also, I have a little confession to make. I like Spyro better than Crash. Those Crash games frustrated the fuck out of me. Not bad games, mind you. Just very difficult, and my um, Neanderthal brain could not comprehend how to uh, how to not die every three and a half seconds. Have this. I like the style of this game better than Crash too. Am I cheating by using fire like this? Kind of feels like cheating. Uh oh. It's okay, they were doing so bad I had to help them out a little bit. Get in there, yeah! Oh, that marked 3 a.m. Me shooting that puck into my own goal was exactly at 3 a.m. Let's really... Perfect. The smoothening has begun. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster! Well done. Have this. Then there's a round two. Um, I don't think I can handle more hockey right now. Speaking of not seeing anything, uh, one of my new hobbies is watching EarthCam just before bed. And, again, I can't specifically choose... That was a round two. Okay. I cannot specifically choose the cam I want. I mentioned this the other day, because Alexa has EarthCam capabilities, but does not let you choose where or which cam. I have to fucking, like, Alexa, show me someplace interesting. Okay, here's New York City, Times Square. So I finally got some place interesting in Dublin, and I saw like a, almost a fight at, I guess what I would imagine is like, you know, 11 a.m. in Dublin. There was a cam on the bull in downtown Manhattan, like, um, and, you know, by Wall Street, that fucking bull with its big balls. Some jackass was driving the wrong way down the one-way street, at five in the morning, and I'm like, I should call the cops. So it is kind of fun to just choose a camera randomly and just see what is there. Most of the time it goes to Myrtle Beach, which there's nothing there. At the time that I watched those cameras, Vinny, you told the story. I mentioned EarthCam, but Vinny double blind. What did I double blind, chat? I see. I just thought they were stinky. Purified by fire. Then you actually have to pay attention to the dialogue in this game. Oh no, I, that, that's unacceptable. I'm sorry. I have to tell you about EarthCam. The wrong way down a one way street. Did you know that there's an EarthCam inside the Blizzard offices? And it's a bunch of otters playing with balls. I'd kind of watch that, actually. That would be kind of fun. No, I think they were manatees, chat. And not otters. Yeah. Vinny, do you want the sunglasses cheap? No. I'm fine, thank you. Vinny, please go in-house. Okay, I'm in the house. 
Um, I still need to find a couple more statues. Vinny, you have to reset the mission? No. No. Mission is still active. Chat, you're saying in the house. It might actually reset on death. I might need to reset this fucking mission. Just talk to the dude at least and see what happens. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it... I think I had to reset the goddamn mission, chat. Would you look at that? I guess if you fall off a cliff, your mission gets reset. Someone in chat said that's not very epic. Well, you can't floss in this game as far as I'm aware, so no. About that? What do you mean about that? What do you mean? I could have said any other thing. And I say that, and apparently you can do that in this game. There's one left. Where is this one? Ice cave up top. Took me a while. Well done, Spyro. Nice. My first 100%. Hockey monks. Um. <laughs> One more. <laughs> what are these cutscenes? What's going on? There's no way he survived that, though. You get squished like that? I don't know, man. That was a pretty big squish. Vinny, what was your first reaction to the Skylander series? I don't think I knew what it was for years. I didn't have a specific reaction. I just remember hearing about it and just thinking like, oh, that's kid's babby. I didn't know anything about it until years later and then I found that it was a Toys to Life series of some kind. Spyro was in it. Yeah, I think I watched Kid Icarus do, Kid Icarus do a video about uh, Spyro, so I remember... Or someone did a video with the history of Spyro, I forget who it was. And, uh, it was- it looked- The render of Spyro from Skylanders looked absolutely hor horrible. It's just horrendous. Nintendo's gonna sue. Look, it's the audience for Skylanders. Can someone link to the Skylander Spyro? Because, uh, several chat members would like to see it. Someone said more like the audience for Vine Sauce. Congratulations, you just played yourself. Chat, you're not gonna believe it. Look at this image. I can't believe- Wow, they done him dirty. Or how about this one? Well, that's the toy- Oh my gosh, Angie Spyro. And then someone linked this too, because everyone has to I mean, it, at least it's not gnomes anymore. It can still be gnomes if you'd prefer. I don't know what the fuck that was, okay? Those were the- the body doubles the, for the hobbits in Lord of the Rings getting their makeup, and it was- <laughs> Do you want- do you want to see- okay, I'll show you one quick thing, chat, because this is- it's- it, the video is called Lerd er the- the- the rain. Okay, so knowing how the Lord of the Rings movies were made, I will show you this. It's 15 seconds, don't worry, we'll get back to Spyro. Uh, so they hired little people to be the body doubles of the hobbits, right? And they put- masks on them <laughs> to make them look like the this is real like kieran i forget his last name is is like he you know has a great relationship with the cast and crew he's really funny and uh anyway they had to put masks on them and do make them up to look like the, the actors billy boyd elijah wood matthew mcconaughey and sam rockwell the four hobbits and essentially, it was for shots from a distance where they needed the size of the hobbits, but you couldn't really see their face too well, so they were able to get away with it. There are a lot of shots in Lord of the Rings where you're looking at who you think is Elijah Wood, but it's Kieran with a weird fucking Elijah Wood mask on. 
Can you see them in the Blu-rays? Yeah, you, a little bit. I mean, you have to look for it, but any wide shot where they're small, that's the body doubles that they had, the Hobbit doubles. Oh, most Def and Zoe Deschanel were, were hobbits too. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot them. Thank you, chat member, for reminding me. Do you wear wigs, Mr. Foot? I love these enemy designs. What are they? So weird. Elijah Wood has voiced Spyro before. What? Well, then this has come full circle. Was was it not a good rendition? Because someone said sadly, and now I'm wondering if it was shit. In the failed reboot. Oh, that one. Gary Oldman voiced a character. Did you know that Tim Curry voiced Senator fucking Palpatine and Darth Sidious in the Clone Wars show? I think one of the actors, like, I think the actor passed away and they got Tim Curry to do it. And I didn't know, I didn't get up to those episodes yet. But I heard a comparison of the various voices of Palpatine. Uh, it's just Tim Curry. It, it just sounds like Tim Curry. Defeat 11 enemies to activate Super Flame. Okay. So many of these lads in this game are very, like, evolved spiritually. Like, this is the Maharishi. Maharishi. Have you done? You made a fool, everyone. Uh -huh. Or as Liam Gallagher would say, a fool. Fool. Move, turt. Someone said that's what I call my turtle, turt. Is that the turtle's name, turt? Because that's very... That's like calling a bird, bird. Or just burr. I'd probably call my turtle Turt as well, to be honest. Vinny, you know that Guy is a real name that people have. I know that, but... Is there a human named Human on this planet, by chance? Alright, check. Uh, trivia time. Quiz time. Guy Fliegman was in this film. Galaxy Quest, you got it. Good shit. Yep, Sam Rockwell played that character who I mentioned was a hobbit <laughs> earlier, so it all comes full circle yet again. There are less- okay. Okay, what is this statistic and where did you get this from? There are fewer than 1,655 people in the United States with the first name Human. I can't believe that. I just can't. I- Zero is less than that. That's true. That's a good point. Zero is, in fact, less than that. Chat, is it possible to do this, uh, treasure chest side quest now? Or do I need ladder? God, this bass riff sounds like one of Stu's, uh, police songs that he wrote. God damn it. It wouldn't let me hover up there for some reason. No, I'm serious, it won't let me. Now it will, okay. You have to get a little bit more distance before you can use it. So, so if you got the bass line in mind, listen to this song real quick. No Time This Time is the name of it. Similar, not too much, but a little bit. Also, I fucking love his drumming so much. Vinny, my girlfriend has been looking at pictures of Rob Lowe for the past 20 minutes. What do I do? Well, don't Rob lower yourself to her level. Come on, it wasn't that bad. It was it was pretty bad, right? Oh, I'm not sure if, if I have to even go underwater for this next one. Oh, I see. I see. You can, yeah, you can shoot this stuff underwater. Oh, okay. So now that I know I can shoot it underwater, I have to... ...go to the next couple spots of the map that I missed. Oh. I'm just gonna hover right into them walls, huh? I have to plan... Oh my god, stop that! Where... Where's this fucking thing? Chat, where is this thing? God damn it. Remember that one level in Spyro 1? Where you had to run and jump and run and jump like around buildings and it was like a fucking maze and it was terrible? Treetops. That's the one. Boy, I remember that. I'll tell you what, I don't remember a ton about Spyro 1 because my memory is garbage. I mean, I remember the gameplay, I remember the general vibe of it. I remember that level like it was yesterday. Most impressive. Please take this sacred thing of a jig as a token. Except of the name. Everlasting gratitude. I remember the pain, not the name. I'm here to lead, not to read. Okay, so there's a little bit left. There's still two or orbs. But I think I need ladder first, so... So we'll exit. 
and then uh, get ladder and I can come back. I like the little in-between cutscenes, adds a lot of characters to the game. Even though most of it is just violence, extreme violence. Alright, I'm warning you, Spyro, with peace and love, not to fuck around under the threat of extreme violence. Blast a hole through your fucking skull is what I'll do. Peace and love, of course, but you'll be shitting out your fucking throat if you fuck with me. Ha <laughs> ha. I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. No way. Okay, but as far as you know, the portal to Dragon Shores could be just on the other side of this wall. And there's only one way to find out. Ta-ta! Dick. Say, Spyro? Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. At the level you said it was. Dude. Alright. Well, this is turning into a fun experience. I'm assuming the game just saves. Let's see. Yep. Only 11%. Oh, boy. Before I begin, today's stream is sponsored by Balls. Not the drink. Just balls. No, uh, I hope everyone's good. I will tell you that apparently Spyro's graphical settings do not take specifically for texture quality. So, you know, you have to do that yourself. You have to go into, like, I mean, look it up. I can't tell if these textures are better, but essentially I set them on Ultra. Oh, those are some wacky textures. Um, they were on low before, but you have to open a text file, edit it, or an INI file, and change texture quality to 3. And then... it works. Vinny, how about Byleth? What about her? Him. What about Byleth? People want to commit great violence against Byleth. I'm sorry. God, I'm so sorry. I played Smash today, actually, and I had a pretty good time. I'm... It's like, it's a weird muscle memory thing that happens that I have to apply my intellect to, otherwise I lose. But... I enjoyed it. I, I fought many a Byleth online. And... It didn't bother me too much because I found some cheesy ways around it. Like, Hero does some really good work against, uh, Byleth, but... It was, uh, yeah, it was good. I, I still really enjoy playing that game, even if I suck at it. But today I won about half of my matches. I love those cloud buffs, though. Man, Cloud just is so much better now. Anyway, now that I'm settling into streaming, I would like to figure out where exactly to go. I think I need... Ladder Climb ability, if I'm not mistaken. Vinny, what about the new Picard episode? I did not watch it yet. So, CBS uploaded Picard to YouTube, the first episode, and they're basically giving away the first episode for free. I wonder if that's because it's not doing well because it's on a fucking horrendous service where people they want people to spend ten dollars a month for what is essentially a couple of new Star Trek shows that aren't even that great but I mean hey it's decent this Picard show so far I'm 50-50 I'm as I've said so I haven't seen episode 2 I'll let you know first though I'd like to I'd like to figure out where this thing is hang on a minute I have to figure out where the uh, money bags is for the ladder climb it's in the next hub world. Oh, it's not even here. Okay. Um... Well, shit. I don't know where to go. Uh, there's so, so many places to go, actually, but I don't know specifically where I want to go. Let's do this. Every cutscene is just someone getting hurt. It's amazing. Extreme viol- it, it is with peace and love and extreme violence. Big tough guy with a wrench. Just a little bit of fire and, and he's dead. No, to answer your question though, chat. Uh... What was the question? There was a question that I was answering and then I stopped speaking. There wasn't one. There was never a question! I was talking about my credit card number. You want them wacky digits? Alright. It's one... Two... 
seven, five, six, five, seven. It's the music industry code. It's the code. So do you remember that nice job, Kermit, video of the recursion of Kermits? Where it's just a million Kermits going, thank you! The dude, uh, I retweeted it, but now there's like 80% more Kermit. So that'll be, I'll show you that later. I have to grab it during the break. So that's, uh, that's, that's the only, you know, that's, that's the thing I think is most important that I tell you about. If you were worried about lack of informations, you've been furnished. Okay. Strike anyone else is a little odd that in order to get your health back, you have to kill the local wildlife. Not, a, not at all weird. Man, this game looks nice. I, again, I don't know if that texture thing... If anyone's playing through this game and they haven't done the texture increase on PC, um, look it up. Like, there's there's probably... Like, you could probably just Google, you know, Ultra Textures Spyro Reignited, and that might take you to it. But you have to edit the INI file. I can't... I can't really tell. Also, did you guys hear about DMC3 getting all weapon switch? Where you could only bring two at a time, until uh, unless you went to like a statue. But Devil May Cry 3 now, now you have real-time weapon change, and you can change to every weapon on the fly. So, I am now going to buy DMC3. I don't know if I'm going to stream DMC3, but I'm buying it. I'm absolutely buying it. That game was the only DMC game I played, and I really enjoyed it, never finished it. So, the fact that um, that's happening, and that's a good change, that makes me very, very happy. I will also be buying DMC2. What about DMC1? No, I'm good. No, I'm good with just three. I think three is the one that I want to play the most. Vinny, but you deleted it. Yeah, I know. Well, DMC2 is still like available for re-download. It really, it really is just a click away. DMC3 reforged. I like how reforged is now the insult for terrible remakes. Also, John Fullsauce's Photoshop of Warcraft 3 re refunded has been making its rounds. I've seen it in places that are completely unrelated to Vine Sauce. There's even, like, the, sadly, the rabbit hole goes even deeper for how, like, lazy and terrible Warcraft 3 Reforged is. Like, a cutscene surfaced from the demo version from E3 2018, and it's way better than what we got. It's now at a 1.1 on Metacritic. While I don't think this is going to wake Blizzard up, like I said, I'm not addicted to Schadenfreude and Suck Juice. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need it. I just want a good game. Warcraft 3 is one of my favorites. You watched the last Spyro stream, you heard me talk about this. You're probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but it's still such a new thing. I can't not talk about it. It's very important to me. And I'm glad that people are fucking blasting this game because it is such a lazy, broken version of the game. It's not often that a remake actively makes the experience of the previous game, of the actual game it's remaking, like, worse or undoable. So yeah, they're- they're making- they made the game worse, which is extra- extra special. Because now you can't even play the original without downloading the full thing and- and the changes are just bad. And, uh, they apparently- they released a statement where they say they own all property. Every custom game, they own. Greed. Such greed. They did that because they didn't want to miss out on the next Dota, as if anyone's gonna fucking play this garbage now. Fucking Blizzard. One of my favorite game companies of all time. Fallen so far. And again, this game right here, Spyro, was published by Activision, and it's a great remaster. Great port. I want to blame Activision solely for all this bullshit, but I kind of can't. It's not just Activision, it's Activision Blizzard. Blizzard or, Kon or Konami. Well, Konami's not even making games. Like, they they released, um... Contra Crust Core. You know? Vinny, it's not Schadenfreude if you're the one that spent money on it. Again, refund. That's true, though. You're right. I mean, the Schadenfreude would be if there was zero. Did your refund go through? I, I, listen. Tomorrow, I will have time to do the refund thing. I have not had the patience or energy to get one, but I'm gonna make sure I get one. Tomorrow. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't want this game on my system anymore. I'm- I'm actively going- They don't deserve- unless they pull a No Man's Sky and completely fix it and add back all the features and make it so that it's fucking playable, I don't want this game on my computer. I hope I get the refund, but if I don't, at the very least, I'll have fun complaining. So it's... fun. 
Vinny, when's the last time you were upset about a game? Or this upset about a different game? What game? Um, chat, any ideas? Pokemon? No, I'm not that big of a Pokemon fan. Pokemon is... I just didn't play it, but it didn't, like, piss me off. No Man's Sky back then. Yeah, but even then, I wasn't that into No Man. I wasn't, like, obsessive about it. Metal Gear Survive? Maybe. So, chat, I have a question. What the fuck is all this shit? Do I have to just go and kill these dudes? It's a sucky minigame. But what's- what's this electric ball thing? Oh, they steal the balls! It was a lot harder in the original version. Oh, okay. Someone said, I remember Vinny getting really pissed at Turok 2. Oh, true story about Turok 2. I still really like the game, but the level design made me fucking infuriated because my- my babby brain just ignored the bad level design because I like shoot. But... I still think Turok 2 is a great game. And it has, um... It just... Man, a remake with better levels would... would make me so happy. But I don't think I got that mad, like... This genuinely got me upset because it would be one thing if the game came out and I could just play the originals and not have to even think about this. But the fact that this overwrites the previous versions of Warcraft 3 is what really bothers me. Blizzard has become greed incarnate. I know they're not the only ones. Ah, I'm not the only one. My, um, my hopes for Diablo 4 are kind of lessening. I might go back and play some Starcraft 2 to get my fix. I'll give it to- like I said the other night, I still like StarCraft 2. I thought that game was a lot of fun. It was a good sequel. I might just play it a little bit, get sick of it after like a couple hours, and then just not think about RTS games for a while. Until the Command & Conquer remake is inevitably fucked up. Command & Conquer is looking good so far? I haven't been following it, but that's- that's nice to hear, actually. That's encouraging. At least Spyro's good. Spyro's fucking great, not just good. And man, this music. God, could you imagine if Final Fantasy VII Remake is completely terrible, how many people will lose their shit? Could you imagine if Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out, and it makes it so that you can't play the original, without downloading all of the remake first, and then having server problems? Vinny, what do you mean you can't- what do you mean play the original? You can play the original, though, already. Wait, what? A Final Fantasy or Warcraft? Oh, I think I have a bulb. Hang on a minute. Oh, I see, I see. You can play OG Warcraft if you have the CD. I don't have a fucking CD drive anymore. Um, and also, what about custom games? I don't want to play the campaign, I want to play like, customs and 2v2s and shit. Gone like tears and rain. I'm sure I'm not getting all the correct information, but boy does it feel good to hate on Blizzard right now. I guess I do like that Shuck- <laughs> Schadenfreude suck juice. What do you know? Someone said, give in to your anger. I did. I think I just did. And I'm calm again. I can't stay angry for too long. Well, we'll see what happens, chat. I mean, I'll obviously I'm gonna be following this one and seeing where it goes. So, um, Desert said, am I gonna check out Fantasy Star Online 2 when it comes out? Probably. I have to play that on Xbox, right? Yeah, I'm interested in that game. I might check it out. Someone else in chat said, Vinny, is it true that if you're in New York City and you want to see weird shit, all you have to do is leave your house for 10 minutes? I don't live in New York City. I live in Staten Island, which is its own <laughs> thing. It's not true here, 100%. Staten Island is part of New York City, but it's also kind of not at the same time. Um, it's kind of not true here, but you definitely see some weird shit when you're in Manhattan, yeah. The dude with the cat on his head, for example. Vinny, what's your favorite beer? I don't necessarily know if I, ha if I could answer that question, because I don't know. I don't know if I have one. I like um, a Guinness on tap. I mean, we've had beer chat in the past on the stream. I like uh, Lenin Kugels and Francis Connor, like German beer, but I don't really drink a lot of beer, so I don't have a specific favorite that I can, like, easily point to. I just- those are just some that I- I remember liking. Like, Blue Moon with an orange is good with pizza. It's not my favorite beer, but it's- it's alright. Anything that's inoffensive as a beer is fine by me, uh, because I'm not necessarily oh, drinking beer for the taste. Well, so I think some people genuinely like the taste of beer. I mean, it's- it, there are people in chat answering that question. Depending on the beer, I'm sure people have their own brand that they like. Again, Guinness on tap when it's, like, fresh and delicious. It's fresh and delicious. But, that's about as far as I can go with it. Vinny, would you vape a beer? <laughs> you wouldn't vape a car, would you? People are sending me that goose. 
that causes havoc on your desktop. Like, every day now I'm getting, like, you know, four or five people that tell me about that goose. Uh, I might check it out at some point. I'm not going to... I'll probably check it out by the time everyone gets sick of it. But it's cool. It seems really fucking annoying. I like how the genre of geese being assholes has become so popular. This is not a genre that I expected to become popular in any way. I just thought geese were assholes. That's it. Nothing to it. Hurt funny. <laughs> at the uh, at the Game Awards in New York, there was a goose costume. It was just the easy joke that they kept going back to. Like the goose, um, the joke was that the goose had like injured the host. Host injured. Then he head to the paywall. Well, what's this place? This is the next hub area. It's a level. Oh, my bad. Would you like me to take you to a world where you can find a new talisman? Great. I'll take you to a new portal. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks. Look at that loading time, man. I don't know the name of computer parts, but the SSD that I got for this computer. It's one of those small SSDs that you just, like, staple onto your motherboard. Yes, yeah, staple. It's an M2. Thank you, yeah, it's M2. M.2? So it's not M2 like the tank. Seahorses. Beautiful and cute. Is Tom Kenny every voice in this game? M2 isn't a tank. What's the tank that has M? That the gorillas have a song about. M1. Okay, thanks. Hello! Hello! So an M2 is not a weapon in any way, right? There's, there's no M2s in the military. It sounds like it could be one, but I guess the M1. The M2 Browning? Isn't that just a, um, uh, bar? No, right? That's not a bar. Uh, there's too many things to remember when it comes to this stuff. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a Twitter bot that basically is just Gordon Ramsay, um... Like, fake Gordon Ramsay things. It was like... Like, um... Headlines? Hang on a minute. Um... The reason Kitchen Nightmares bot, and... One of them was really fucking hilarious. Like, customer, like, mistakes chicken for chicken. Something really dumb like that, but here, look. Fridge sprays enough greasy soup for 82 months. It even generates thumbnails. Gordon Ramsay tastes appalling fake sauce from lying manager. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay spits out tragic lobster, destroys the fish tank. Delusional bar shouts out, at over 951 portions of arrogant lobster rolls. Livid chef hates hunger. Stubborn waitress loses cook-off to Gordon Ramsay's caviar. The kitchen with no bowl or glasses. <laughs> Empty waiter refuses to cook pasta. Ramsay chucks bucket out a window, which he, he actually kind of did that. Like he chucked a microwave out of a window at one point. I just remembered that this existed and had to, had to tell you all about it because uh this is the only thing that the internet makes better by creating bots life is good ready for the robot uprising now hey my some of my favorite things that i've ever come across online are gan breeder um fucking ai dungeon talk to transformer so, while it's true that not all bots are amazing or good, there are many that I love, and those are the ones that I love. Just, like, quality content for champs. Oh, it's this fucking guy. Hi, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. What do you mean you have a submarine? Oh, fuck, I forgot to hit no. Chat, you could always... You know, you could always look it up, I guess, right? I missed a lot of stuff underwater there. There's like a number of collectibles. Uh, sorry, I forgot again about money bags. It's like in Dragon Quest, I did the same thing. A lot of the no answers were really funny, and I just didn't do them. Oh, underwater fire? What the hell? Raw chef steals chicken from pork. 
Gordon Ramsay, furious. Someone said, I hate how addicting his shows are. I know. I fucking know. Chef pisses out window. Onto Gordon Ramsay's chicken. Chef lies about piss in disgusting, arrogant kitchen. Chef cooks pants. Homer not satisfied. Alright, it's time for me to stop, I think. Yeah, I made the mistake of, again, YouTube lately has been going mental with the Gordon Ramsay recommendations just because, like, compilations of best moments from his show or whatever, like Kitchen Nightmares. And I made the mistake of watching one of them while I was eating yesterday. And I started, like, feeling physically, like, repulsed and sick. Because there was, um, an old mushroom risotto that stuck to the pan. And it looked like puke. Like, it was, like, many days old. And he's like, OH GOD! It was really, really, really gross. That was like, and usually I can look at gross shit on, like, a movie or a TV show or whatever while I'm eating, and it's not much of a problem. That genuinely disgusted me. Or, like, someone that... ...painted their tuna red. Like, they dyed their tuna fish red to make it look like it was better tuna. But they used food coloring. <laughs> and then the show always goes the same way. Oh god, you don't care. You, I do, chef. I have the best food, chef. You don't care! You lost your passion for cooking! No, chef. No, please! Gordon, I have a family. But they cook like fucking shit, too! I was shocked because there was one case where I was watching the show about... He was talking about this, this one disgusting... There was like one disgusting meal after another, and he was like, This crab is rather good. So he doesn't just say the food is shit. Like, I think he genuinely will say something is good if it's good. Well done. I was shocked. Like, every other meal was terrible from the restaurant, but at one point he was like, This crab is nice. <laughs> it's like Babby's first pilot wings. That would be a nice franchise to revive on the Switch. It's been revealed that the Switch beat the SNES in, in lifetime sales. It's doing very well. Oh yeah, Mario 64 had the rings that you go through. I would love a Pilot Wings switch. That would be great. Don't even chat. Uh, listen, I've been avoiding. People were saying, "What about Superman 64?" I've been specifically avoiding talking about Superman sp uh, Super Four. <laughs> Sixty Man Super Four. Spicy Man Super Four. Turns out I'm missing a lot of these little bastards. Or at least it didn't seem like that at first, but. And then there's that whole submarine section again that I might need to, uh, might need to go through without the submarine, right? I say as I go back into the submarine, Vinny, you need the power up for this. It do be like that. Um, I want to get a power up so I can go through there. I guess that's this power up right here. Just, just very quickly try to go back there. Got an achievement. Lockjaw. I guess when you kill every mechanical shark on the level, you get that, maybe? Cool. Still missing one. The Seahorse King. The Seahorse Man is a bit glitchy. Well, I noticed he had one, but I- the, an orb, but I couldn't even talk to him the second time I went over to him. Oh, you can just hold the button. Wow, I feel like a fucking dope. And remember, kids, dope doesn't pay. Unless you sell it. Wieners don't do drugs, that's- that's also correct. Oh, you guys want... my recipe for delicious hot dog ravioli? I'll take- excuse me, yes. I'll, I'll take the... crab rangoon... and the hot dog ravioli, please. Yes, chef. I just- I- sorry, I- I don't mean to keep bringing up Gordon Ramsay, but I, I guess I also kinda do, but I have to. Because... I love that he chooses- I've said this on stream before, I'm sure of it, but... I love when he goes to these shitty restaurants with 80 things on their menus. He always has to get the, the dish that's easiest to fuck up. Which makes sense, I get it, but it's just fucking hilarious. Like this little shitty hole in the wall place. That has, like, three customers at all times, at most. Yes, I'll have, uh, the rack of lamb. Crab rangoon. Lobster bisque. Someone said, I wonder how often does he get food poisoning? I wouldn't be surprised if it happens every now and then, but the dude seems to spit out most of the food he eats at these fucking places, so... God, it's terrible. It's awful. It's dry. It's fucking dry. 
Vinny, do you like diners, drive-ins, and dives? I don't have cable, so... Like, I don't, um, I, I've seen episodes of it. I've seen Guy Fieri's show from time to time, sure, but I have never followed it closely. I've said how I enjoy watching him shovel, like, trash into his mouth. Yep, that's a good chili dog, Espinosa. And it's just a giant, like, 12-foot-long hot dog with chili, cheese, onions, pickles, cabbage, sushi, hot dog, more hot dog pieces, bacon, steak em, donuts, cronuts, and of course, pineapple. There's uh, more variety in this game than Spyro 1, at least. Vinny, flashbacks to the Great Bay Temple? A little bit, yeah. Vinny, are there any albums you're looking forward to in 2020? Um, Tame Impala. King Gizzard, when they inevitably announce one. Gorillas. Even though they're... doing one song at a time, which is cool. I'm also looking forward to the Pearl Jam album, because that first song that they released was pretty good. MGMT, I don't think it's confirmed that MGMT has a new album coming out this year, but I'd be down for one. There's always a bigger fish. Have you ever played, streamed any fighting games besides Soul Calibur? I noticed you didn't include Smash in there. Which, that's an inflammatory topic, so that's fine. Uh, Mortal Kombat I streamed. I, I've always enjoyed a Mortal Kombat game whenever I played them. I mostly just like Soul Calibur. I've played Street Fighter in the past a little bit. Um... What's the... Oh, man, look, there's a fucking arcade game I liked. I've played a lot of fighting games on stream. But I've also... A lot of them are just kind of trash. I've played Tekken, yeah. Played a lot of Tekken on PS1 at my friend's house. Uh, Samurai Showdown. I think it was a Square game. Or no, Bushido Blade. Bushido Blade was a fucking wacky game where every hit was like an insta-kill. Wasn't exactly my favorite game, but... I enjoyed it for a while. It was a unique and fun enough concept that it made me want to continue. Vinny, did you play Guitar Hero? I did for a while, yeah. I had Guitar Hero 3 Rock Band. I have Guitar Smith or Rocksmith where you use your real guitar. Rocksmith was a lot of fun just because it got me to learn. I want to play that game again. I wonder if my input delay would be any better. I want to get that the one problem I had with Rocksmith was that the fucking input delay on the guitar was was nasty. Like, I don't know if there's a way to use an interface, but I have an interface that I could use. It was really cool because it taught me how to play songs, it taught me how to get better at songs. Well done, Spyro. That game is hard to find now. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new Super Portal technology. There! That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Why can't either of you? Where are we? Hmm. No dragons. Wonderful. <laughs> Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. <laughs> Crush. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my. I can't see the Is this switch. the end of the game? I think I've broken my glasses. Crush, go through the <gasps> portal, you idiot. Okay. Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly. <laughs> Oh. 
This is how Ripto got there. I see. Yes. Get the orbs now. Now, you despicable little creature! I'll kill you. This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? I mean, it's it's a story. It's a collectathon story. It, it works. It does what it needs to do. All you need is just some, like, basic establishment of good guys, bad guys. Oh! Don't be a dick, Spyro! That's what you need. Every game, every platformer needs that. A rhyming witch. With that voice. This game has very fluid controls. I like that. About it. Now, crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. That emote's getting a lot of use today. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. And make it a rush. What? Go, get me out of here. So long, dragon. What a wuss. Spyro's right, though. skipped. Chat, why did it skip? Because someone linked to the goddamn cutscene and I forgot that you can't tab out of this game, otherwise it skips cutscenes. <sighs> God. It has background input? That's a shame. Time to reset the whole playthrough. It had money bags in it. Can someone get me a clip of that on, on YouTube if anyone has the patience to do so? I'm so sorry. I don't believe any of these links. Oh, no! Wow, amazing! Thank you, smiley face. That's excellent. That was very nice of you to not link to, um... Uh-oh, Stinky. That's... that's great. Oh, that Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! <laughs> uh, why, you... You... <laughs> His money will keep him alive, don't worry about it. Go. <laughs> Finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. Go. What is it, boy? Oh. I was like, why is this happening so soon? Oh God. It was there that I knew. I was in spoiler territory. I was disgusted. The season of Vine Sauce has just been Gordon Ramsay and Muppets. I mean, if you're only counting memes, sure, you've also missed Chrono Trigger if you're just counting memes. But, there's actually a clip of Gordon Ramsay with the Muppets. Also, this is a rerun season because I've done Gordon Ramsay before on stream. This, this has been, like, a multi-year thing. Does this season have McClunky, or was that last season? That was last season, okay. Bird violence. Okay, Spyro. Look 
looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. Everyone knows who Spyro is. I feel kind of bad killing these Tweety Birds. I'm gonna criticize one of my heroes now, Stuart Copeland. And I don't feel this way in the most negative of ways, but I'm gonna do it. And I know this, this is a very dear soundtrack to many people. A lot of these levels sound very similar. You can disagree if you want, and that's fine. I think they sound... they... He's got a style, and it sounds very similar to many other stages. Just a little different, different arrangements, but also kind of similar arrangements, too. Same could be said of Kirk Hope. Um, it depends on the soundtrack with Kirk Hope, because I think Banjo-Kazooie... For me, every level feels right. Like, there's... A, the style it pervades, but... I feel like each level in Banjo-Kazooie it mimics its style. Like, the haunted place... Perfect. Um... The place with Clanker's Cavern. <laughs> we make the pants. Oh, I forgot about that. We make the feedly finally foodly foodly pants. Oh, yes, we do! We will never say no to money bags. We never want to have fun. We make the pants. Spam! I can't get out of this. Wow, okay. That's what I get for singing the song, I know. I, I know exactly you are right. Did you see those kids that made a fake Green Day album and then released a video on how they did it? The amount of effort that they went through to fool people? Oh my god, so many birds. This place is just a war zone. I mean, obviously, but god damn. I was having a little too much fun, chat. Don't mind me. You know why I- you, did you know why I did what I did, chat? Do you know why? They didn't drink Wilkins coffee. Hey, do you drink Wilkins coffee? I do- <laughs> Cool advertisements. Lots of really- <laughs> Lots of really interesting marketing in that Wilkins coffee series of adverts. Oh yeah, there are cat noises in this song. What do you know? I want to check out Reignited version. Just lacks the punch. Again, it, none of the Reignited music has been terrible as far as I'm concerned, but... Stu's original version is just so much more exciting. Use most samples from very popular VST from the 90s, early 2000s called Distorted Reality. It's why it's similar to other tracks, other soundtracks of the same era. Other than that, a lot of instruments were sampled by himself using his Kurzweil K25000 keyboard. How about that weird-ass fucking sample pack that was found that was used for most of the Metroid Prime Trilogy soundtrack? What was that? That's That was an interesting find, where people were... Dynamic is messing with the music. It's It's already off, though. That was the original soundtrack, the whole time. No, it was messing up the new soundtrack, Vinny, that's what they were saying. Turn it off now that you're in Reignited. I get, I get what you mean. So yeah, it sounds like instruments are removed when you turn dynamic on, and then they probably are reintroduced in certain areas, in certain situations, which makes a lot of sense. Again, I appreciate the effort. It's nice that they went through the amount of work required to make that stuff happen, where other companies remake games and put almost no effort into it whatsoever, as we all know. And it's worse in almost every way. Oh, Had the wooden leg in 1952. <laughs> Anyone? No? <laughs> Am I the only one? It's a. No, never mind. It's, it's a really fucking early Pink Floyd song. Not one of their best. Yeah, there's like a kazoo solo in that song. Yeah, it's not terrible either. 
What does this look like? Chat, this reminds- first of all, I don't like its skin. It's kind of disturbing. That reminds me of- oh, oh, Max Bebo's band from Star Wars. Is that his name? Max Bebo? Don't Bebo afraid. Max Rebo. I may not like the sequels all that much now that they've concluded in the weirdest fucking way possible. But I will say, I mostly like the new Alien designs. I wish they would have gone with a little bit more of the classics, but... There's some good aliens and stuff in there. Some, some good, uh, production. Not really just talking about Babu Frick, but... There's a couple ones that I liked. Not overly memorable ones. Like, there was a goat that flew X-Wings, so that one I didn't really think was all that interesting. There's no... N listen, no aliens compared to Max Rebo. Which of the sequel movies did you enjoy the most? The one... Oh god, Force Awakens, sadly. You've been hearing about Star Wars for the past however long. You don't need a long conversation about it again. But it had the most... Um, it felt... Even though it was a, a fucking rip-off of A New Hope... It had the most potential. It made me interested and excited to see what direction they were gonna go in. And it had some really cool moments and... I guess... Too many mystery boxes. Thanks, JJ. But it was the one that I enjoyed enough in the theater that when I rewatched it the second time, I didn't hate it. What would a Tarantino Star Wars be like? I think- I think you know the answer to that question. It would be just two, like, a smuggler and an alien... ...in a- like, a spaceship flying around Bespin in a four-minute, unbroken shot, just listening to Star Wars radio, while the camera points at the dude out the side window, and they just talk about, like, like, blue milk. One of them has their feet up on the counter. You know, Harrison, we really like to get this scene right, you know? Vinny, this cow mission requires climb. Oh, man. You le learn to climb on that hub world. You don't need climb, both the other cows are here. I- yeah, I just don't know how to get them back. We'll, we'll worry about the cows in a minute, I just want to try to do this while I have the seeds. You need to climb the second part. Climb for the second part of the mission. Oh. Right, well, there's another seed here, so that's three. Okay, that's three- Oh! Here's number four. Spilt! Five. These doors are holding up pretty well for having dynamite blasted at them. Constantly. This is cool. Well done, my boy. Oh, quick Earth Cam update. There's a camera at Abbey Road Studio in uh, England. In England, without the voice crack. And, uh, it's, it's kind of hilarious. Because everyone's just acting like a jackass and upsetting the people in their cars. Trying to recreate Abbey Road's cover. Like people almost getting killed. <laughs> Maybe not getting killed, but it's pretty um Yeah, it's it's a little it's a little weird. That at like all hours of the day people are at that crossing just walking like jackasses and trying to get, like, a selfie, or have someone take a picture of them. Abbey Road Cam has been a drinking game for years. Take a shot every time someone acts like a jackass. Abbey Road Joker stares, what will they think of next? The Matrix Elevator. I guess anything from a movie could be that. What are some other locations that were in movies that got stupidly famous? The Exorcist stares? Rocky Stairs, that's right. Yeah, the Rocky Stairs. Uh, the Home Alone House. The Forrest Gump Bench. Does anyone know where that even is? Romeo, Quentin Tarantino Romeo. Foot Locker. <laughs> Inception Bridge. Romeo. The House in Breaking Bad with the pizza. Oh, when Walter White throws the pizza onto the roof. I've never even watched that show. Yet. And I know about that scene. It's famous. Joe's Pizza from Spider-Man 2. Actually, yes, Nick, didn't you and I pass by that place? There's a lot of Joe's Pizza in New York City. But there's a lot of fake Joe's. 
So you must accept no substitutes, and you must find the real Joes. And then there's Ray's Famous Pizza, Ray's Original Pizza, Ray's Pizza, R Not Ray's Pizza. I think there really is a place called This Is Not Ray's Pizza. I would not recommend Ray's Pizza, by the way. I don't know why it got such a reputation that there needed to be a million places like Ray's Pizza. Ray's Pizza is the stereotypical pizza place with the red and white checkers. And just like, uncomfortable plastic seats. You don't- you don't want to eat at Ray's. Have you gone to Carmine's Pizza? I don't know about Carmine's, but I know Joe's on Carmine is- is amazing. John's of Bleecker Street. Yeah, that's my favorite pizza in New York City, pretty much. All things considered. If we're not talking about eight hour long waits, or, you know, waiting an hour for a dude to put oil on pizza at Defara's. John's on Bleecker Street is maybe the best pizza. Worst pizza in New York? I don't know. Sabaro, I guess? I don't know. Pizza Hut? You name it. I'm sure there's a shitty dollar slice place that's not... There's decent slices that you can get for a dollar, but there, I'm sure there's at least one really terrible one. Or maybe you can watch the Funny Pizza Man review. And he'll probably have a, a worst. I, I just don't know. Maybe like a slice of pizza at like an airport or something. Many people exclusively visit New Zealand because of Lord of the Rings. I would. I would go. I would go. I would go there. Just for the Lord of the Rings stuff. Amon Hen, take me to the Shire. Take me to the river. Chat, can I not get the last two cows because ladder? You get climb. I need to get climb first, yeah. Vinny, would you live in a hobbit house? With slightly taller ceilings, yes. They look cozy. Alright then, keep your secrets. What if there was no internet? Hmm. I mean, at what point do you just get used to it and live life and smoke your pipe weed like the hobbits do? Alright, I'm warning you, bird, with love and peace and violence and death. Is there a Sheldo Baggins? I'm just- I made- did I make that up? Because I know Belladonna took... Took. And, like, I know there are a lot of Bagginses, and the, then there's the, um, the Sackville Bagginses. I know, like, some of the lineage of the Baggins family. But I was wondering if there was a Sheldo Baggins. <laughs> no? No, not Sheldon. Not Bazinga. No. Okay, you can come back and learn later. But if you had any idea what was at the top of this wall, you'd be willing to pay double what I'm asking. Well, well. Fine. You won't regret it. What? This doesn't even make any sense. Spyro, you could have just done this all along. <laughs> what? We're just shimmying on up? All right. I guess he just needed the motivation. He needed some positive reinforcement. Hey, I mean, there are some psychological effects of spending money on something. Even if you could do it anyway, or if it's like something that's not all that important to you, if you spend the money on it, there's like psychological reasons why you would value it further. That's why people who sometimes buy snake oil report, uh, placebo. Results. I just made all that up, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, you can just instantly travel to levels, that's cool. But at some point, I'm gonna need to go back to these levels and get more stuff. Go to Breeze Harbor next. Breeze Harbor is infamous. Someone said, I've been feeling the placebo of this sub for a year. My friend. I am grateful. I will make it worth your smile. <laughs> but not... Much more than that. Over there in exchange for a few gems? No. Okay, it's up to you. I hear there are a lot of gems over there. Really? Oh, this guy sucks. Shady Oasis. For a I thought. <laughs> uh, I read it very, very quickly while the letters weren't in view, and I thought it said Daddy Osteoporosis. Where's Breeze Easy Gulch, or whatever the fuck people told me to go to? Breezy- Breeze Harbor, there it is.
Goomba? Um, I can't imagine why chat would want me to play this level so bad, other than the fact that it's probably really annoying. Stu Copeland using the same, um, office chair sound effect with a little bit more delay on it this time. Just lean back in that office chair, Stu. This is very interesting. This is- this- this lad right here! Okay, just make sure I'm... I have to get a sense for where the fuck I even am. Land lovers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Oh, cool! It was in a clam. Where's the clam sauce? I don't know why clam is a funny word, but it is. Not even for the vaginal connotation that people ascribe to it, but just because the word clam itself is kind of funny. But thank you for everyone that was reminding me that a clam is in fact a euphemism for. Uh, Vagina Dentata. You want to know what Vagina Dentata is? It's, uh, it's from The Lion King. Vagina Dentata! No? Alright. Someone said, I just woke up at 7 a.m. for this. <laughs> I mean, this isn't a TV show with an ongoing story. You know, this is like... Monster of the Week episodic shit. With bad writers in its 10th season. In order to even continue... Like, we needed to steal jokes from the Muppets. Soon it will be on Shudder. Yep, Vine Saw Shudder exclusive. Or at the rate it's going, CBS All Access. For nice budget streaming... ...opportunities. It's just like playing Call of Duty. I think I was called clams by some of my uncles. I don't know why they did that. I'm not sure what part of me was, in any way, clam-like. I think that was like a nickname that I had when I was a kid. I just, like, it just occurred to me. I haven't thought about this in like 30 years. Okay, maybe not 30, like 27 years. <laughs> Repressed memories. I didn't like clams. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> now that I think about it. Did you ever think back to when you would go to a family thing, or like, a, a, you know, had a family gathering, and then like... You think like, oh, it's just there, I could just do that again. And then you realize it's 30 years later, and nothing is even remotely like it used to be. No, never mind. Where's the clam sauce?! Someone said that the new uh, site name is Clam Sauce. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Okay, but I still need to do that one thing with the cannon. I just want to do that before I leave the level. Nope, that's not happening. I'm not doing that one. Nope, chat. I'm not doing your trolley shit now. Oh, no. I guess I am. Trouble with the trolley, eh? Well... Nope. How many times am I going to hear trouble with the trolley? I wonder. Vinny, do you remember corrupting that? Uh, only vaguely. If you didn't say something, I wouldn't have been- I wouldn't have been aware that I, I corrupted that at some point. I don't know why I couldn't words there, but yes. Yeah, no, I, I don't fully remember that I actually even did that. I do remember the spiral corruptions, but... Not much of them. So shoot down the floating mines. Chat, was there another floating mine around here? Someone said by- there was one by the first... ...cannon. This is the second cannon. It only appears if you beat the trolley. Oh, well fuck that then. Not true, Vinny, it was Japes. Well, I don't see it anywhere. It's behind the wall. Oh, I see it. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. What does it have on it, please? Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, that'll be enough Spyro for now. That was, that was fun. This is a very good game. The adventure will continue soon. More extreme violence. Okay. 
All right, so yeah, I'll, we'll resume and I go back to that level and do the stupid trolley. I'll do it in two tries, guaranteed. Someone named Super Spyro in chat said, "This is definitely the most hype game I've seen you stream so far." You might be a little biased, but I'm okay with that. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Super Spyro. Anyway, hi, welcome back. Spyro. Spyro 2 in particular, this game has been excellent. I've been enjoying it, um, and I decided to play some more of it tonight instead of playing, like, another indie. I was thinking about, I was like, oh, I could do an indie game tonight, but let's just continue our Spyro adventure, because I know people look forward to this. I've been told. This is a game that people have been recommending. They were like, Ben, I really want to see you stream Spyro 2 after 1. I knew I would get to it eventually, but I'm glad I finally did. Also, there's a dude that keeps requesting that I turn the textures to Ultra by going into the INI file. I already did. I just can't tell if that's an Ultra texture. I replaced it from 0 to 3, so... Um, how about them Ultra textures? Spyro 3? I won't stream that for another year and a half, sorry. That's the rule. The rule is one Spyro game per year and a half. Isn't there a Chili Pepper song called Zephyr? Fly away! On my zephyr, I'll lay on my zephyr. I like when uh, Anthony Kiedis goes, Thank you! In that one song. You'll have to redo that entire quest in Zephyr. Oh, man. Well, what was the, um, the quest with the, the minecart? The trolley. Yeah, w what, what level was that? Breeze Harbor? Okay, so instead of me, just go like this. Just go there. Um, and then I'm gonna do some backtracking to get some other stuff. I watched Doctor Sleep. Some of it. Notice I can't skip this cutscene if I tried, but yet I managed to accidentally skip every other cutscene. I have to skip- I have to actually click the screen. Weird. So, Doctor Sleep, I wanted to mention very briefly, you know, it's the sequel to The Shining that Stephen King wrote, that they decided to turn into a movie, directed by not Stanley Kubrick. I like it so far. I've, I've seen like an hour and a half of it. I fell asleep, so I gotta watch the end. I heard the end gets very fan y in a way that's maybe not great, but so far, I'm digging it. Ewan McGregor is always great. She's is always a joy, um, but he's delivering a particularly great performance, and uh, I like some of the editing choices. Like, I don't think it's it's not Stanley Kubrick by any means, like I said, but it's 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 pretty good. This director, I forget who it is, but this director does a lot of fades. Which is a Stanley Kubrick thing that he did quite a bit. I'm like, man, I don't see enough fades in movies, in editing. And, uh, it worked really well. I just think that the villains in the movie are a little corny. But that's all Stephen King. So, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Despite the cheese. Des despite the easy cheesy. It's still pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Doctor Sleep. Not bad. Not bad. Looking forward to finishing it quite a bit. And as I said, Picard Episode 2, uh, just a little boring. And it's just, again, dumb Federation, evil Federation. In, in, I'll just say, in Star Trek The Next Generation, every season, there's at least two or three corrupt Admiral episodes. It seems like we're going in that direction pretty hardcore in Picard. And, uh, edgy Romulans again, it's like, oh man, this could have been so much better. Someone said, is Slay the Spire the prequel to Doctor Sleep? <laughs> I like that. That was a good one. I, I actually did a run of Slay the Spire earlier as the, um, the strong fight men. And, uh, I, it was really good. I got some pretty fucking cool cards. Some of the cards that they retooled entirely as well. Spiky balls don't count. Oh. So now I'm officially up to Ascension 6 with the, um, the Steadfast. What's his name? John? <laughs> John Sword Fight? Okay, so now we get to do the, the trolley. Started this last time, but now... Here we go for real. Trouble with the trolley, eh? <sighs> oh, that's it. You can shoot, right? Okay, shoot. Yes. Fuck. Trouble, Trouble with the trolley, hey? Really missing cat right about now. Well, I think I shouldn't have done that. I don't know how circuitous this thing is, but... I guess we'll find out! Burning down the house! Why couldn't... I think I gotta go to the right this time, let's see. 
start. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. Fine and good. Oh, yo, yo. I think I just tried to imitate Metal King Boo's screams of me. I think that's what happened there. An imitation of me screaming in a number of videos. Yeah, I, yep. Almost certainly. I caramba. I thought once again. Once again, I thought I was about to explode, and then I made it happen. I love them self-fulfilling prophecies. Slay the Spyro. Yeah. That's <laughs> exactly what's happening right now. Why didn't that motherfucker... Why didn't the... Why didn't... I just... I tried to turn... Chat, I... I tried to get into the lane so I could shoot it. Oh no. Oh no, I hate this. I mean... Uh, we'll see what happens. See, uh, that's what I wanted to do last time, but for some reason... It didn't quite happen that way. Why does it go into it? Chat, I am... I... Why did it... Why does it go into it? I pressed left! It wouldn't let me switch lanes! How do I... How do I get back into the right lane? Oh, you... I know I have to use the turn signal, but there's lane switching before that. The first time I get over there, I can switch over to the lane so I can accurately shoot the thing. Okay, now... That, <laughs> now I'm just like... My brain is turning to fucking mush. And I'm just like... Zoning out. Okay, now I'm good. I have to I have to be very on point here and not zone out. See what I mean? I can change it. I can change it. I can change the world. Trouble with the trolley, hey? How do people listen to this shit? Like me screaming the weirdest fucking noises. I don't get you sometimes, chat. Okay, we'll start with this way. Gotta remember to get that metal canister. I, I... God, I sure hope I can shoot it from the lane that I'm gonna be in. You gotta switch early. Oh. oh I didn't need to shoot it. This is it, Luigi. Was- this was worse in the original Spyro 2? So much worse? Are you serious? What- what made it worse? Not that now's a good time for me to be reading this shit. Faster and bad controls. Okay, still gotta get a couple more gems. Fifteen? That's how many times it took me? Fifteen times? I mean, all things considered, that could have gone worse. No, but the frustration was definitely real. Because I wasn't understanding that you couldn't switch lanes until you hit a certain part of the path. Did I not do this already? So, how do I get those gems? So, I got all the orbs. Hang on a minute. Um, is it that time of night? Well, it's close to the yachting hour. Go around, but, but around back on the Zephyr? Sparks is taking me to a different land of imagination. Vinny, if you go to bed so late at night, what time do you usually wake up? Uh, about eight hours later. It's true. It's true. Level 100%ed. So noon to two, correct. About, yeah, from, yes, noon to two. Unless I have to wake up, like, early for something, which I sometimes do, and then it sucks because my schedule is so fucking weird. But I'm- I've always been like this. I always hated mornings. I always functioned like shit in the mornings. When I was in school, it was just terrible. Didn't like it. So the fact that... I can kind of... Do this... Do this... To things! It's fine. I kind of miss mornings, though. I miss what they look like. I miss the, the air of the morning. I miss... Like, breakfast menus from more places. Do you know that Wendy's is teasing a breakfast menu? I think they've already rolled it out in some places. Probably gonna be like trash, but apparently they did. I found out they did breakfast before and it failed. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately. No worse than anyone else. 
That's true. You know, I like... If I don't mind fast food breakfast, most of the time I like that better than the, the actual food, if they use real eggs. Yeah, like, egg product gets me a little weirded out. If there's a perfectly shaped, like, cylinder of egg in my sandwich, that doesn't bode well. I'll still eat it, but I prefer if it's a place that cracks eggs. Vinny, it's real egg. We sure about that? It's just a mold they crack the egg into. Then why is it perfectly, like, spaced out between the yellow and the white in the cylinder all the way through? How do they get it like that? No, I'm not- I'm talking, like, the yellow, the yolk is perfectly in the center for, like, two feet of cylinder. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> if you do it right, you can cook an egg yolk so that it has the consistency of fudge. That's interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I just- yeah, it just is a little weird that the cylindrical egg is, like, perfectly shaped. But, kind of hungry, saying this stuff, even even though I'm thinking about f literally fake egg. So I think it would be uh, a splendid idea for me to stop talking about food right now. Google McDonald's egg. They literally crack the eggs into a mold. Oh, I see. You know what? I get it. They crack the eggs into a mold. Now, I thought this was a long, like, two-foot cylinder that they were just cracking, like, dozens of eggs into. Right? No. It's this. That makes a fuckload more sense. Crew members, quote-unquote. I, I understand now. Thank you for enlightening me. I'm glad it wasn't uh, a two-foot cylinder. But is that a real egg cylinder or a fake egg cylinder? That's the question. Someone said, if only you knew what the cheese was made out of. Do they use real cheese or cheese product, I wonder? Legally distinct cheese product is delicious. Vinny, somebody once told me the war that soup you get at Panera Bread is just frozen in bags. That wouldn't surprise me. It's like going to Cheesecake Factory and expecting artisanal chefs. That said, I think Cheesecake Factory is actually pretty fucking good. I just... You know. I'm suspicious. Um, Conan O'Brien did a bit about Cheesecake Factory. He's like, I don't get how a place has 87 things on the menu. Something like that. Gordon Ramsay would go there- Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Condense your menu. Fuck. There really are a million things on that goddamn menu, and they Every one of the things I've had was good. And not Applebee's good. Like, a little bit better than that. So you have to wonder. Like, maybe- maybe they figured it out. And when I say Applebee's good, I mean I don't like Applebee's. I, I've told the story about I knew someone that worked at Applebee's, and I went there, and he, I was like, "So, so tell me, um, what do you what do you eat when you're you know on your downtime? Like, what will you eat on the menu?" And he was just he was like, "Um, he was like, uh, eat like like far, just like a chicken breast See if grilled." You can spit all the way to the lizard. I was like, that's it? He's, yeah, like a, like a grilled chicken breasts. I don't necessarily take that as everything's disgusting and it's, you know, bad for you. It's just that's the only thing that he could tell me. I, I guess he didn't want to lie to me, so he just said that. <laughs> I was like, well, that's, that's pretty, pretty simple. The Applebee's Blooming Onion has 2,000 calories. That's cool. Didn't they steal that from Outback Steakhouse, though? Who had the first onion? Who had the first onion? That's what I want to know. I think Outback had the Blooming Onion, and then Applebee's probably called it, like, the Open Onion. Shrek had the first onion. Good point. Why are Blooming Onions so good? It's just an onion. Um... I don't... I am... I don't know. I would imagine butter, salt... Whatever the fuck that is going on with that batter. If you just, like, fry a regular onion, it's... I still... Listen, as an onion fan... I'm fine with just regular onion, but when you, like, have batter that's probably that seasoned, you're gonna have something that's- that's extremely tasty, but also very unhealthy for you. Get them arteries nice and clogged. I mean, you know, eat whatever the fuck you want, though, you know? I haven't had a blooming onion in, like, ten years, so... Uh, I would now- <laughs> but now I kinda want one! Do you remember when, like, five, ten minutes ago I said I was gonna stop talking about food? I lied.
who is going to get horrifically injured in this cutscene? I think I know. Uh, well, not horrifically, but just minorly injured. On second thought, maybe... Oh. Oh, right, we saw this one. Very silly. The idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. The hubris. That's what you get for building living Robertson idols. Shouldn't do it. Someone said that guy made a wooden sex doll. Weird that you would say that because it reminded me of when I was in the Bahamas. It, there was a statuette that was being sold pretty much everywhere in the Bahamas. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a little wooden statuette with a barrel over it and a boner on a spring that when you pulled the barrel off, the boner would pop out. Basically a horgon. Yeah, it's tourist trap merch, yeah. Um, but they were, from what I could tell, handmade, and there were several different types of them. I guess it just became... I guess it just became, a, a, like, a, a fucking meme. And every single time you would go to any place, anywhere near, like, where, you know, you were in the Bahamas, there would be a shop selling them. So... Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's one of these puzzles! And that's how it's- how, that's how this all started. Wow, Spyro, you did it! This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay. Okay. One fish, two fish, yellow fish, blue fish only. No red fish. Boy, fire is very versatile in the Spyro universe. Someone said this part can legitimately, no joke, kill speedruns. I feel like that was good RNG for that, because I only got two redfish. How was that a puzzle? I, dude, that was a puzzle from my baby brain. Man, these, these Tiki lads rem remind me of... Donkey Kong Country Returns, the first one. Remember those lads? Where it was like, no Kremlings. Let's start with like, we'll just have Tiki enemies. The Tiki tribe. The Arctic enemies in Tropical Freeze were way cooler. Okay, yes they were pretty cool. They were. I'm the one who's supposed to be making the shitty jokes here. Waka waka. I, yeah, I mean, Kremlings are still my favorite. I think the Kremlings probably had the most personality, and, and I was most uh, invested in destroying them. Especially because K. Rule was just such a great villain. Or at least, maybe he wasn't as great as I thought he was, but he was just iconic. I don't know. I remember liking K. Rule. I felt like the ice villains were really good, though. I enjoyed them. Tropical Freeze had some cool enemies, and... It just would be nice if there was another Donkey Kong Country game. Like, let's call it the Returns Trilogy. It would be nice to have, um, Kremlings, Tiki Tribe, and wh what were they called? Snowmads. That was a cool name. Someone said that's the point, you can't even remember. Yeah, but Kremlings were in Donkey Kong 64 and three Donkey Kong Country games, and Snowmads were only in one. There is logic to this? Well, my logic was Star. Because the shape is a star, right? So star leading to moon. Oh wait, maybe shape. Maybe it's like less angles each time. Maybe color that time. And now moon, shape, and then back to... Oh, I see. Okay, so like some commonality. Nice job, Spyro. Let's see, what are my amounts here? I still need one... Orb and some gems. 
<laughs> just thinking about Norm Macdonald. Don't mind me. As a person does- no, it's just- just him saying the word cock. That's all. A little chunk of coal. <laughs> Vinny, uh, why you stream so late? I mean, everyone says, Vinny, why you stream so late, but no one says, Vinny, how you stream so late. Uh, how? Oh, depression. I just stole that from a chat member. It's likely true, though. I mean, I manage it well. <laughs> so don't worry about me. Haha, <laughs> everything's fine. No, I'm, I'm really okay. I, I know people get worried when I say dumb things like that. It's like, it's just this whole generation of people making depression jokes. Haha, <laughs> I want to die. It's like, wow, who would have thought that was an unhealthy culture to foster? Interesting. No, but I'm good. I have my coping methods and I'm doing well. How did that question turn into this? Jesus, I was just joking around. Vinny, say spin to lighten the mood. Spin to lighten the mood. Vinny, does making music help you feel better? Yeah, and I tend to write more when I'm in shitty moods, which is why a lot of my music sounds kind of fucking depressing. I just tend to resonate more with darker music. Um, someone else said something interesting I want to respond to, but I don't remember what it was, so I guess that's over. Vinny, why aren't you playing new levels? Um, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to go back and 100% this whole thing. How much is there? Oh, there's- there's some stuff here. There's some stuff here. I mean, I just- since we got onto, like, a serious note, I will say that I appreciate that people care, but I'm okay. I think overbearing caring is also really not great and annoying, but I do appreciate that people give a shit. And, um, you know, I appreciate it. Coddle him? No, 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 no thanks. That's not necessary, thank you. Vinny, which of the planned Star Trek shows are you most interested in? Lower Decks, Section 31, etc. Um, kinda none. Right now. Based on the quality of what they're putting out. I'm not even, like, trying to just be, like, a jerk because... You know, it's fun to hate on things. But yeah, I don't- I don't think... I don't think they have, um... The ability to- to create as compelling Star Trek content as I would prefer at the moment. I mean, some would feel differently. Maybe they like Star Trek Discovery and Picard. I think Picard's okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. They need to get back on track. Trek. I'm more interested in the Obi-Wan show from Star Wars. Oh, wait a minute. That just got shit canned. No, they had a, a issue with the writers for that one. They should do a show about Admiral Holdho. And uh, that would be a fun one. A delayed, not canceled. Fair enough. Well, whatever happens, I would love to see an Obi-Wan TV show, but there's rumors that it might turn back into a movie because they they shit can two episodes, so it went from a six-episode miniseries to a four-episode series, which is the same length as a film. So I don't know what the hell's going on. It seems like anything with Star in the title has been getting kind of mismanaged. Apparently Nintendo doesn't know what the fuck to do with Star Fox either, which is... Again, I just make my idea for Star Fox, which is just do more but better. <laughs> Why do they want to go into the soup so bad? Maybe I should just let them. Chat, they clearly want to be soup. Jesus. That was close. The original had a shitty camera angle. Fair enough. Take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Bodatos. I just noticed the clouds in this game. Did you guys see the fucking clouds in Red Dead Redemption 2? From a high angle? There's a video of someone in like a UFO flying above the clouds in Red Dead 2 and they look like the best clouds I've ever seen. Not even just in a video game, even out of like real life. But you only ever really see them from the bottom. What do you mean a UFO? I think it was a mod. But yeah, they're just amazing volumetric clouds. Yeah, there's the hot air balloon mission, but I don't think you fly high enough in that... ...to, uh... I don't think you fly high enough in... ...the balloon to really see the top of the clouds. Like, it's just... ...so much extra detail. Not that this is all that big of a deal, but... Check this out. Look at the- look at this shit! 
Like, you... How the fuck? That's a lot of effort for something that you really kind of don't even really think about. Like, you might look at them from, like, the ground and be like, yep, yeah, and then that's it, and then you're done. But no, it's all volumetric. You can go through them. You can see them dissipate. God, what a, what a gorgeous game. Okay, there's um, one more in Summer Forest that I kind of want to see if I can find. There's a level you didn't visit in this hub as well. It's not on your list. Oh, orb. There's only three. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Shit, there's one more. Fuck. I really just left a bunch of fucking gems lying around. Singular gem. Vinny, did you ever hear or feel your bones grinding, scratching against each other? Excuse me, but what the fuck? Isn't that what happens when you don't have proper cartilage? I think my cartilage is fine, thank you. Yeah, I mean, there's bone hurt juice, and then there's also... There's bone make good juice. I don't know. <laughs> if you drink some of that, you'll be alright. I wonder what kind of memes this generation and the younger generation are gonna have when we start hitting, like, 60, 70, 80, like... Are they gonna post the crying, laughing face emoji? Like, yo, I got osteoporo. Weird time when we start becoming grandparents. It's gonna get real fucking strange. Um, so chat, this... other area here in the hub, uh, where- where is it exactly? What's it near? Go to the Waluigi symbol-shaped part of the map. The Waluigi-shaped symbol part of the map. Got it. Someone said the upside-down penis, and that was much more accurate of a descriptor. Thank you. A lot of maturity on the stream tonight. From me and the chat. Adults. Not adults. Adults. It's like a news anchor person saying adults. Adults. Fuck, now I'm doing it. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, I remember these. These! Right, that's the- you don't want to press that button. You definitely don't want to press that button. Part of me was kind of hoping that these levels wouldn't be in this game. <laughs> I already lost. Then you are already lost! I can't wait for the whole generation of older memers from, you know, Generation Zoom or whatever the fuck, to call themselves, uh, selves Osteoporo Bros. Can't wait to see bone memes. As someone who's created a lot of dumb internet culture, I can tell you that there are some things that are too dumb even for me. Just a couple. But they exist. In this house, we have osteoporosis. That comes to mind, for example. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore, chat. I really don't even know what I'm speaking about. I don't even know... ...who I am. I don't know why, but in the- in this house doesn't... I just picture, like, a, a tiny little house. Oh, god damn it. Our house... ...in the middle of our street. Yeah, I don't- I don't like that one very much. Here we go. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a 10 second buffer. Now, the reason I didn't go under the bridge those several times is because I thought it was on the bridge, because I saw the top of it. That's- that's why I was dumb like that. Have you- would you ever stream a complete Fallout game? I streamed Fallout 4, is that complete? Or was that shipped incomplete? There's an orb in this stage as well? What do you mean? There's a hidden orb? I guess now- Alright, Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. But beware, if Hunter flies through a ring first, the ring will start to shrink. Okay. I, yep, well, I, I mean, Superman 64 at least...
controls better than this. No. That's how you get shot on the internet. Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. How the fuck did I do that? Vinny, why did you open fire on those spectators? Oh, it was an accident. I guess now. That's just. In the original, they don't come back. Oh my god. Alright, this whole area is now done. Oh, I remember how the chili pepper song goes now. Finally, for real. It was like, fly away on my zipper. I'll be your Kermander Frog. Bung. Bung. I don't want to know where Unga Bunga like started. Like, like who, who said the first Unga Bunga? We don't know what the fuck cavemen said. We have no idea what cavemen said to each other. They might have said Bunga Unga. We don't know. I just like I have to know like who was the first. Like, what was it? Like a TV show? Was it a, a comic? Was it a book? Was it a cartoon? It wasn't the Flintstones? Flintstones spoke perfect English. You Captain Caveman. What was Captain Caveman? It sounds familiar, but I don't know. It was an old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. From when? 40s? Did it go Captain Caveman? 60s? Oh wait, fucking Hanna-Barbera wasn't around in the 40s. It did do that? Oh my god, so I do know what it is then. Why do I know what it is? It's one of those things, I guess. You just fucking... You hear a couple times and then it just sticks with you. Didn't someone else have a, a theme? Or like a, a catchphrase that went like that? Was it Space Ghost? Oh, it was Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was Birdman. It was indeed Birdman, you're right. And then Birdman became an attorney at law. And Space Ghost became a talk show host. What the fuck? These low-budget ass bootleg superheroes. And they ultimately became more interesting as a result. I remember when Space Ghost interviewed Tom York <laughs> for some reason and David Byrne when he had long hair, which should never be. David Byrne should not have long hair. He learned that very quickly. He had a long hair phase for like a year and then he was like, You know what? Big suits are better. Why do you wear the big suit? Because I want my head to be smaller and the best way to do that was to make my body bigger. And everyone just accepts that like it's a reasonable answer. Like, oh, of course, David. You wanted your bot, your head to be smaller, so your body needed to be. B I get it. I mean, it does check out. Yeah, this information. Make no mistake, the information's is totally accurate and correct. He said in his book that a friend told him everything needs to be bigger on stage, so he took it literally for the sake of doing something unique. I read that book, by the way, and I don't remember that. But I also read the book like five years ago, so of course I don't remember it. But um. That makes sense. For a guy like David Byrne, that makes total sense. I think it's fucking phenomenal. He's one of the most interesting artists... I think, ever. In- in that genre. And- and it, uh, he crosses genres, too. Like, it's not just rock. The dude... Dude's all over the place. It's like him doing weird stuff in the Once in a Lifetime video. You may tell yourself! Or you may find yourself, you know, like, and he's doing all these weird hand gestures and movements and dances. Like, that's all him. He's just, like, doing weird shit. What does it mean? Probably nothing. Maybe some of it means a little bit, but for the most part, it's just memorably weird. Yeah, little quirky things tend to be remembered by people. Like, just, like, look at Tom York dancing in, um, Lotus Flower. Became a fucking meme because of the way, because of the way he was dancing, and, and also the um, anima short thing that he did, the short video he did for Netflix for his solo album. He went very quirky and, and weird, and he just did all kinds of stuff that became gifs. And I mean, I watched that thing one time, and I remember it almost exactly. I remember all the different se not exactly, but I remember the ste the different sections of it. I remember what weird movements he was doing. Vinny, you don't have to shoot them from that distance, but it's so much fun! You know the interview where someone's coming at Tarantino for violence in his movies? And he's like, I know! That's why it's so much fun! It's a movie! 
Oh, he, it's so fun, Jan! He's talking to someone named Jan, I guess. I mean... Logically, I should be wanting to... ...use a flamethrower... ...on a variety of people, because I've been playing a game... ...where you shoot flames... ...at dragons. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, uh, chat is making some weird comments about this. Oh, my gosh. His dance was better in the original. I like how even things like... Uh, ...like a fucking skeleton dancing... ...might have been better in the original version of the game. It's not a big level. It just seems bigger than it is. And yet I'm still getting lost. Probably because they made this for the demo. What, this was the demo level for Spyro? This and Sunny Beach? That's cool. Yeah, I didn't- and weirdly enough, like, all the demo discs I have, not a single one of them had fucking Spyro on it. Crash, Metal Gear Solid, Medal of Honor, I think, was on one. Wait, maybe not Medal of Honor. Um, Siphon Filter. I really- I gotta grab my demos again one day. Maybe do another demo disc stream. I don't think any of that's on the full sauce. Spyro demos were on the Crash games. Well, I didn't own any <laughs> of the Crash games. Brave Fencer Musashi, I had that. Demo, not the game. I rented the game, the full game, and it was good. Spyro Demo 1 CTR, didn't have that. <laughs> Musashi had Final Fantasy 8 demo. But Final Fantasy VIII demo was also on a magazine demo disc as well, if I'm not mistaken. Because I had that. I played that demo like eight times. Final Fantasy eight times I played it. And it had different music, too, and I loved that music. The demo had great music for the Dalit landing. And then it was cut because it was similar to another track, and some composer was threatening to sue, so they, they got rid of it. OPM, yep, official PlayStation magazine, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I love Nintendo. Some would say too much, but I always had my complaints about Nintendo, especially during the N64 days. It was a tough time to be an N64 fan. Games were few and far between, and there were some great games, but sometimes they looked like shit, and the controller was not to my liking. Not all the time. Not for every game. But, you know, I still love the N64, and I still think it's a great console. It has some of my favorite games of all time on it. But PlayStation had a steady stream of games. Visually, I think it held up better. And demo discs. As someone, you know, it couldn't afford every game. There's like a lot of games that would come out, I couldn't afford them, and I would just like, get OPM, and oh, what's this? A demo disc. And then suddenly I could like, get another 10 hours at least out of a demo disc. And the demos were pretty substantial. Some of them had multiplayer that I would play couple characters you can play in a fighting game. So PlayStation definitely had some great shit on it. And uh, I will always fondly remember the PlayStation, even though I didn't play Spyro. I'm glad I'm playing it now, though. And uh, yeah, one day I, I got to grab my demo discs. I have like 10, 15, 10 to 12 of them, I would say. And uh, just check out some of the games. Would you happen to remember what fighting games? Tekken 3 and Bloody Roar, I think. What did you like on PS2? I loved PS2, but I... I would say I had less PS2 games than PS1 games. But PS2 had some good stuff. I'll go through my collection one day. Alright, so... I'm done. Here is... Someone sent me this. And it should be worth noting that this is what I thought... When I thought the two-foot egg tube. Vinny, I thought you meant two-foot diameter. <laughs> Oh, no. No, no, I did not mean two-foot diameter egg tube. What the fuck... ...is this bop emote? Is that a hammer? Is that supposed to represent... ...someone getting hammered? I don't know. Welcome to the stream! It's, uh, Slay the Spyro tonight. I'm a little, uh, late to the stream because I was stuck in a game of Footman Frenzy. Vinny, you definitely answered this before, but why don't you start your streams with music anymore? Um, it was... four to five images or more per stream, plus a song, and I can barely pick a song for the BRB. And it also kills, like, five to seven minutes of the stream time. And I'm lazy.
But first, I would like to tell you that Warcraft 3 is still very addictive. Not the reforged version, but I was playing Footman Frenzy with Sphinx and, and Reds, Jeff, uh, and I just kept... I just got stuck in a match for so goddamn long. It's really, really fucking easy to get lost in that game and just spend an hour in one custom game. So that's pretty much what my day looked like. So, my character had, um... I'll just tell you, if anyone that knows Warcraft 3... My character, the hero, had a thing that had thorns, but basically it was returning, at one point, up to 80% damage... ...back to... ...whoever would attack any unit within my hero's range. So, I just upgraded armor, and I went from being... and I was, like... ...you know, on my own, pretty much. Like, it was just me... ...versus... Two versus one versus two. And I ended up coming back because people were doing damage to themselves because my armor was like upgraded all the way. And um, I got to the point where I saw the time. I was like, wow, it is 1145 and I'm not streaming. And this match is going nowhere. We were just at a fucking standstill checkmate. I had too much armor. They had too many units. And I just gave up. I just quit out of the match. Stalemate. Yes, not checkmate. Stalemate. I'm a... <laughs> incorrect word. This is every parent's worst nightmare. My brother oh. Handel and I have oh, been no. sent here to blow at this castle, but Handel got caught by these evil soldiers, and I'm stuck out Kill here. Kill the child. <laughs> Thanks. I get to kill Thanoses and save kids. What a what a day today is. In this one case, Thanos was right. Just this one time. Yeah, so Spyro, you know, I've been enjoying this playthrough. Sometimes I get a little lost, even with a map. That might be more my fault. Oh, uh, my Fire Emblem progress. I chose the Black Eagles. Because... Edgelord, Edel, Edelgard, Edelweiss is just too... too good... compared to the rest of them. Um, I was almost Blue Lions. I really had a hard time choosing. I also like, um, what's his name? Feder Federico? <laughs> no, what is this guy's name? There's Fernando, I think is his name, right? There's a couple people on the Black Eagles I like, but everyone else is... I'm not- I'm not so sure. There's a couple that I kind of hate. Um, also, why is there- there's one teacher lady who's got her boobs out that's just so thirsty for the main character? She said, alright, come on in, lock the door. Like, she tried to fuck immediately. Why is this game so horny? When did Fire Emblem become horny games? Again, I'm playing it for the combat and for the the, the the tactics. Boy, did I choose the wrong game. But I can kind of ignore a lot of that stuff as much as possible, and I don't mind it, but... Um, yeah, Manuela got really horny, and then the other professor was, like, talking about how she... He lent her a book, and it came back with mysterious, like, sp like splotches, like, splooge marks on it. I'm like, wow, Nintendo. What the fuck am I playing? Oh, and despite me finally knowing about this monastery, and, um, knowing who Byleth is, I still think that Byleth is the weakest of any of the newer characters in Smash. Just from a... Not from a gameplay standpoint, necessarily, just, I'm... I, it's just not exciting. I like playing as Byleth in Smash, but I... I'm still kind of like, eh, it's fine. The Gatekeeper is cool, at least. Did you meet Palutena yet? Yeah, I'm still not sure why Palutena is in Fire Emblem, but uh, uh, that's fine. Vinny, why don't you like Bernadetta? She's basically you. I leave my house once in a while. I'm also not an archer. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. The combat's good. There's a little bit of crust in that game that I can't really fully explain. And I'm still getting used to the mechanics, but it's keeping me busy. It's fine. The guy who voices Hunter voices Hubert. What the fuck? Yeah, again, it's, it's a tough thing to go from Dragon Quest XI to, uh, Fire Emblem, because Dragon Quest is so goddamn polished. And it's just such a concise game, and it builds the mechanics up so slowly. 
that uh, I just, I love that game. So this one, you know, I'm having a little trouble with. It's, it's not as likable a game as um, Dragon Quest so far, but we shall see. We shall see. I mean, it's bringing me back to why I liked Fire Emblem Awakening. So that's a good thing. DQ11 has some crust too, a little bit. It does. Like I said, there were times where I just didn't play the game for like several weeks. What do you think of the characters in Three Houses? So far, it's- I'm only three hours in. So far, I'm not sure how much I love them, but they're at least fairly distinct. There's a couple characters that are kind of cool. Any early favorites? Um, Sylvain makes me laugh, and um, Edelgard, like I said, is cool. And Manuela, because she has splooge marks on her books. Um, d the guy with the D? Dun 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 dun? Who's that guy? The do? That guy's fine. I like that people are judging me based on which characters I like. Keep in mind, I haven't really gotten a chance to spend too much time with them. So, I'm still trying to figure out. Like, I don't really like Pubert very much. He kind of annoys me, but I think maybe he'll grow on me. He won't. Oh, cool. Yeah, the weird thing is, I chose the Black Eagles, but I, I think most of that class is fairly unlikable compared to the other ones. But anyway, uh, I do like the combat. I, I'll tell you what, last thing I'll say about Fire Emblem right now is... Did they get rid of the- did they get rid of the weapon triangle? Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, wait a minute, something feels missing. Um, aside from that, the battalion system is cool. For those that don't know in chat, you can recruit battalions and they have different abilities and... You can attack multiple enemies in a row using the battalions. So, I mean, there's some steps back from what I've seen from Awakening, based on my limited Fire Emblem knowledge, and also some steps forward. I just wish there was a little less to do in between battles. And I know I can skip through a lot of that shit, but I find that stuff to be less compelling. But I also am playing this game to see where the story goes, and to learn about the characters as well. And, uh, it's, it's delivering. I'll let you know in another 10, 20 hours, you know, or when I'm finished with the game, but so far, I don't regret the purchase, and I'm glad I have something substantial to sink my teeth into. That is, um... I was in the mood for a tactics game, like I said. I was really, like, jonesing for something like that, and this this is delivering. Oh, apparently, um, the Dark Crystal game is not amazing. I mean, I haven't played it, so I have no idea if it's good or bad, but, uh, it seems to be getting slammed a little bit, and it's it, apparently a little cheap. Uh, wow, a licensed property ended up not turning out amazing, and they skimped on it. Whomst would have thumpsed. Vinny, sorry the characters bother you, I enjoyed them. Listen, they're not bothering me, I'm just indifferent on a lot of them, and I have to learn, you know, more who they are throughout the game. But so far, there's only a couple, there's only a couple that I like. Are there any other JRPGs that have caught your attention? The only other JRPG that I'm semi-interested in at the moment is Xenoblade Chronicles, the one on the Wii that's getting a remake. Or an HD version. That's pretty much it, right now. Aside from Final Fantasy VII Remake, which of course, is a different thing. But Xenoblade is, is a game I'm... For years, people have recommended that to me. Oh, Trials of Mana, of course, but I already played the, the original, and that's great. So, let's hope it's not shit when Square uh, re-releases it. Vinny, have you played XCOM 2? Yeah, I really loved XCOM 2. I'm ready for a new XCOM. I sucked at it. I mean, the problem was with XCOM 2 is the, um... The system they had in place, where if you didn't keep up with everything, you just, like, get stuck. I got stuck in that game. Wow. Maximum difficulty for this? This mission sucks, really? Not like I know where I'm going, but... We make the pants. I feel like karma hits me every time I sing the pants song. Like, something bad immediately happens to me in the game, or in real life, every time I sing that song. So, maybe I should just stop that. Vinny, look at the flags. I don't see any flags, though. Someone said, Don't stop the spirits when they need you! This lot- Oh, up there. Is more than just a read-through! I like that people are posting the dancing Kermits. Which is, it works on a couple levels, because I've always thought that Anthony Kiedis had a little bit of a Kerm tendency. There's a little bit of Kerm in his voice. Why do you have to ruin every Chili Pepper song? Help! I... I don't know. 
I just, it's just fun to ruin them a little bit, I guess. I mean, I like the chili peppers. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna play one during the break. I'm gonna play a chili pepper song from my favorite chili pepper album, which is Stadium Arcadium. Because, uh, I, I like that album in headphones. That's a really, really great album to listen to. It's maybe not their best album, but it's my favorite. There's just so much going on. The guitar is amazing. John Frusciante, like, that's his masterpiece with that band. Um, and he's back now with the band, and Mark Marin interviewed Josh Klinghoffer, their current guitarist, well, ex-guitarist of 10 years now, and, um... Mark's like, so, uh, what happened? We booked you before you were out of the Chili Peppers. And he's like, yeah, I don't know, man. So that was a fun interview. Where the fuck are these flags? I don't... I think I, I see one maybe over here. Vinny, have you listened to Prashanti's solo stuff? Yeah, I, I really like, um... I'm assuming that that's, that's the incorrect way of going about this. Yep. You raised all throughout... You have to shoot the genies. What is genie? Look for the places you press the buttons. And, and what do I shoot here, chat? Vinny, look above you. The Empyrean is a great album from Prashanti, by the way. That, that's my favorite of his. You start at the last flag. Go to the one closest to the exit. Um, and, okay. Do I need the super fire for this? Yes, to shoot the genie. But... I haven't seen the genie. Vinny, did you see him? He's on the screen. No, I was talking bullshit. Mike. Vinny, you keep running past it? Oh, that- that little fella. I thought that was like one of the... ...enemies that you, um... I thought that was like, um, an enemy that you- you shoot to get health. No, near the fl- Oh. I would like to apologize on behalf of stupid people. Uh, we are not all this stupid. And they don't deserve to be lumped in with me. So, uh, don't worry about it, mate. Thanks, Carl. Oh my god. Fuck! Ah! Is he saying that too? Is he saying fuck? Oh, he's saying ha. Guess I can just take my time with it. Boy, if the yacht rot is setting in now, what's Slay the Spire gonna be like? Well, that was weird. Oh, so this is- this is gonna take a while. Okay, so- oh, okay, so shoot Genie, then play Genie's game. Three times. I guess if you're not going for a 100% run, you don't have to do any of this shit. You can just, like, skip this level. It's not too bad if you don't rush through it. Huh. Alright, here we go. Vinny, can you shoot the kid? Uh, yes. It won't affect the child, but I believe you can- you can shoot the child. Kill the child. Ah! Fucking Liam Gallagher was on Twitter yesterday, and he was, like, saying some really vague shit about how they were offered a hundred million dollars to do a tour with Oasis, and his greedy brother wouldn't do it. Even though that's not how that works. If Noel is not taking a hundred thousand- hundred million dollars, hundred million... It's because he just doesn't want to deal with his brother, who's a gobshite. A talented gobshite! He's sounding very good lately, vocally, but... So then, Noel made a tweet saying something like... It was- it was actually kind of fucking hilarious. Because people were, like, speculating, like, that Noel turned down a thing, and there was news, like... Noel Gallagher turns down Oasis reunion... ...for a hundred million dollars! I just want to read this, because it, it, one quick thing, and then I'll get back to the game. He said, To whoever might be arsed, I am not aware of any offer from anybody for any amount of money to reform the legendary Mancunian rock and roll group Oasis. I am fully aware, though, that someone has a single to promote, so that's maybe where the confusion lies. I swear to God, those two are gonna have some, like, serious regrets later on in life. You know, like, their kids are growing up without, like, their uncles and... They're just being, like, big, like, babies. They're brothers. 
you know? They don't have to reform Oasis, just find a way to fucking, you know, get along. I do think it's more Liam than Noel, though. Noel is just done with it, and Liam keeps calling his brother a potato on Twitter. And keeps, like, shitting on Noel's wife, um, saying that Noel's wife won't let him hang out with the boys and play music. And then he keeps, like, saying that Noel is sucking Bono's teat or st stuff like that from, a, um, from U2 and calling U2 lame. Even though there's pictures of, <laughs> of Liam literally kissing Bono on the lips and hanging out with him and saying how great and massive you two are. The, I swear to God, Oasis drama is fucking hilarious. It doesn't even seem real, it seems scripted. Maybe it is. Maybe they both have singles to promote. <laughs> it's promotion and it's working. I mean, if you... Great job, Agent Spyro. Again, if they're getting offered millions of dollars to reform Oasis, it seems like they could just dispense with the drama and do a couple shows, but... Maybe I just don't know any better. Alright, level done. Level done, level fun. That's the D-pad again, by the way. Professional Microsoft controller down on the D-pad is broken. It double clicks or it doesn't click at all. I ordered an 8-bit dough controller. How old is this controller? Um, it was an basically unused Xbox One controller. Professional. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone said it sounds like a Switch controller. Actually, yes. I was having a similar problem with the Switch Pro controller when the first um, models were released, but... Again, Grant and Sin City modified my Switch Pro controller and fixed the D-pad. So, it's really... it's good now. The problem is that it's not compatible with everything, and I was having issues with the Switch Pro controller with Hades. And so I just switched the Xbox controller, and it works great, except down on the D-pad. So, 8-bit dough seems like it'll be a good choice for classic games, and then I'll use this for other stuff. <sighs> It's just, goddamn, man, I've been through so many controllers. <laughs> Vinny, do you not like the PS4 controller? I like it. I do like the DualShock, but I don't love the position of the, um, analog stick. I was never a fan of that lowered analog stick position. And the battery is very, 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 very short. I still think the Switch Pro controller is exactly the type of controller... Like, I think it's my favorite controller... ...type. Like, the analog stick... ...feels good, it's in the right position... ...for me. Um, the buttons are, are just really nice, the HD rumble's good. I just wish the D-pad wasn't broken when I first got it. It's good now, but... ...again, it doesn't... Uh, ...have X input, so it's not compatible with everything on PC. Oof. <laughs> it's missing analog triggers, too. Oh, it is! I didn't even- you know what? Didn't even consider that, but it, it most certainly is. That's why a Mario Sunshine remake on Switch would be kind of weird. Because you wouldn't be able to control the exact, like, squirt of flood. Analog stick for pressure and gyro for aim. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a way it could be done. It just wouldn't be as convenient. There's a couple games that use the analog triggers on the GameCube um, that it worked really nicely for. I think Rogue Leader used it pretty well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 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 I got it. Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Finny? Who the fuck is Finny? Spyro? The fuck Spyro? I don't know who your daffy pals are. Vinny, thoughts on the wonderful 101 release? I talked about it yesterday, but I'll, I'll give you a quick summary. I liked the game. It never fully clicked. I never completed it. It kind of bothered me a little bit. I didn't like drawing to make the shapes. 
And I never felt the analog stick to make the shapes all that intuitive either. So I think it's great. Platinum, I, I mostly love Platinum. I think they're just a wonderful developer and Kamiya is great. So I'm happy that they got their money. And I'm happy that more people get to experience that game. It could use a couple little improvements. I would play it again, maybe. But mostly, I think, um... I'm not sure. I'm not too sure I would replay the game. But it was cool as fuck and unique, and uh, I think a lot of people are gonna love that game. D Vinny, did you hear about Dan Hauser leaving Rockstar? I only heard the- I only saw the headline. Uh, I don't know much about it. But yeah, that's one of the original founders of the company, right? He wrote just about every major Rockstar release. Oh, right, he- yes, okay, I, I do know. He did the story elements. Well, I'll tell you what, I have a couple friends that work at Rockstar after that visit I made. Like, acquaintances. We keep in touch, and... It's a tough company to work for, but I'll tell you what. They love it. The ones that I speak to, they genuinely love working there. Uh, Rockstar New York. I'm, I'm talking about the one in New York City, at least. They did give me free pizza. That was a really nice thing. I was very happy about that. Are they working on GTA 6? Vinny flexing and humble bragging again. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Are they working on GTA 6? I wish... I wish I knew. It would be great if they would. I have a feeling that they're gonna take a little break, and they're gonna do something else. I feel like maybe they'll revisit Bolt Bully. I don't know. I just think that after such a huge release with Red Dead 2, and GTA 5 still making them a lot of money, I would love to see them do something like that. Maybe do a completely new, completely different franchise. Or Bully 2 would be fine, or another Max Payne. The previous Max Payne they released was amazing, so... But my, you know, of course GTA 6 would be my most anticipated game. You know what the weird thing is? We are now almost two console generations removed from GTA 5. Because GTA 5 launched on PS3 and Xbox 360. And then was ported, and everyone kind of knows the PC version and the versions for Xbox One and, and PS4. But PS5 is on its way, Xbox Sex is almost out, and that's... A, a, like a whole other generation. So imagine the leap from GTA 5 to 6. Just say sex box. I can I can do that maybe. Um, but yeah, in terms of Wonderful 101, one last thing I wanted to say was, I'm just happy that Platinum is going to make back some of the, you know, like they, you know, people spend their lives on these games, and then ten people play them because it was released for the Wii U. You know what I mean? Like Wonderful 101 deserves another shot. You know, as long as I get my Bayonetta 3 soon enough, I'd be very happy. I know they have that other game they're working on, but there's some rumors of a Nintendo Direct this month, too, in fact. One for Animal Crossing and one for whatever else. Also, Animal Crossing has had some strange stuff. No cloud saves, limited to one town per console. Again, these are rumors, there's always rumors, but I think it's probably... I have a gut feeling, like the Devo song, I have a gut feeling that February would be the time for a Direct. It's a little overdue. Yeah, no, those aren't rumors. The Animal Crossing ones, those are confirmed. But I mean, if there were to be a Direct, I wouldn't expect Bayonetta 3 beyond maybe a mention. Though I could imagine Bayonetta 3 being a big focus of E3. Any thoughts on the Evo lineup? I don't- I don't know what's- I don't know what that is. I know what Evo is, I don't know the lineup. I haven't followed it. I don't really watch a lot of stuff like that. Sorry. Devo has a great lineup. That band is fantastic. Vinny. Thoughts on the current political and economic states of the country's status of the countries making up the former Union of Yugoslavia? Well, you see, that's a very interesting point that you bring up there. You see, we get to a certain point politically where... What did you just say? And now an uninformed moron talks politics. Wait a minute. That's very... Hmm. Twitter? Oh, Just fuck! Keep those <laughs> no! The fucking down button! Wait, why does- why is there two of them? He teleported? I almost... 
didn't look like a teleport, but more like a glitch. They probably thought... Never thought anyone would fail on the first enemy. Well, I am full of surprises. I hope Barrett says that. I hope he says you just full of surprises, Cloud. I really, really hope he does. And I hope that with the subtitles on, it's spelled J-E-S. I also hope they don't, like, cut any of Barrett's backstory. I hope we get a, a really substantial amount of... Maybe even more of Barrett's life before he became Avalanche. And, like, how he became a good dad and all that stuff. Like, I would really... I would really appreciate that. Because I felt like it was a little light. Like, they, he had good story, but I felt like it was a little light in Final Fantasy VII. Like, we could get a little more backstory out of him. Vinny, do you think they will show Cloud bathing with a group of men? If they don't, they're cowards. I bet people who never played Final Fantasy VII are like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> like, what? What if, chat, Cloud had never, ever bathed with a group of men, and this is just... Just a bunch of people wishing it would happen. For unrelated purposes. What if Cloud never bathed? You don't see him bathe a single time in Final Fantasy VII, so... Just saying. Oh, uh, well, well that- yeah, that's fine. Fuck you! Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. Vinny, you're done with this level for now. I guess we'll be back here at some point. Someone said we need a, a spray, like we need like um, a spray bottle for the chat, like of water, you know? How about like fart juice instead? Guess you didn't like him all that much, huh? Your best friend of 37 years. I want to see what these, um, this particular music sounds like with Reignited. I mean, I kind of like the way the guitar sounds. I like the crusty guitar. So I, I don't need... I don't need the Reignited version. I want to hear Stu Stuart Copeland's original versions of these songs. What the fuck is that noise? Is that part of the fucking music? What? It's borderline experimental. Played a match of Warcraft 3 earlier with some of the, uh, the lads, the mods. And we, we did a 4v4. And we're still pretty, you know, we're not really great. Not reforged. Calm your fucking tits. The original version. I got my refund. With the- with my Daffy Pals. So anyway, I'm playing Warcraft 3, and, um... That dude was, like, T-posing. That's weird. Uh, anyway, we're playing, and we did two insane computers, two normal computers. Because last time we played, we kind of stomped the, over the normal computers. So, we're doing it. And we're getting fucking destroyed. And I'm okay at the game, but I'm not quick enough. Like, I couldn't actually play someone who knew how to play well. But I can hold my own against some computers. And I, I know how to, like, do an army composition and, you know. But regardless, like, not Jeff, Sphinx, Norix, like, still picking it up a little bit. And that's fine. Like, we're, we're not professionals. We're just playing for fun. So we're playing it. We're getting our asses kicked. They take over the middle of the map, and then the computer didn't push any fo like forward, so we, we had to get a Zeppelin to bring our units to an island. And I said, all right, well, how about this? Why don't we just build air units from these islands? Just bleed them out of gold. And it's like three gold mines per island, and you can only get there with a flying unit. And we just, we, we fucking turtled on those bases, built 
a fuckload of flying units and just won easily. Just destroyed them. It was so satisfying. It brought me back to why I love that game so much. Just shit like that when that happens, it's great. And all the while, like, I'm still using my heroes and leveling them up. I had a bunch of necros creating meat. Epic gamer moment compilation. I would put it in there. I might stream the original Warcraft 3 at some point. Made you want to buy the Reforged again, didn't it? Why would I need to buy Reforged? It's, honestly, the visuals are fine. It's, yeah, it's a switch to turn on skins. The customs still work. I have had no server issues anymore. Like, at the first couple days, I couldn't even play the original. And, as I mentioned on previous streams, there are some issues that Blizzard introduced even to the original. But for the most part, I can still play the goddamn game, which is most important. I wouldn't do the story mode of Warcraft 3 on stream. That's just a lot of gameplay, and not a lot of people that watch my streams I don't think would be into 30 to 40 hours of RTS gameplay. I, hell, I wouldn't be into it. But it's cool because now Blizzard owns all the custom games, so now's a good time to put Mickey Mouse in all of the custom games. I kind of don't know where to go from here, chat. You can climb... where's the... um, hang on a minute, did I miss the climbing? Or did I do it before? Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. I did this before. Just all the way... tucked away in that corner there. I just want to know what the fuck this dude is saying. I know! I know Tanky Winkles! I know! Um, and last thing about Warcraft is that's... You know, Warcraft 3, like I said, is a game that I played... ...endless hours of. And my friend Sal and I used to play it. And, uh... We used to name the games Free Beer. I'm sure you've heard this story before. Free Beer? Like, if we couldn't get... not Sal Volcano. If we couldn't get enough players, we would just name it Free Beer. And remake it, and people would join. I don't understand. I don't understand! And you could also type, like, Naked Women. And that would work, too. Which, you could... Almost kind of... Imagine, you know... That would work because you could, like... You could see people thinking, like, Oh, if I join this game, there's gonna be a picture of a naked woman's. Or whatever the fuck they were thinking. That is much more believable than free beer. But back in 2003, 4, 5, 6, probably still to this day, I think people just expect, you know, they, they want that free beer. Maybe a voucher? Maybe they think if they join, they get a code for free beer? What if people just thought it was funny and didn't actually want free beer? That seems like 80% of the people, I would say. Chat. I'm taking my, I'm taking my jacket off. I know, don't get too excited. You can hear it. You just heard me take it off, and then I, I injured my neck when I looked to the left while taking it off. Oh, that was nice. Um, that's cool. It's really hot out today. It was like 56 degrees. It's really good. It was nice out. I mean, it rained a little bit, but it was mostly just nice out. I say nice as if 56 degrees and cloudy is nice, but... During the winter, I'll, I'll fucking take it. If I can walk without having to rush because I want to get back into warmth, I'm fine with that, then. Also, the jacket I have... I wish I could find... It's a, it's a Bob Dylan jacket that the, the fine folks... that I got from the fine folks over at uh, Barking Irons, but... Vinny, is this a sponsored bit? No. No, it's not. I'll just make up the name of the places next time. Like when I was doing uh, Blue Apron and I called it Red Bib. Because people would get suspicious I was doing a, a bit. I was doing a sponsored bit. Vinny, it's okay if you are. <laughs> No, I haven't decided to start taking money from sponsorships. I, I don't think a day will come when you will see that, and if it does happen, you can feel free to play this clip to me. But, weirdly enough, there's a whole subsect of people that are like... Um, have emailed me and said, Vin... Why don't you take money for sponsorships? You should do it! And like, they, like, heavily criticize me for not getting more money. So you kind of, like, can't win. Even if, like, again, I don't have, like, a necessarily a moral... Uh, objection to sponsorships if it's something that you believe in and you like it's, that's up to you as a content creator you do whatever the fuck you want i just don't want to do it someone said i'd put up with a two minute raid shadow legends ad if it meant you got an extra 5k in your bank account well that's actually very sweet of you chat member thank you for saying that and you've been here forever so I, that means a lot but i wouldn't i don't think i could uh i don't think i could do raid shadow legends i kind of loathe that game 
any real reason you don't do sponsorships. I've talked about it ad nauseum on stream, and I don't want it to seem like, uh, it's like, oh, look how cool I am, I don't do sponsorships. It's more laziness, and also, I do want people to believe me if I say something's good or bad. Um, so it's those two things. I don't like being told what to say about something. It's stubbornness. And I guess it's it's just like if you do, you know, if you do that and then you kind of end up... It's just I can't see myself doing it. I don't think I would be able to. I don't think I would... I think I would lose sponsorships pretty easily. And I think I would probably just start to resent it. And also, I have enough money. I'm doing... I'm doing okay. Like, so I don't... I don't need to buy a yacht. You know, I can live my life, which is all I need. So there's no need for me to, uh... To do sponsorships. I just don't see the, uh... The appeal to, uh... To do something that would make me uncomfortable... When I don't need to. It's... It's simple as that, really, I, I guess. If I had to boil it down... But then, Vinny, then you could stream from the yacht. I want to stream from the bottom of the Marianas Trench. So I need a submarine. I need to get James Cameron so I can get into a submarine with him. The Yacht Yacht, I can call it. There is water at the bottom of the ocean! Also, I don't think I like this mission very much. This this one's kind of... This one's kind of beans. Vinny, didn't you do a sponsorship for Dollar Cock Club? I did, but they never sent me my free cocks or dollars. And so I just... I dropped them. Vinny, what's your opinion on the Talking Heads? Um, one of my favorite bands. Any thoughts on the word chalice? <laughs> uh, it's, it's it's a good word. That said, I'm still not doing those chalice dungeons in Bloodborne. That's just not happening. One more. You miss ain't nobody. I forgot you could do that. Shit. Well, that makes life a little easier. It's like Star Fox moves. Thoughts on Velvet Underground and Lou Reed? I. I respect them more than I love them, but I do really enjoy a lot of Velvet Underground songs. And Lou Reed's got a great solo career. I, I really enjoyed um, Transformer. Metal Machine Music? Wait, no, I don't. He's just, uh, no, he was great, Lou Reed. Thoughts on Temples, Sun Structures, Hot Motion. I only liked... Weirdly enough, I kind of only liked a couple Temples songs. I haven't listened to their new record very much, but I... I saw them live, twice in fact, uh, before they even had their first album out, and I met pretty much the whole band. And, uh, yes, that's a brag, that was a brag. And they're good, I like them, but I feel like they get kind of samey. And, uh, I'm not into all their stuff, but I do enjoy their music. Any your thoughts on Mars? I, Mars is a cool planet, I'm a bigger fan of Jupiter, even if Jupiter is a little bit scary. Uh, my favorite planet in the solar system is probably Saturn. Vinny, thoughts on Keanu Reeves? Alright. My thoughts on Keanu Reeves! I think he's a better actor now than he's ever been, and I like a lot of movies he's in. I'm not obsessed with the guy like the fucking internet is, but I like him. I like him well enough. I like his John Wick. I like his, uh, Bill and Ted's. Obviously The Matrix. Wonderful. Wonderful movies. Seems like a nice guy. Oh, wait a minute. This is not where I want to be right now, is it? Oh, wait, what if I go up here? Vinny, are you interested in the new Bill and Ted movie? That's the thing, I'm not sure. That's the thing about it, man. It has potential to be fucking terrible. It could be really, really bad. It could be cool, but it could also be really bad. I worry about a lot of reboots or, um, sequels. Apparently, Kevin Smith's new Jay and Silent Bob movie is... I haven't seen it. I've heard it was... I heard it was fucking horrendous. To the point where they had to go around and tour the movie. Like, um, Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith had to actually take the movie with them on the road and do a Q&A in order to get it in theaters. Uh, the thing is, I like Kevin Smith. I don't hate the guy. He's just... everything makes him cry and he loves everything. Which is fine. I mean, I'm... you know, he seems like a nice dad. Seems like a nice guy. Seems like he'd be a good friend. But... I think maybe he needs to be a little bit more critical of his own work, so he can do better movies again? I know that's a cunty thing to say, but... He just lost his creative touch in recent years. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Whatever happened, I don't really like any of his films again, uh, lately. And I really liked Mallrats, I really liked Clerks. Uh, I even liked the first Jay and Silent Bob movie with Cockknocker in it! Starring Mark Hamill. But, eh, he's, again... I have a hard time, like, I remember trying to watch, um, his review of... 
like Star Wars movies and, and just, just to hear him like talk and share his thoughts on Keanu Reeves. And um, yeah, he just he just kind of likes everything. And that's fine. I mean, again, more power to you. But... Wasn't much of a review. <laughs> Chat, I have no idea where I'm going. Someone said, I wish I could like everything. Yeah, I know, I feel that. I wish I could too sometimes. Cynicism is probably taking several years off of my life every day. Oh, up here. Ice... Ice Volcano? The hell is this place? Then you can still like something even though it's not perfect. I do. I like many things that are not perfect, which, again, that's a difficult thing for, um... some folks. Folks, again, there's that word. Uh, to, to really grasp, because there's a lot of polar division. You know, it's very, very... 100%, 0% lately. Uh, but I, I like a lot of things that are- like, Doctor Sleep, I really liked. I had problems with it, but I overall really enjoyed that film. The first one to grab ten of them wins. Yeah, sure. Ready when you are. Whatever you- whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. This game has some very interesting... mini-games. I just fucking robbed him of that one. Ganked. I got an achievement for that. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. A lot of, like, fast camera movements here. It's kind of... ...tough to keep up with. Whoa, dude, he's... he's fucking... ...much better at this now than... than he was. Nope, no! I lost. Yep! No, you don't. <laughs> You're really good. Oh my god. That was great. I can't believe that happened. That was, that was, that was awesome. Alright, uh, so this world is complete. That was, that was pretty cool. More death. Wow, how fucking disposable are these guys? Vinny, did you hear about Len Kabazinski? Len Kabazinski's plans to make a movie with Neil Breen and Tommy Wiseau. I haven't heard about that. Len Kabazinski made, um, Samurai Cop. Which is another famously, you know, kind of awful movie, but... Yes! Such big egos would clash hard. Yes, they would. I think Len probably has the least... ...ego, weirdly enough. Len didn't make Samurai Cop? What, what did he make, then? Didn't he make a cop movie? Curse of the Wolf? Oh, right. Right, 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 sorry. Who made Samurai Cop? Just some guy. Alright, never mind, then. I don't know, Spyro's kind of killing some innocent peacocks and shit. I I'm thinking there's no heroes in this game. Only villains. Uh, but yeah, I think a movie with Neil Breen and Tommy Wiseau would be incredible. They should get someone from Troll 2 to star in the movie as well. And just complete... ...the bad movie trifecta. The father, the dentist in from that, uh, ooh, the father from that movie is a dentist. And he doesn't mind talking about Troll 2 because he thinks it's, like, kind of hilarious. And he was in the documentary Best Worst Movie, which I recommend, by the way, to pretty much anyone. Troll 2 and its documentary, Best Worst Movie, both are a very, are a very good time. But, yeah, I mean, he would be a good cameo appearance, or even a, a minor supporting role. You don't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it! What are you doing, Dad? I'm tightening my belt by two notches so I don't feel hunger pains, because when I was a kid, I felt hunger pains, and if you feel hunger pains, you disrespect this family. Just remember, I have more practice than you. So just remember, I have more practice than you. I want to see this hippo fucking ram through this enemy. Yeah! I hope you need leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach. See, now, when I say it, it doesn't sound cool, but when Arnold Schwarzenegger says it, it's even better. <laughs> Someone said, who even wrote this season of Vine Sauce? Alex Kurtzman, The Muppets. Kermit, I got it. I got a good jump for tonight's stream. Fozzie, you're gonna tank the stream. He's gonna lose subscribers. Someone said, Vinny, what if you are Fozzie? I mean, he is my favorite Muppet. 
Someone said, what's a fucking Muppet? A chef in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen that doesn't know how to cook properly. Someone that overcooks the meat and undercooks the fish. One second. Chad, I am participating in an experiment right now. I cannot tell you what the experiment is because it would it would damage the uh, the results, right? But I am um, currently engaging in science, and I will let you know both the experiment and the results at the end of the stream. Then haven't uh, you already tainted the results by telling us there's a test? Well, it's not for all of you. It has nothing to do with most of you, and I can tell you that this the experiment is ongoing as of about. 25 seconds ago. Yeah, so don't worry about the experiment, Chad. I'll tell you about it later. It's not a big deal. Um, but I will say that I need to... I, I keep forgetting. I keep putting off the item that I wanted to make for, uh... for... packs. And I know exactly what the item is. It's... it's a, um, stress brain. With a Vine Sauce logo. I might just need a little help with the logo, but I think I could... I think I'd be alright. No, it won't be a smooth brain, because, um, the ones that they offer... are re your regular old wrinkly brains. So, so I'm gonna get a green brain stress ball. That's a brain, and it, it'll have the Vine Sauce... logo on it. But, yeah, it's been, uh, I just keep forgetting to, to do it. I wonder if three weeks should be enough to get it before PAX. I'd imagine that's enough production. I've, I've gotten stuff with, like, a week and a half of time remaining before a convention. I feel like brains are uh, very much in vogue right now, so I feel like the best thing to do, instead of, like, a trash pickle again, I feel like uh, a, a nice novelty item to give away would be a squeezy brain. And, and the other thing is, too, like, you know, the problem I had with the chapstick and I still think the chapstick was really good. I thought that was a really great novelty item. Um, but the chapstick and the hand sanitizer both serve a purpose. But you know some dumbass tried to eat the chapstick, and you know some dumbass tried to drink the hand sanitizer. You just know it happened. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they are. But at some point, you know, I was worried like one day I'd find out that someone like got sick and they want Vinny Vine Sauce to pay the bill because... because I made the chapstick. Didn't happen, but regardless, I feel like a brain is a lot safer. A real brain. Oh, the kazoo gave someone diarrhea. But that wasn't the kazoo that I originally made, that was um, a facsimile kazoo from... uh... Ownage. You know, they, they made like a little grab bag and they got these weird metal kazoos and it gave someone diarrhea. They said it gave them diarrhea. I'm very suspicious. I think it was just a weird coincidence, and there was, in fact, no diarrhea kazoo relation whatsoever. There was no causality, and I think the kazoo itself was fine. But I don't know. I mean, I don't have evidence one way or another. Vinny, what happens if I eat the brain? Oh, uh, smart. The game sounds like slaps to me while I'm not watching and only listening. What, like when Spyro's running? <laughs> what is- what is- what is the slaps? Like on someone's butt? What's- but what's being slapped exactly? Duck slaps? Isn't a duck slap just... like a duck's... feet? Hitting the ground. Wait, what? If you could bring back one old vine sauce meme, what would it be? Oh, coin gloves. A third clown enters, his makeup running from crying. He finds himself in an empty void. Looking around, he sees... nothing. Swallow, dude! The clown says to himself. He hears a voice, and then a honk, and he feels a hand on his shoulder. He turns around. A fourth clown appears. It's himself. He is his own clown. He takes his pants off. His clown schlong honks out. No time. Well, honks out means like it's like flopping out. You know what I mean? Like it's honks is just a, in that case, another word for it just like kind of 
All right, I'll... Igloo. Okay, so it's the ig... It's the igloo. Good job, Spyro. You? I guess they just were like, uh, we need some secondary mascots for Spyro. It can't just be Spyro, right? So, dude bro leopard man. He's a cheetah. All right, he's a cheetah man. Do 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 Yeah. You're even better than I am. All right. I think that might be it for Spyro for tonight. Take a quick break. Um, and we'll be back with Slay the Spire. I feel like we made a lot of progress, but there's, um, you know, there's a lot more to do. To do. To do. To do. Now, I'm going to conclude the experiment, and I'll tell you about it in just a second. The experiment has concluded. And when I say it didn't involve most of the chat, that was correct. It only involved one chat member. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was an update. There's an update to the results. Okay, so, um, just as I was concluding the experiment, there was an update. And basically, the experiment was how many times. Well, let me count first. One, two, three. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 times did I count this in about 35, what is that, 30 minutes about? Less. We did it, Reddit. We've got good news, everybody. Controller works. Oh, and I have hot chocolate now. I have Snickerdoodle chocolate. I saw it in like a little pack for 60 cents. And I was like, yeah, it sounds stupid. I'll, I'll try it. So here's my review of Snickerdoodle hot chocolate. It's not overly sweet. And I think I needed a bigger mug for it. It's good, though. It's, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. It's Swiss Miss, so it's not like high quality, but I like it. <clears throat> Swiss Miss is not my- I, Girardelli has way better hot chocolate. They didn't have it at the supermarket, though. So I just got this. I got, like, um, water or milk. See, now that's the problem. It's water. I- I don't buy milk because I never fucking use it. Here's a trick, chat. That Girardelli I was talking about, even with water, it's- it's amazing. I don't know, I'll see. I'm gonna try to one day buy more- uh, buy, like, a small thing of milk and make some of this hot chocolate with it and see if it's any good. Vinny, do you- do you don't eat cereal? I don't eat cereal, no. Not often. Like, once every couple months, maybe? Um, this controller I, is not my controller of choice for a game like this because I don't... First of all, it's X input now. Um, thank you for helping me chat and uh, John because I figured out how to get this to work, which is I had to unplug the thing first and then switch the mode to X input. So, this 8-bit, though, controller is fucking fantastic now because of that. However, it's got the PS2 thumbstick position, which is not my favorite, but I'm gonna test it out and see if I like it. The D-pad on this thing is amazing, and, uh, the buttons, it feels like a Super Nintendo controller, but even more sturdy. Die in that block. The ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. Almost it sounded like a bad Gilbert Gottfried um, impression. Vinny, I, do you have the SN30 Pro Plus? I do. Pro Plus, yes. Yeah, it's a good control. I think for games like this, I'd probably go for the um, Switch controller or the Xbox controller again, but for a classic games, or anything that emphasizes the D-pad more, I would absolutely use this. 
And this is very, very usable for a game like this. I can see why people would love this controller for anything. Because it's just good. It's just a versatile controller. I can kind of see that. But, again, it's just the, the thumbstick position I have to get used to every time I play. Vinny, just use a PS4 controller. Um, I like X input because it makes life easy. And, uh, this is the same kind of... Uh, uh, never mind. SN30 Pro Plus can be used on the Switch, which is awesome. You know what? Next time I play a Super Nintendo game on the Switch, I'm gonna use this controller. I'll, I wanna get my money's worth out of this thing. Oh, I see. You have to get the... the lads. And then they make you, uh... And you can climb on them? Huh. Thanks, guys. So I was in the city today, I went to Manhattan. And, uh, it ended fairly early. But I went to... The, um... There was a Bob Dylan pop-up store that my friend Dan runs. It was like, they're, they're doing merch for his stuff, and they did recreations of, the, like, the stuff that he wore in the 70s and 60s. And, um, they just played Bob Dylan music, there was an open bar, some coffee, it was at the bottom of some really fancy hotel in, uh, the East Village. It was cool. It was- I really liked it. It was very chill. Met some people, hung out, had a- had a drink. It was apple whiskey. And Dan was like, are you gonna die? I was like, no, 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 apples, no, it's only raw apples am I allergic to, not like apple whiskey. But it was cool, I, I bought a Bob Dylan shirt, not one that has his face on it. I got the, um, I got one, like, with stripes, I really like it. It's good, ma good material. And I just hung out, had a couple, uh, you know, I had a scone, and then I had, uh, a drink. And it was good. Like I said, it wasn't a huge event. I thought it was gonna be, like, something a little different than it was, but I- I- I'm glad it was low-key. Vinny, you're allergic to apples. How? I don't know. Um, some people are allergic to peanuts. Peanuts. And... I don't know why that's the case, but you just are, you know? I just get itchy. Like, my throat gets itchy. My theory about apple allergies, I can eat... apple pie? I can eat... um... applesauce, I can drink apple juice. Anything with apple flavor, no problem. Just raw apples, even if I peel it. But there's a theory that people have had, which is that I'm allergic to the pesticides on the skin of the apple. Which I don't know how true that is, because I can peel it and still get the scratchy throat. It's a protein in the apple. I guess when you cook it, it goes away. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, if you cook it, the protein... Oh, that was dumb of me. It looks like the cold miser. Someone said, I guess the protein dot dot dot, if you cook it, the protein. Add that to my book of quotes. I still get emails asking for, um... You know, like, yearbook quotes. I'm like, I'm a fucking dumbass, why do you want a quote from me? Just take that one. Vinny, first off, it's the snow miser. Secondly, you're wrong, it looks like a cold version of the heat miser, you fuck. Well, no, no need to correct me. How dare you, I'd rather remain ignorant. Yeah. Vinny, you missed- oh shit, I missed the thing! Oh, sorry about that, child, I missed the little cutscene there. We can never go back, we can never see that cutscene again. Stop skipping cutscenes. Chat, I forget that if I tab out, the fucking game skips a cutscene. That's a really, really not cool thing, because even the buttons don't skip the cutscene, but if I click anywhere outside the window, it just skips. Then stop forgetting. I forget to forget! You'll live. Don't worry about it. You can boot up your own copy of Spyro 2 Reignited Trilogy TM by Activision, if you want to see said cutscene. You got a whole lot of good yearbook quotes tonight. Vinny, sometimes you switch into a slightly more nasally version of your regular voice, and it's very subtle, but it throws me off. Mm hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, me and Paul, when we were in a band, <clears throat> it was just one. Just a band that is. Fire Emblem is going well. About seven hours in now, I'd say. Uh, six, something like that. Um, I have to concentrate on this mission right now, so I might not be able to tell you, but I'm just enjoying the game, nothing more to report. It's just fun to play. Vinny, don't mention the house you chose, Vinny, you'll start a war. My frog tier list almost got me fucking murdered in the street, so... I know, man. How are the tea parties going? I had my first tea party in the game. 
and I was just like, you know, I'm just sitting there playing my Switch, and I'm like, why? Like, why? Like, uh, sure, I'm interested in some of the characters and, and the story and all that stuff. I don't mind the monastery sections too much. Like, some of the quests are kind of fun, and, and, you know, I mean, I'm okay with a lot of that shit, even though I'm playing the game specifically for the combat, which I do still very much enjoy. The combat and the, the class upgrading and all that. And then I'm doing a tea party with, um, you know, whoever. I forgot who I had it with. S -s um, what's her name? The, la the girl with the green hair. There's like seven girls with green hair, but this one had the greenest hair. Uh, Flane. Yeah, the game forced me into a tea party with Flane. So I, I did that, and I'm sitting there, grown-ass man. Anime green girl number six on my screen, tea party. And I'm like, you know what? The Switch shouldn't be portable. I should- this should never leave the house. But, you know, I'm still liking the game. And I am a fan of tea, so maybe, you know, maybe I just have to just open my mind. <laughs> All I know is, again, every time I play this game, and I mention it to chat, it's that Manuela tells me about how she fucked someone, and things didn't go so great. And I'm, and I'm just like, what? Again, it's more subtle than just her saying that, but it's, it's interesting to me to play a Fire Emblem game, or a game from Nintendo in general, and hear about some, like, older MILF's sex life. It's really off-putting on some level. But I can't but help but be amused and entertained, and so I'm enjoying it very much. Vinny, it's barely more subtle. It's not that subtle. It's really kind of not. Yeah, there's a yearbook quote. I'm just, listen, I'm full of quotes. You can just take them from my stream. You can use them in your yearbook. You don't even have to credit me. You could just take them for yourself. Quote Theft Auto. Those are some very uncat-like teeth. They're, it's like half... Yeah, it's like human teeth. It's like human vampire teeth. Which I guess that would just be vampire teeth. Vinny, would you die if you made a cat- if you ate a cat made out of apples? I don't like that hy hypothetical because I actually like cats despite my allergy. Uh, I would die, yes. But I'd prefer not to eat a cat. Can I do this level yet? Can I get the 100%? You know what I'm gonna do, right, chat? Can you- can anyone guess what I'm about to do? Right. Fly away on my Zephyr! Now I need you more than ever! I don't even think that he says that. Vinny, you skipped the ice exit shortcut. Or a cutscene. If you- if you link me to it, I'll play it. If it's that, like, if you know, if it's that important. Um, Chalmers, it's def- you're definitely not going to post the correct link. But I'm gonna open yours anyway. What you listening to, son? I don't think you like it. Well, why not? I like this new generation of music. You may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? <laughs> Lighting the days go by, lighting the water hold me down, lighting the days go by, falling under. And where did you record this? I bought it at the mall. I think that Hank was actually a Muppet fan. I take offense to that. I think Hank probably grew up with the Muppets, and he would have been fine with that. I'll try one more. Okay. Here's Elijah Wood's Spyro. Why are you just complaining that I didn't see the cutscene, and now you're posting Elijah Wood as Spyro? I guess you got over that real quick. Maybe! Elijah Wood is, uh, doing... ...a remake of some movie, or he's doing a sequel to a movie, and he's trying to get a character back. Who, what, what the fuck did I see? He's doing a horror movie. I mean, he's, he's doing a lot of movies lately, but... What movie was it? Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah, and he wants Robert England to play Freddy Krueger again. Which, I think, Robert England doing the voice of Freddy Krueger would be nice, but... You know, I think Robert England is probably in his 60s now, and Freddy Krueger kinda ha ...has to have some... ...mobility. England is 72 years old. I think him doing the voice would be great, but... I would prefer to have someone else do the physicality, and as little CG as possible. The practical effects in Nightmare on Elm Street still hold up, most of them, and they're still wonderful, and I love that- that movie scared the fuck out of me. So, I would say, Mr. Woods has got a good head on his shoulders, and I- I like... I like him. 
I think he could do it. Um, also, I like CG, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not... I'm opposed to shitty CG, but I'm fascinated by, com you know, com computer visuals, and, and if it's done really, really well, and you don't notice it. Like, for all the shit people give Game of Thrones, that show was fucking beautiful. Trust me, I had my own complaints with that show, but... They used it in a way that, most of the time, you know, it was just used for backgrounds, for the castles. And then there's Henry Cavill's mouth, which they actually used computers to get rid of a mustache chat. And you know what? It worked. In The Witcher, I don't see any mustache. Wait, it's in Superman. Oh, oh! Oh, that's why it looked weird? I was just thinking how much I liked this song. I thought there was a lot of, um... A lot of really decent songs on the soundtrack, and Spyro 1 had good songs, but I think Stu upped his game a little bit on this one. I wouldn't say that these soundtracks are like Banjo-Kazooie level for me, but they're just really enjoyable. It's all like just really nice music to listen to, it fits the mood of the game perfectly. Weren't you complaining about the song last time you were here? I I've had my complaints about the soundtracks in general, but I'm fine with it. Vinny, you missed a gem? You're a gem, chat member. That was my Keanu Reeves moment. Put that shit in your yearbook. He's just such a nice guy. He's just like... Like he said I was a gem. Oh, that's cool. He said that to you personally? Well... Well, no. <laughs> Vinny, my brother was a security guard and met Justin Timberlake. He said he was an asshole. I... Uh, I have... Mixed feelings about celebrity asshole stories. Because I kind of finally get it a little bit. Because the, the couple times a year, where I'm at a convention, you get so drained. Imagine you're just trying to take your family out to eat, and a bunch of fucking strangers are bothering you at the dinner table. Or who knows, you know, whatever happens. I, there's a lot of asshole celebrities. 100%. Guaranteed. 100%. But, you have to wonder what it's like every day to have people sneak pictures of you while you're eating. You and your kids. You and whoever you're dating. You in your fucking shitty shorts. You know, there's probably so many things, like, that really just start to become a draining. And then, you know, if people want an autograph, I think it takes a lot of, um, I don't know what, but some patience for someone to still be nice amidst, like, um, who was it recently that got pissed? There was someone recently that was signing, um, stuff for people that we're going to just sell it on eBay. And he knew they were going to sell it on eBay, he called them out, but he was still nice about it and still signed them. The Pope? Oh, it was Larry David, it was Larry David, same thing. Pope, Larry David, same thing. So he was like, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he, he was giving, I didn't watch the video, but I, from what I read, I gotta watch it. Um, he was, you know, he knew they were just collecting autographs to make money, and he just signed it. You know. So, uh, the, but, you know, again, I, I don't know for sure, I mean, I'm sure there's different facets of a person. Like, finding out Justin Timberlake is an asshole to one person doesn't necessarily mean that the dude's an asshole to every single person. I think there's just different layers, and, and when you add celebrity, which is the most bizarre thing that you could possibly have added on top of it, who the fuck even really knows? I don't know why I had to go on a tangent about that, but it, you know, just to fill some time while I'm streaming. I mean, this is coming from somebody who will be at a convention and 99% of the people are awesome, and one person will shout granddad in my face and then run away. <laughs> so I've had some minor experiences with this sort of thing. Speaking of though, I, I am once again signing at PAX on the Friday and Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. And I will have plush brain- not plush, uh, stress brains. And I do genuinely like meeting you all. And even if it's only a one minute, like, weird interaction... You know, because it's so quick and because, like, you know, I'm s Like, it's not a real interaction. I, I- I do my best to keep it personal, but... Two hours is a long time and I start to lose my voice. It can be tough. But- but I do genuinely like me meeting people, that's why I go to these things. I don't go to them because, you know, I don't get paid. I end up spending money on, like, hotels and stuff. I like it. I just, I like going to a couple a year. And, uh... It's really, it's, it's nice. I mean, it's flattering. There's a, there's a big part of me that realizes, like, how lucky I am that I don't have to deal with that shit on a daily basis. 
so that when I do go to a convention, it's like a nice slice of fake reality for a little bit. I'm like, oh, this is going to be cool for a couple days, and then I can just go home and go back to real life. But again, two to four, Friday, Saturday, if you want to come by the table and say hello, it's the Screenwave booth. And uh, I'll sign, I'll sign whatever you want, except, you know, a statement saying, I, Vinny, am going to stream Undertale at some point in the next six months. And then you're like, hey, Vin, can you sign this piece of paper? And it's just like a folded piece of paper with like a, a clause at the top of it. I'm like, what, what's the rest of this say? Oh, don't worry about it. Just sign the bottom. It's for my brother. He really likes your, your streams. No, 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 that's cool and everything. But what, what does the rest of it say? And then I unfold it and it says that. Again, I use Undertale as an example, not because it's a bad game, just because I know streaming it would turn into a bit of a problem because people are very, very, very attached to those characters. And uh, there's no way I would play that game right. People would not like the way I play it. I would fucking kill all of them. I'm very happy that they just like teleport over there. That's, they just lock into place. That makes my life a lot easier. Vinny, how much money does it cost to go to PAX or a con in New York? Um, for me, New York is easy. I just have to pay for parking, really. You know, if I go to Comic-Con, that's easy. If I go to Long Island RetroCon, that's even easier because it's just an hour trip. I'm just spending money on toll and gas. So, um, PAX is expensive because it's about a five-hour drive, so that's gas, that's tolls. Then it's a fairly expensive Boston hotel because everyone's in town for it, so that's not cheap. And then, of course, food and stuff for a couple. But it's like a little vacation, and I love Boston, so I don't mind going. And I get to see some of my friends, I get to have a good time. Um, you know, it's great. Honestly, it's worth the money, but it's, you know... But I never fucking go on vacation. I don't really do anything. Boston's like the <laughs> farthest place I go every year, so I don't mind. What about Germa? I wish Germa was still in Boston, genuinely. I do. We had a really good time. I hope Kraken goes this year. We had a good time too. Fuck you, cow! Vinny, have you thought about p taking a plane to Boston and set instead? I I don't like airports. I have no problem on the plane. I have no problem flying. I hate the airport. And I hate like checking in my bags and I hate the whole process of an airport. So I'd rather like I don't mind driving. I can listen to an audiobook, I can listen to a podcast. It's a, couple albums, you know, take my time, I don't have to rush. I, I go on Thursday, so I miss the first con day. This year's Pax Pox might be a little more concerning, I know, trust me, I thought about that too. Um, yeah, I, all I can say is, just do me a favor, chat, if you get ill before the con in any way, if you want to say hi, say hi, but, you know, just use discretion when it comes to getting people sick. I mean, some people just don't give a shit. They'll be, like, on death's doorstep and they'll, like, shake your hand and give you a hug and it's like, Oh, great, thanks, but... <laughs> yeah, vitamin C, I have immune boosters, and I have, um... You know, hand sanitizer. I basically live in hand sanitizer the whole weekend. Vinny, when will we hear new info about Redvox? It's been two months and we haven't had any new info. Two full month. The answer is... I don't want... to... tell you. Vinny, you can't do this yet? Oh, okay. How about Shady Oasis? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just go, um... Screw it. I d I've been talking about it a little bit. I mean, paid chat member that I told to say that. Uh, I've been... telling people... Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door, and you can fight Go. Are you ready? Do it. To, I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Go. Give Dactyl. I've been talking about the album a little bit. It's, it's done. I've recorded the whole thing. It's just mixing now. Hours. You've earned a special reward. Go. What is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Oh. You singed my cape! Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves! Say goodbye, flame breath! 
Shit. Yep. Have you heard the news from the Sakurai interview? That he doesn't choose the DLC? I didn't think he did. I mean, I figured he was a fan of Terry, but... Like, it's up to Nintendo. I mean, I figure he has some say over what happens, but I don't think the final decision... I never thought the final decision was his, necessarily. I figured he's just part of the process. Yeah, this, this fight is more of a, like a war of attrition, more than anything. It's not that difficult, it's just a matter of... ...lasting... Uh, ...longer. Oh, and not doing stupid things like I just did just then. Alright, we're back. We're back. I got the chicken. I got the chicken. I just gotta be aware of chickens. On the battlefield. Chickens can hatch on the battlefield. Good. Goodbye! <laughs> I didn't need that, I guess! I was hoping I could, like, get a bomb in his mouth like King Dodonger. Dactyl stuck. Dactyl stuck! I got so distracted by the dactyl! Amazing. That's a- that's a kind of a hard move to get away from. Camera's not exactly helping me either. If you can believe it. Can't get away from that move. Someone said I gotta, like, run into it. Just don't get hit, forehead. Uh, did you just eat that, dude? Oh, dude, why'd you eat that? Oh, now that was smooth. That was a smooth brain. I like that these eggs are, like, surprise mechanics. Come on now, just drop some HP. How much do you want for an egg? Health injured. Well, that just- that's just injured. Eat! Oh, good! Yes, eat the chicken! Eat it! Eat the chicken! Nice. Nice health. Nice health, Spyro. One more. Give me a good egg. I need a good egg. I don't like those bombs. <laughs> yeah! Wow, that was tough! That was surprisingly difficult for me. Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've gotta go check on the professor in the Winter Tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. <sighs> Sleep. Uh huh. Hey, where did Laura go? I better follow her. I think I finally come up Is Spyro with a way to access the dragon worlds from the super portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. How about when he's edgy? I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. Oh! Ah! Ah! So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it! Book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something quick. Uh, hey, give that back. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you little fools. After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia!
I mean, I, I do like this game's charm. Spiral. It's nice. He's so still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. All right. But we can't have that happen. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to peace out. See ya. Ah, uh, money friend. Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And like all the best things, it uh, doesn't come cheap. Head bash for a thousand gems. No. It seems like an inopportune time to be frugal, Spyro. But I'll be here, rest assured. N none of this has been really all that interesting to say no for. Maybe there was like a couple that I missed that were really good. Oh, Spyro. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump and then press the action button. Dude, I just gave you a thousand of my gems for you to tell me that. I, I can't even break a rock with it. Oh, wrong move. Chat, the Y button on the 8 Do controller is on the left. The Y button on the Xbox controller is on the top. It's another fun thing that I'm going to have to get used to with this controller now. The Y and X buttons are never in the same place. Seems to me you are the expert, money bags. Yeah, Y on the left is the Nintendo standard. Y on top is Xbox. There is no Y on PlayStation, but there's an X on the bottom. Just change them? What, like rip the buttons out? Paint over them? Oh. <clears throat> the thing is, now this recognized- this controller is recognized as X input, which is good because that makes it compatible with so many things. And I could switch it over to Switch input, which will recognize it as a Nintendo controller, but that's not, like, standard across everything yet. Like Hades, for example. You know, Hades, I'll probably just use the Xbox One controller, so I'm going to be switching controllers per game. Which is just annoying, but I guess this is- this is the fucking life that I signed up for. Steam lets you swap Xbox style for Nintendo style. It does. But also, rest assured, I've had my problems with that too. Vinny, you won't have a controller problem if you stop playing games. It's true. Vinny, will you play Spyro 3 this year? Maybe not this year. Let's, let's see what other games are uh, out this year. Someone said a year is a long time. It, I played Spyro 1 about a year and a half ago. I mean, there's just so many games. That's why, you know, when people give me suggestions, I do, I'm open to them. But then some folks, some of them folks just, you know, them folks get angry. Like, I'm annoyed at Vinny that he doesn't even have any interest in the game that I want him to stream. I'm just like, well, geez. Slow down the release schedule, you know, like, tell Nintendo and, um, Segtendo and and Xtendo and all them Tendos to slow down with their games. And then maybe I'll be able to play some of the other ones. Delay Animal Crossing again. If Nintendo delays Animal Crossing again, I will play Spyro 3 this year. You know what to do, chat. Get Nintendo to delay Animal Crossing. Snellephants? Please tell me they're called Snellephants. Vinny, did you confirm you'll stream Animal Crossing? Yes. What if Scoot isn't in it? I will then try to get a refund from Nintendo. No, I'll be playing Animal Crossing basically myself. I don't think I'll be doing very much multiplayer Animal Crossing. I generally like to stream mostly alone. So, I, and Animal Crossing is a good game for that. There could be a multiplayer, you know, component to my streams at some point for Animal Crossing, but just like in the past, I mostly like to stream them by myself. I don't even, yeah, I don't even know what the multiplayer component is in Animal Crossing this time around. I think I just killed a duck. Oh, no, 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 these are evil. These are like platypuses. They're, but they're like... spiky. They kind of look like Howard the Duck. I'm like kind of not okay with that. Howard the Duck is a good movie and character, Vinny. Sure. I'll agree with you on the second one. But I don't think Howard the Duck's movie gave me any indication that Howard the Duck is a good character. Duck Tits does not a good movie make, chat. 
Gonna go ahead and add you all to the FBI watch list. Howard the Duck is not a good movie, but I don't think it's a good movie. I mean, whatever. You know, it's universally pretty panned, but I, they, they tried. I give them credit for trying. I just don't think Lucas had any idea what to do with that movie and that character. At least Tim Robbins was good in it. Yeah, I mean, George Lucas went from Star Wars, you know, and Indiana Jones, well, co-writing Indiana Jones, and, you know, then Howard the Duck, and then the prequels. <laughs> It's just, uh, what, wow, what a career. What a weird fucking career that guy's had. But hey, I like bad movies. I like plenty of bad movies. I even enjoyed Howard the Duck. <laughs> that one dude in chat's gonna be very, very upset. It's probably like his favorite movie. Yeah, Red Tails was another Lucas... Was another Lucas movie that, uh, apparently bombed and wasn't that all that great. And then he was just like, I'm making movies for myself. After that movie failed, and he started getting a lot of shit for the prequels and Red Tails, and just, you know, generally not doing anything that was all that well-received, he was like, I'm just gonna make movies and not show them to anyone. I wanna know, Chet, does anyone here actually think George Lucas made movies, like full movies that he just made for himself and his family? I mean, if he did, good for him. You think he's got them locked up in a vault somewhere? THX 2. There's a surprising amount of people that unironically think George Lucas made movies for himself and his family only. I'm not talking about short films. I'm talking about, like, full-length, you know, feature films. Then again, he didn't specify, so he could have just been talking about, like, little home movies and short films. Multi-million dollar home movies. I'll be honest, if anyone could fucking do that, it's George Lucas. He's got the money for it. He could absolutely make his own films and then just release them to his family and be like, ha! Ah. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, but I think George Lucas would probably make that noise upon showing it to his family. Ha! Ah. Blue Tales. This movie's called Blue Tales. Again, whatever, you know, you feel about the prequels and George Lucas's world building, that's fine. I think he is a great world builder. And I think he really, you know, nailed it with Indiana Jones, but he's a better collaborator when people push back against him, and he... He needs people that are better than him at other tasks. Like dialogue, in particular. Directing. You know, a number of things every director does. Well, not... I think some directors are just fucking phenoms and can do so much. You know, like the writing and the directing part. I think Lucas is better at the overall... You know, and getting all the, um... the pieces... together. Phenoms. <laughs> chat. It's like felines, but... noms. Vinny, why is there a human in this world of dragons and hell? Just to suffer. Just pure suffering. For the hubris. The absolute gall humans have had over the years. Vinny, why are we still here? Um... There's a number of ways to interpret that. Why are we still here on this planet, for example? To suffer. And, uh, to create plastic, as George Carlin once said. To give the Earth plastic. Because it can't make it itself. Once the plastic threshold has been reached, we will no longer be needed and the planet will just get rid of us. Like it did the dinosaurs. Who gave the planet oil. So that we could use the oil to make plastic. What happens after that? Uh, Lavos. Uh, what happens after that? Fourth dimensional quadriceps. Our brains are gonna get real muscly, if we're st if any of us still live. Like, our bodies won't get more muscly. What do you think them alien heads are so big? It's just muscle brains. They're so smart that their brains aren't smooth. The opposite of smooth. Extra wrinkly. Big, wrinkly muscle brains. That they can actually flex like some people can flex their breasts. I've been informed that there's like kind of a puzzle to this. I got it, chat. I think I got it without anyone having TOLD ME FUCK! You can't sneak up on them, you have to chase them. You have to me. Get up! Jump the distance! You have to toss me! Fuck. Eh! No 
what? This is fine. Just die. So this is why I had those 30 lives. People are saying, get him while he's going into the water. <laughs> Just keep bashing fucking Spyro's head into a wall, which isn't helping. I wasn't even close that time. Fucking hell. That's what you get. Well, it's 3.30 brain right now, but I, I can I can do this. Okay, maybe not that exactly, but I can do this. I have to be very precise with my movements. I just want to try to do this mission. There's a puzzle mission, too, that people were talking about is coming up. I mean, I got closer last time. I felt like, you know, it was, it was happening. Well, that's cool. Why'd that happen like that? That's weird. Fucking tight of a turn. Yeah, I don't know, chat. This is this is a tough one. Spiral, please. <laughs> oh, Spyro. That's too tight of. I I can't make that turn. Oh. Why did I just go through that? First of all, that was as close as I've, I've come yet. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Alright, one more. There's, yeah, there's one more dude. We'll just go through the, the bridge here, which, which maybe that's why this bridge is here. Yeah, it's probably time for me to stop streaming. Like this is there was the there was the last gem. I do have this extra egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. Uh oh. Trading quest like Zelda? I got an egg in these trying times. Okay, so now I have to figure out like what do I have to do? Okay, I think I just accidentally figured it out. What the hell is this thing, chat? It's a seed. Okay, so now I have to, um... Oh, no. No! Ah! No! Guess I have to do all that stuff again. I mean, chase the thieves and and then get the egg again at least. A wizard grants you one wish. You can bring back one classic platformer to get one entry. 3D platformer only. You get one classic entry. What do you choose? Banjo-Kazooie is the correct answer. I'm proud of you, chat. Well done. Oh, Conker's a good one, too, though. Sunshine? Well, that's just Mario, isn't it? All right, all right, uh, DK. Does Kid Icarus count? No, it doesn't. It's a 3D platformer collectathon. At least I get to experience Spyro for the first time. Welcome to the stream. Tonight, we're going to do Spyro 2. And then I'm going to commit some unholy crimes and do a one-off stream of Fire Emblem Three Houses, as I said I would. And I'm at a really good part in the game, I think, for streaming. And, uh, so I'm gonna do it. And I'm doing that second, so... I know it's not 
Listen, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. I remember when I streamed Fire Emblem Awakening back in the day, it wasn't for everyone. So, I understand if you need to, uh, not be around for it. It'll, it'll be disturbing. Highly disturbing. Um, it's, it's actually funny because the amount of people that think I hate anime versus the amount of people that are upset with me for streaming too much anime, the discrepancy is actually very funny. It's not that expensive, you know. No. Okay, come back when you want to do some racing. I, I probably missed the one funny one. There had to have been like one singular funny one last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. moment. People are saying that it's three that had the funny ones, not two. Oh, okay. Vinny, rough description of where you are in Fire Emblem. I want to know if I have to worry about spoilers or not. I will let you know when, um, just before I, I stream it, I'll let you know, like, roughly where I am without spoilers. But we'll, we'll talk about that later when I stream Fire Emblem. You can get all your questions out of the way there. I'm hoping I can do my, uh, my Fire Emblem discussion then. We can relegate it to that stream and get it off. We can get it off the channel that way. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples. Thanks, SpongeBob. I mean, Professor. Okay. So, I have a couple places I need to be for 100%. Autumn Plains, I have almost nothing. 25%? Oh, because I didn't get the orbs. Orbs. It's Vinny sound high-pitched. Vinny, are you going to stream Dead Cells tomorrow? Probably not. Eventually, but not tomorrow. Again. Comedy and violence are so close. I still have to make my brain pizza. From that game I played yesterday, uh, off-peak. I, I got gray matter as a pizza topping, but I didn't make a pizza with it yet, so that's... Sometime this week, you can expect that, for sure. That game was fucking wacky. I had dreams about it, and I slept like shit. I'm gonna try my best to keep it together tonight, and I think I'll be alright, but I had a really, really bad sleep. And it wasn't because of off-peak, necessarily. It, it wasn't, but I just, I just slept like shit, so I'll be alright. People are saying that my, um, my voice sounds pitched up. Does anyone else hear that, or is it... In the imaginations. It's the Frankerface Z compressor. Oh, chat. If you have any weird audio issues, make sure your Frankerface extension has the compressor disabled. That that has been the cause of many problems. Vinny, you sound like a chipmunk. No, no, sir, I don't believe it. So, anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I didn't really talk about the Oscars. I don't really want to. Um, I love the non traversies that followed. That's the thing, like, I thought, yeah, fuck the Oscars! But I thought it was, you know, I'm happy Brad Pitt, I guess, won, because I liked that movie. Um, haven't seen Parasite yet. I like Jojo Rabbit. Go ahead, you can make your King Crimson jokes now. And, uh, Taika Waititi is just a- I like the dude. I like his directing, and I'm happy he won. He's a good director. So, whatever, I mean, it's an award ceremony. It's self-congratulatory, -congr right? But, I'm like, online today, and it's just non-traversy after non-traversy, and I just said, nah, that's enough internet for today. Like, anyone's expecting anything from the Oscars anyway, it's just, it's, it's fucking hilarious. What's a non-traversy? It's, uh, I think it was Red Letter Media, maybe it was Mike, that coined the phrase, non-traversy, I love it. It's, um, just pointless controversy. We can't have nice things, can we? Everything has to be a problem. Um, and the Oscars were shit. <laughs> like, why are people so, like, crazy? It's just the Oscars. What do you care? So, I, I guess I kind of had this thing where I, I saw all that stuff, and I was like, maybe I don't want to be on the internet that much today. And so I just played Fire Emblem. My secret hideout. And then uh, Joaquin won the Oscar for Best Actor, which I thought he did a great job in that movie, genuinely. And then he gets on stage, and he's talking about, like, cows. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Good for you, dude. But what a confusing night of acceptance speeches. I don't know what the hell Renee Zellweger was talking about. I mean, good for her that she won. I, I don't know, man. This is the first year I've actually watched it. It was like on streaming 
And I was like, yeah. Like, me and some of the mods were watching it, talking about it. I was like, I guess I can watch it. I can just log in with my cable provider, and there it is. I'll watch it, fine. Didn't watch it last year, the year before, just like highlights. Elton John was good, though. Elton John's always good, so I have no problem with that. <laughs> I mean, if they're gonna do- I didn't see Eminem perform. People were talking about his performance. I don't know what the hell was going on with that, but I missed that. And then Elton John I caught. And what's his name? Um, Gary Newman. Love that Gary Newman. No, Randy Newman. Alright, now, this guy wants me to hide behind a tree. So, is the goal here just to, like, be stealthy and, and not be seen? Is this dude gonna fill up a sauna? Oh, these movements look very natural, don't they? Oh, fuck. Oh, I see. Alright. I see. Oh, this is still happening. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. What? You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. Here, take this secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. Okay. I don't think that's what that is, but... If you say so. I watched a video, I don't remember what channel it was, which I, I should rem I should know these things, but... Someone will know. It was a video about the N64's way of... Um, preventing piracy. Modern Vintage Gamer. That was an interesting fucking video. I never thought I might be that interested in just, like, hardware descriptions. And the dude talks about how the N64 cartridges would communicate with the system. You know, the chip. I forget the name of the chip in particular, but how, you know, Rare took extra steps to keep piracy away from their games. It was just a fascinating, just a fascinating video. And the fact that people were using, um, for a long time when people would make cartridges for the N64 of, like, custom games, they still had to, like, repurpose that chip, the anti-piracy chip, from old cartridges just to get those to work on a real N64. I, I don't know if they're still doing that, though. Like, I don't know if they found out a way to, like, make their own chips or what, but the sick chip has been cloned. And you know what the weird thing is? They were using the chips from old cartridges as recently as 2014. If I'm not mistaken, from what I read, uh, read, wow, from what I saw in that video. Spyro 3 piracy is fucked? Anti-piracy system? What, what was it? From what I read with my very ears. That's correct. I do read videos, I read the script. I wanna make sure they're, they're good. I being the master scripter. Spyro 3 piracy is bonkers. The games would delete your save file on the final boss battle. But you have to figure, it, if that's the case, if that really went down like that, you'd have to imagine, like, someone out there is gonna be like, You know what? I got, like, 98% of this game. It did way more than that. It would make the game hell to play, like, it would subtly delete the things that you had collected. It would reset progress. It would make your health go down if you got butterflies. <laughs> Holy shit! I, I love the idea of someone pirating a game and being like, Yes, I got away with it. Like, yeah, I did it. I did it. And then, they didn't do it. One of the characters calls you out for having a pirated copy, too. I remember Dreamcast was, um, one of those. Like, I didn't play very many pirated games because it wasn't as easy on the PlayStation as it was for, like, Dreamcast, was it? Because I remember Dreamcast... There were dudes selling games, like, for ten bucks. Whoa. New power-up. But yeah, Dreamcast, in, in high school, people were pirating Dreamcast games. It was no problem. Just no big deal at all. What's that? You want a Dreamcast game? Easy. Yeah, that'll be ten bucks. And then... You know, the Dreamcast tanked and people were blaming... I mean, one of the main reasons that I read that the Dreamcast tanked so hard was... how easy it was for people to pirate. I know there's several other reasons, probably, but... I wouldn't be surprised if that had, like, a little bit to do with it. 
That was just Sega making excuses. I don't know, man. I, I wonder. I wonder. I'm not exactly the biggest Sega fan, but I don't think the system was that bad. The real reason is they didn't wait for DVD. Well, neither did Nintendo, and that kind of fucked them. That console generation was tough for everyone that wasn't Sony. Sony had the perfect timing with the PS2. And, and a really good price point for a DVD player and something that could play GTA. Vinny, speaking of piracy- uh, <laughs> Speaking of Sega, are you gonna go see the Sonic movie? You know what? I very well may do that. I have, like, a very little, you know, excitement. But I'm interested. Like, I wanna see if they manage to do uh, Sonic any justice. Not that I'm exactly a Sonic fan, so... For example, I'm not gonna go and be like, Ah, oh, they fucked up Knuckles! I don't even think Knuckles is in the movie. I mean... Jim Carrey's Knuckles are probably in the movie. James Marsden's Knuckles will be in the film, but... I... just... don't think... you know, I'm gonna be looking at it... like that. Like, uh, my- I'm not gonna be that critical. I will be, um, interested to see if Jim Carrey... delivers his classic... Oh, that's how you do that. Because, I mean, we haven't seen Jim Carrey in a purely comedic role, like, just wacky, since Dumb and Dumber 2, maybe? Like, just for the, like, silly, stupid, wacky, you know, classic Jim Carrey. So I'm wondering if he still got it. Dumb and Dumber 2 is not that amazing, by the way. I don't know if anyone here has seen it, but it's... It's okay. Not great. It's kind of like, 4 out of 10 kind of shit. Not anywhere near as bad as that Jay and Silent Bob movie that I just watched. Oh my god. I mean, it's Oscar season, I could be watching The Lighthouse, I could be watching Parasite. You know, I could be watching so many movies, and what do I end up watching, chat? Jay and Silent Bob reboot. And in the first three minutes of the movie, Jay tucks his penis between his legs. And starts dancing to Goodbye Horses. I know that's a classic thing that he does. But that's in the first three minutes. Have you seen 1917? No. I think I gotta really... I gotta really be in the mood for a movie like that. That's why, like, Jay and Silent Bob, I could just put on while I'm playing Fire Emblem for background noise. But, for The Lighthouse, I wanna give it my full attention. For Parasite, for 1917, I don't wanna, like, have a game being played while I watch those movies. Vinny, I just finished watching Muppets Treasure Island a few minutes ago. Thought it was really good. It's really good! I still have to watch, uh, Muppets Take Manhattan again. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, and I miss it. And, like, I can't find it online easily. I mean, I could if I was motivated. It wouldn't take that long, would it? But, Vinny, I put you on for background noise. How dare you? No, I've, I've been, uh, I've been told that that's one of my primary functions. Computer, turn off that noise! I'll take it as a compliment. The fact that you're even tuning in, if you like the tone of my voice, you could be choosing, you know, a thousand different people. You know how many, like, Italian dudes there are in the world? A lot. Then there are a lot of them in Italy, too. And then there's the Italian dude that plays bass. There's the Italian dude that makes food and pizza. Oh, fuck. So I take it as a compliment, actually. I, I really have no problem with people just keeping my stream open and listening. as background noise. That's cool. I have no problem with people watching intently. Though I'd question your sanity. And your decision-making. Um, and I actually have the least amount of problem with people just not tuning in, period. That's great. You think Coldplay feels that way when no one listens to their terrible new music? I finally listened to some of the newer Coldplay from whatever the fuck album they just put out. Oh, oh, oh. And this is coming from someone that liked their first three albums, like, kind of a lot. Whoa! What is going on? I listened to that Muse album, too, the Simulation Theory, because these are bands that I liked at one point and no longer listen to a lot. And there's like three or four songs on Simulation Theory that, to me, are amazing. I really, really like them. Really like them. And then there's a lot of stuff on there that I just had, I'm like, oh, dude, stop, don't do that again. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't do it, I couldn't listen to it. Pots on the top of pillars. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. As you can see, I'm now running around in circles, um, and the reason I'm running around- ooh. The reason I'm running around in circles is because there's a thing that needs to be opened, and I don't know how to open it. This thing. Did you hear how awful Green Day's new album is? No. Firework near the top of the tower. There's a missile where the last bell is. 
Oh man. Wasn't Green Day's new album deliberately as shitty as possible to get out of their recording contract? That is a rumor. I don't know if that's true, but that seems to be one of the rumors. Those kids that made the fake Green Day album, the real Green Day should just, like, re record those songs and be like, no, it was us the whole time. I, I have a weird love-hate relationship with Green Day. Vinny, you're blinding? Hang on a minute, I am blinding a little bit. Some, some people are saying it's over here. I, I really, really don't see it. Is it down here with me, or is it up there on the top of the tower? Oh, I see it. I see it. I guess I have to... Oh, okay. Someone said I liked a couple of their songs. Yeah, there's some really nice albums. I like, you know, I mean, I may not love a lot of their music, but I like Bored Egg Live Without Warning. I liked it better when it was Picture Book by The Kinks, but I think it's a cool song. Oh wait, that's a different song. The gr Who's Green Day? Are they the football team? The Green Day Packers. What did you think of American Idiot? Um, I liked some songs on there. I don't have the album, I never listened to it in full. But there was enough on there that I enjoyed from when I did hear it. My friend Frank had that album when I was young. And we would- we would listen to it. I walk these lonely roads! Dookie was good though. Dookie was genuinely a great album. I really liked all those songs. I just watched a video about his meltdown that he had, Billy Joel Armstrong Man. Um, for the iHeartRadio Music Festival, and it just talked about what was going on in the dude's life at the time. Seems like he went through a pretty fucking rough time, and, uh, he just, like, flipped out, and, like, he got boot- well, not boot off the stage, he just left the stage early, because they were give- they gave him one minute to do a song or something. It was- it was a mess. It wasn't- it wasn't good. Did you like him at the Green Day Game Awards? Yeah. Yeah, they were fine at the Game Awards. <laughs> we don't need to see the rest of that scene. Yeah, I mean, they're great and all, but man, I wish these Game Award people would just get Nirvana instead. Maybe the Butthole Surfers? You know? Gob Keeley could get the Butthole Surfers maybe next time. Rage and System of a Down are touring again, new Tool album, powerful couple of years. Yeah, absolutely inebriate. I fucking- I was listening to Rage yesterday while I was doing some of my emails. I was. I can't even tell you the song. It was, um, it was from their 2000 album, and it was called, like, Maggie's Farm. <laughs> What's the name of the song? I should know this. I'm not the biggest Rage fan. They're great, but I don't know- What's the name of the song? It's Ma it's Maggie's Farm? It's- it's correct? Okay. Orb on the wall, break a wall. What do you mean, break a wall? Orb on the wall, break a wall. Yes, that was Renegades that was from. The truth is, though, I know more Audio Slave than I know Rage. It's the wall you broke a few parts ago. It's further in. Alright. I like when, uh, Rage Man says, Fuck no, we won't do what you told us. Fuck no, we won't do what you told us. Guess we're doing a speedway. Uh, Spyro kind of seems like an asshole here. But yeah, for every, um, legacy act that comes back and does, like, a new album and tour, I feel like, you know, I'm happy to get that, but weirdly enough, the Tours were still the best concert I saw last year. So, take that for what you will. Vin, do you like Cage the Elephant? Yeah, they won a fucking Grammy. I don't, you know, I don't know all their stuff. I only know social cues and that one song that was in Borderlands. <laughs> but, I like them. I like them. Social cues is great. I really like that song they did with Beck. They're good. So look in the waterfall. Okay, waterfall. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Yes. Great. Yes. Parker can knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we'll need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and gets lost. Good luck. Hunter is waiting for you outside. Oh. One more, one more, one more. Yeah. First try. Yeah, 
Spyro defeated by a pigeon. The wall in question is over by the boss entrance in the home world. Just keep going this way. Alright. Yeah, for whoever mentioned Dead Cells, the DLC comes out tomorrow, I think. And, uh... I got an email about it. And it was the Steam version. But my primary version of Dead Cells is now the Switch version, so... Steam version has Twitch integration. That's... that's true. It does. I remember I did that one time. It was kind of cool. Has the Switch version ever 100% addressed the random lag? Yeah. Yeah, it's been updated. It's good now. Also, there was a person yesterday that said, Vinny, did you go to the Tame Impala new album, Listening Party? And I was a little snarky and I said, it's in LA, isn't it? How the f- you know, I didn't say it like that, I was like, yes, I was in LA and then I flew over back to New York to do my stream the same night. Um, well, I am the testicles. Because it turns out there was a listening party in Brooklyn. I didn't know. Didn't have that information, and I, I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. So I guess... Me? Yes, yes, get fucked. Basically that. I said I was in LA. I wasn't. And I'm sorry for that. I was not, in fact, in Los Angeles. I think it would have been cool to listen, not just to listen to the album, but just to hang out with people that like the band. It just seemed like a cool event to go to. So I wish I knew about it, I probably would have tried to go. Remember, I, I had a couple cool music events, I'll tell you about uh, two of them real quick, which is... Both Damon Albarn related. Uh, one was I won tickets... Actually, I didn't win the tickets, but I, I applied and then someone graciously... Uh, gave me their ticket because they lived in a different state to see Blur at the Williamsburg Hall of Music. It was their first show in New York City in years. And it was incredible. They did a, they did the Magic Whip new album. I was within a stone's throw of Damon. And it was amazing. It was really, really good. And then the other thing I went to was the Spirit House when they released, when Gorillaz released Humans. And there was like moldy pizza on the wall. And they just promoted the album Humans. It's a shame I didn't end up liking that album very much. Vinny Blind? Oh, yep, Blind. But it was a cool little experience, I enjoyed it. Got a poster out of it. So, thanks Damon. Vinny, would you eat mold on pizza? If it was leoparded, well, yes. Vinny, did you like the Now Now? I really, really liked the Now Now. That wasn't just a joke. Momentary Bliss was very good. Vinny, did you like the bootleg Animal Crossing that's coming to Steam? I did see that, yeah. Bootleg ass looking game. There's some bootleg Animal Crossing game that's coming to Steam that looks really polished in some areas and very... jank... not janky, but like, kind of, um... Just... Not a lot of attention was put in some spots. I watched like a video of it. I don't remember even the name of it. Um, Hoko Life. Yes, Hoko Life. But it looks very, very much like Animal Crossing, and apparently it's being developed by one person. Like a single humans. I don't want to, like, promote the game, but I'll tell you what I will do. Because I don't know if it's any good. Um, and it apparently is not out yet. But I can show you, since people in chat are saying, show us, show us, show us. Um, here's your bootleg Animal Crossing. On one hand, I mean, first of all, come on. It's so similar. Visually. Right? It doesn't look terrible, but on... You know what kind of reminds me of? Like a Wii party game that you'd buy for 20 bucks. Like the character in particular. Doesn't look terrible. You know, you can like actually even... This, this I like. You can like, you know, customize your couch. And, uh, you can... You got a, like a pig with a headband. <laughs> um, it, it's very blatant. It's very blatant. I don't think I'm going to play it. I, I think I can wait for Animal Crossing to come out, but... I guess if you don't have a Switch, that's a solution. It's just, man, what an unfortunate release window. On one hand, I'm... You know, I think it's kind of cool that it's actually... You know, looking as good as it is. And on another hand, it's like, fuck. It's releasing 2020 either after or before Animal Crossing comes out. If it was like last year, people would have ate that fucking game up while waiting for new Animal Crossing. 
I was also gonna say, if it was on the Switch, it would sell gangbusters. But, I have a feeling Nintendo might not be so happy about a game that looks like that. Could be wrong, I mean, they put endless amounts of fucking garbage on their eShop. So much so that it's almost impossible to find anything good anymore. That's a little hyperbolic, but the truth is, I think the eShop is great, I just wish it was better to sort through. I wish there was, like, more ways to go through it and find the better games. It, it needs a review system. Well, here we go again, chat. Vinny, there's a new game coming to the Wii U. I heard about that, yeah. That's real, by the way, chat members. There is a new game coming to the Wii U. I don't know what game it is, but apparently the publishing... The, or the licensing to get it on Wii U is cheaper... ...than the Switch. And it's not just... It's not just dance. It's a different game. It's an indie game of some kind. Anyway, I have to kill some enemies now so I can actually do this. Like, someone said, why put it on the Wii U when you can bring it to Steam instead and just say, fuck it? I, maybe a, an obligation? Maybe a Kickstarter? I'm not really sure. To get headlines? Maybe. I mean, it, I'm talking about it. Why not both? Yeah, why not both? Put it on Steam and the Wii U. If you're gonna put it out, you're gonna, no one's gonna buy it on the Wii U! It's been out for three years. Are we sure we're talking about the same game? It's hard for me to remember all the details in every game name, but I'm almost positive it was a Wii U indie game, and they said that they couldn't get it on the Switch. That's all I remember. That's so. It's more expensive to get it on the Switch, and they don't have a lot of money for that. So. Vinny, Shakedown Hawaii? Maybe. Could be Shakedown Hawaii. They already had the rights to get it on the Wii U. And here we go. I have at least a little experience with this now. Whether or not that applies to practical victories. Fuck. The answer is no, it does not. Jump the gun a little bit, but we got one. Any, any guesses as to the next Nintendo Direct timing? Next month or two, do you think they'll save their announcements for an E3 Direct? There's no way we don't get a Nintendo Direct this month. Also, Nintendo confirmed they're gonna be at PAX East. So, I, Mr. Big Shot Pressman, will also be at PAX East. I don't know what they're gonna be doing for their booth. Maybe Animal Crossing? Almost certainly Animal Crossing, now that I think about it. I don't think Nintendo- I've never really been able to get to the Nintendo booth with any degree of, like, success. So, if I'm at PAX East, even if I have, like, um, a media badge, which I usually do, which, because I'm a big important person that likes to talk about cocks on his video game stream, uh, you know, I don't think Nintendo's gonna be all that eager to get me any kind of special access to their products. And there's usually a line that's, uh, two hours. Okay, I have to just- I know where to get the dude. I just fucked it up a couple times. I know exactly where I got it last time. I also have a really hard time enjoying playing video games at a convention. I guess that's not really the point, it's just to see what the game looks like. Jump the gun again? Fucking hell. It's just to get, like, a brief feel of the game so you can report back to your media mogul. But, if Animal Crossing's there, I am going to try to play Animal Crossing in a crowded convention where people are shouting and waiting online to get in. That'll definitely give me the legit, real Animal Crossing baby games full experience. What would you even do in a 10-minute Animal Crossing demo? I just just look around the town, chop wood, customize one piece of furniture, and then get booted off the machine. When the new Animal Crossing comes out, will you stream it? I thought, you know, I, I get that question a lot, and I have to remain very, I have to remain very chill about it because I thought it would be like really obvious that of course I would stream that. Like that just seems like a given for someone like me. It's not something that's, like, it's not an annoying question to get, but lately it's been happening almost every day. And I just, again, whoa, gotcha. That was weird. And again, for someone like me who streamed a lot of New Leaf and just generally plays most new Nintendo releases that are notable, you can usually assume I play, like, anything Zelda, Mario, Animal Crossing. I'm glad people want to see me play it. 
That is a very cool thing. But yeah, it's it's just... It's like this psychological... It's a psychological thing, chat. It's a weird thing to get the same question every day and then to answer the same question every day. And then you have to realize, like, well, not every person that was here that day heard the answer to the question. So I have to, like, remember the psychology of it and not let it make me feel like, um, the jocker. Vinny, are you Italian? I've been told I'm Italian. I think if I have any other heritage that the Italian side was too prideful to admit it. So I've been told I'm Italian. I'm going to assume that I'm all Italian. Have I been to Italy? No. Which means I guess I'm not really fully Italian. I do appreciate the finer things in life, like a good pasta, a good Parmesan. Vinny, what if you go through the portal again? Don't even remind me. That was easy. I'm gonna prove how Italian I am, you ready? Yesterday, for dinner, I had the most amazing chip chicken parmesan sandwich. Now, I didn't just say chip and chicken parmesan, like chocolate chip parmesan, definitely not that. With fresh... Um, the most fresh and amazing mozzarella I've ever had. That's- that's how Italian I am. That- <laughs> that alone is all you need. I'm being told that I'm a fake Italian. I have no way to verify this. Vinny, do you take pride in your Italianity? No, I don't really- I'm not proud of anything that I had no control over. Like, I'm not proud I was born, like... Like what? You know what I mean? Like, my soul was- was like, birthed into my body. I'm real proud of that. I had a, clearly had a lot to do with that. It's nice. I don't mind being Italian, I guess. I think it's- it's, uh, we have a nice, um, we have a nice food culture. And we got bippity boppity peep peepity poppity and all that stuff. Um, it's fine. Rocky. <laughs> we got Marty Scorsese. I'm a big Marty Scorsese fan. I think that was the best part of the Oscars when Bong Joon-ho was thanking Martin Scorsese for promoting international films and, you know, for being an inspiration. And everyone gave Martin Scorsese a standing ovation. Even though the Irishman didn't win anything, I thought that was the best moment of the night from what I saw of the Oscars. And you could see, like, Martin Scorsese was getting really emotional. And I, I was like, you know what, dude? Great fucking director. I don't know if the Irishman deserved to win anything specific. It's just a tough year. There's a lot of good movies. So I'm not like- I like the movie. I don't- I'm not upset that it didn't win anything. But... I had some pretty good performances. Uh, there's, there's a couple moments that like that I liked in it. It looked nice. Even though some of the CG was fucking wacky and took me out of the movie a bit. Especially when the 70-something-year-old De Niro started kicking a dude. And didn't make contact with the dude's body. And moved like an old man when he was supposed to be like 38. That was like really fucking distracting. But, still, a movie that I enjoyed re I really, really enjoyed, overall. Nowhere near The Departed or Goodfellas, as I've said in the past. And I, I gotta watch Raging Bull, I haven't seen that. King of Comedy, I haven't seen- I haven't seen a lot of, um, Scorsese's earlier stuff. But, anyway. Uh, so yeah, we got- we got Marty. There's even some link to the family, to my family, with, um, Scorsese, based on, like, uh, where he grew up and stuff. I don't know- what exactly, and that could also be a lie. <laughs> I have no idea if any of it's verifiable, but... Like, I think Mott Street, he grew up and filmed some of his movies. And I think some of my family was from there. So... I don't know. This is like one of those things that is, goes around the family for a bit. And you're like, is that true? The Wrestler is a better fighting movie, in my opinion. The Wrestler is incredible. And they filmed a lot of that in Asbury Park, which I'm a big fan of. Chat, I have this, um, turnip here. Who gets the turnip? Look for soup. Oh, there's a cauldron in a cave? I had soup for dinner tonight, actually. Chicken tortilla soup. Excellent. It's a very Italian dish. Okay, now I have the metal. Which, does this go back to the original dude? It's a coin, rather. Oh, the fountain! Right, right, that would- that would make sense. Make a wish. Uh... Toss it to a witcher. Oh, God, no, again! 
Oh no! Like I said, that's in a very inconvenient place. That's twice now. Alright, absolutely no terpenes will make you forget your mistakes very quickly. You should definitely check out my new brand of Crystal Dumb Vodka. Crystal Brain Vodka. Oh great, now I have to kill enemies again, too. I... I don't even know where to begin, chat. Don't even fucking know where to begin. Oh god, what have you done? Fucking hell. Have you got a brain parasite?! Yes, chef. So, sorry, chef. I'll get that parasite looked at right away, chef. Oh god, we can't even cook it up! I, I am so disappointed in myself that I fucking felt, went through that portal again, though. I'm just, um... You know... What can I say? I'm a loser, baby, so I don't to kill me. So you repair the door. I'm a loser, baby. It's just, there's all, like, you know, you have to kill all the enemies, which makes this take the longest amount of time. Yeah. You die. Oh. Man, I thought these trading missions in Zelda were bad enough. I was so close to being done with that goddamn trading quest. Vinny, how do you know exactly which messages to read? It's called Fate. I have a... an AI device called Fate that takes the best before- oh! Smoother than it ever was. Smoother than it ever was. Smooth as it ever was. Smooth as it ever was. If I go through that portal again, I'm going to get my video game license revoked. You need a license? Yeah, you don't have one? Are you playing video games illegally? You can't do that. You have to sign up at the GMV, the Game Department of Motor Vehicles. You sign up at the DMC. D O N T E. He's back. Do we have a release date on DMC3 on the Switch? By the way, the 20th? Yeah, that's that's a good release. Get some time to play DMC before Animal Crossing and Doom come out. I'm saying this like there's a tremendous like um overlap of Doom and Animal Crossing fans. Hell, there might be, I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't seem likely, but if you're a true gamer's gamer, you might be interested in both games. If you have your gaming license from the DMC. Split! Becoming a recurring joke that Doom players have a hard time choosing either to get Animal Crossing or Eternal. I feel like there's more crossover than one would expect for those two games. I can't fucking wait. I couldn't even tell you which one I'm more excited for, to be honest. I have no idea which one I want more. I don't. Someone said definitely Animal Crossing. You know, I'm gonna be a bit of a contrarian here. Uh, sorry, contrarian. And I'm going to say that, as excited as I am for Animal Crossing, it looks good. It's not going to be the next big leap forward for the series. It just looks like another good entry into the series. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm probably going to have a lot of fun with it. But I don't think it's going to, like, revolutionize anything, necessarily. Not that it has to. Doom Eternal is the same thing, though. It looks like it's just going to take the formula and expand it a little further and mainly just make another really good game with a fuckload of enemy variety. Which, Doom Eternal is exactly what I want to see out of Breath of the Wild, too, in the sense of just more of that, but better. Especially double enemy variety. So I think I might be more excited overall for Doom. But then again, I know once I finish Doom... You know, I might play some of the multiplayer, and then that'll be it. But Animal Crossing will probably end up staying in my Switch for a couple of... months. 
and then like occasional revisits for the stream. Could be years. Some people say years. I mean, maybe not for me as much, but for you lot, I, sure. Trials of Mana is April, right? That'll give me some time to finish up a couple games, I guess. Cut it close enough for you, chat? Dreams comes out this week. Apparently, yeah, Dreams is getting a campaign made by Media Molecule, which seems really weird. Um, I will check it out a little bit. I don't know if I'll stream the whole campaign, but they're, the full release of Dreams is going to have a couple new features and some improvements and all that stuff. I'll try to figure out what that stuff is before I stream it again. But I already have a couple collections for the next Dream stream. All right, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Oh. I can't believe Spyro has a gun. Yep! Hey, you nailed all the yeah. targets! Anakin! Good. Good. Kill him. I shouldn't. It's not the Jedi way! Do it! Yeah! Sorry, Master, was that words? Yeah! I don't... What did you... What did you say, my Master? He wasn't even his master at that point. <laughs> it's like, he's just prematurely calling Palpatine his master. For no reason. I'm assuming I have to bust these gates open again. I already got the fawns. You need to supercharge a metal box. Alright, so I already did all this stuff. I'm getting, like, slight gamer thumb again from the position of the uh, analog stick on this 8-bit dough controller. It happened during Red Dead as well. You know, I could use the D-pad for this. Scop! Scop the sin! It's weird, you can't skip it until it's, like, mostly done. Alright, so, I'm trying to figure out... What? Oh, here's... Uh, well, here's something. Oh, this is... Oh, you fuck. I've been exp so I do have to do this again, right? Yeah. Yeah, just go near every single one of them. That's that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, good path! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, smart! Smart alchemist man! Very smart! I lost him. Oh. Fucking... Dude. Got lucky at the end there. I'm gonna make a Spyro movie, all right? As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn Earth Shapers? Oh, okay. Swamps. Vinny is Captain Falcon's Tarantino favorite actor. What? It, what? Um, I. What? Oh, oh, I see what you said there. Okay, yeah, it's. The, um, yeah, Captain Falcontino. They even kind of sound a little bit alike in the Vine Sauce multiverse. Sorry, Spyro, but you failed. I can't shoot him again. Wanna try All right. Con nice. We make a great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the Alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. Hmm. Saved you. You're annoyed at him. Hmm. Ingrate? And he hears that crossover you were talking about. The Alchemist put his feet there in the first place. Ah! Oh, we got meme text on this. Hello, I would like one copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch, please. I think Doom Eternal is going to take a little bit longer on the, uh, on the Switch. If I'm not mistaken. Also, weirdly enough, the port of Doom... 2016 was... surprisingly competent on the Switch. Like, more than competent. I played through almost half the game. I think maybe over half the game on the Switch. Panic Button worked... I've said this before on stream, but Panic Button worked a fucking miracle with that game. Also, the engine is just highly scalable anyway, but... Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have to go this way and then that way. Alright. 
I just need to open that box. Vinny, have you ever played Doom 3? Only a little bit. Weirdly enough. Doom 3 was one of those games that I couldn't afford at the time, so I just didn't play it. I heard the Switch port for that wasn't terrible either. I also know that Doom 3 is a very different type of Doom in many ways than the other Doom games. I think Panic Button handled the Switch port for the Doom 3. Yes! Yes! Get fucked! Vinny, can you say Doom some more? I don't think it's quite lost its meaning yet. Doom. I don't. My name? Oh, it's Dominic. In the Lord of the Rings book, when they're in Mordor, and they hear the sound of the orcs and ogres and all the, the mean, nasty goblins chasing them, Tolkien alliterates by using the word Doom over and over again. Doom. 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 The thunderous sound grew louder as Legolas and Aragorn grew closer to the tree. Doom. Doom. Basically what the audiobook sounded like for that section. Do you mean onomatopoeia? Yeah, I guess so. Has the word lost its meaning yet? Does it just sound like connects? Ah! 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 I just, I'm sick of- I almost became Bobcat Goldthwaith for a second there. Oh god, my face is itchy. Now's not the time, face. Oh no, where are we going? Where are we going, Bane? Bane, I don't know where we're going! Face itchy! Oh! Wow, well, I really can't fucking do this, can I? Vinny, Jerma said that Gollum is the Jar Jar of the Lord of the Rings series. Is he correct? He is. Both were groundbreaking uses of technology to create a virtual character using the performance of a human actor merged with cutting-edge technology. Except one was a cunt. Who would you rather be friends with? Oh, I, dread. I think Jar Jar would get really annoying, but Gollum would also try to bite my wiener off, so I don't think I want to have anything to do with that little friend. No, that, that, no, no, uh, sadly Jar Jar. He bites Frodo's finger. What else is he biting that looks like a finger? But his... Oh. <laughs> a, like a thumb, I mean. Like a big thumb. Hot dogs? Cock and Well, does it hurt us, Master? It wants us to bite the hot dog, but then it doesn't feed us for weeks! We want it! We want the dick, Master! No! God! Why is it so difficult to get? Oh. Me. Me. Yes. I gotta get rid of that. I, I gotta get rid of that. I cannot keep... I cannot keep that. <laughs> oh, alright. Shady Oasis. I only have to do one thing here. That is something else. Wow! <laughs> Someone linked to a news story. Normally I wouldn't click a link, but I'm gonna check it out real quick. You can trade a photo of your ex for a free Whopper at Burger King this Valentine's Day. Oh, fuck off, Burger King. Your food sucks. <laughs> I wouldn't trade Smegma for a fucking Whopper. That's the fast food. This, this stream ended up being really gross tonight. Um, I don't know how that happened. I'm not going to apologize, but here's the thing. Burger King is the fast food that gets me the most sick. I don't know if everyone has the same experience that I do, but Burger King, I cannot eat. It genuinely is the one that gives me the worst indigestion. Like, I feel my heart slowing down. Listen, I can eat a McDonald's and I'm fine, but then you give me a Burger King and I'm not okay. 
actually White Castle. Never, I'm, I'm sorry, I'd like to apologize to Burger King. They deserve an apology because White Castle makes me feel worse than Burger King. And their fries are like terrible now. Well, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with their chicken, but it's not. I mean, it's, it's chicken esque. I don't know if anyone's defending Burger King in the comments, but I just want you to think about what you're doing with your life if you get at irrationally angry at me shitting on your favorite fast food. I'm gonna have to go ahead and ask you to think about your life choices and come back to me in the morning. Meanwhile, Wendy's like, what up, fam? It's time for a fast food war to promote our new breakfast products. You know, the disgusting slop that gives you gas? Yeah, I'm more or less okay with Wendy's, though, because they do it doesn't get me as sick, and there's some options on the, that menu that I don't mind, in a pinch. You know, I- listen, I live in a, a city with great food, but I'm not necessarily a food elitist. I like some junk food. Sometimes. I'm wondering if Wendy's fast food is gonna actually end up being any different than the usual... ...than the usual stuff. Hey, chat, I have a question. Was I in Shady Oasis the last time I was talking about this? And we discovered... Was I in the exact same spot? Where was I? When we were talking about egg tube. An egg log. I feel like I... Maybe... Was I here? Oh man, I have some, like, serious deja vu. Vinny, you were in the beach level. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, well, I mean, it was still Spyro, but it wasn't... I thought it was this, never mind. Anyway, this is Vining on Empty Fast Food Review. I actually do have a fast food review. I finally, today, here I am shitting on fast food. And I legitimately had fast food today. I had, uh, the Popeye's chicken sandwich for the first time. Because, for some reason, people were dying, getting stabbed, and pregnant while waiting online for a Popeye's chicken sandwich for months. And so, every time I was near a Popeye's, which wasn't all that much, like, say, if it was, like, a mall situation, or if I was in the area, it was always crossed off the menu because they just didn't have it for months. And then I gave up. I was like, I don't fucking need this. So, today, I was just walking by the Popeyes, and I was like, you know what? Let me see if they got that chicken sandwich. And they did. So, I got it, and it was- it was good. It was very good. It's probably better than most other fast food chicken sandwich I've had, ever. But, there are at least two or three places I can list locally that have- Like, there's a place that does chicken that also has the, um, the Jaws thing from the ride. From the Jaws ride. They bought the shark from that fucking Jaws ride. I don't know- chat, I don't know either. I don't know either. But I went there and got one of their chicken sandwiches, and it was... incredible. So, I would say this is not that. Because that was made fresh and it was amazing, but it was a very, very good fast food slop sandwich. I really enjoyed it. I- the... bun was very buttery. That's one thing I noticed about it, it was a very buttery bun, and, you know, when you're making food, that butter... You know, Paula Dane. That's all I do. Cook with butter. Butter. Get that butter slathered on my tits. Alright, now we're gonna make us some corned beef hash potato browns. Beautiful. And that's how she got famous. So butter's a really big proponent. Component when it comes to, uh, you know, like, having food taste really good at restaurants. So, I noticed the buttery biscuit uh, bun right away, and it was good. The chicken itself was the usual Popeye fare. It was good. It was, it was fine. And the pickles and the mayo and all that, or whatever the sauce was. I don't know if it was mayo, but whatever it was, it was, it was good. It was a fine sandwich. Would I get stabbed or stab another human being over the sandwich? No. Would I wait online for it for a half hour to an hour? No. What did you think of the pickles? They were good. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this mission? <laughs> I, I love- I mean, I get why I can walk. I have the- the power-up. This is just a really bizarre concept. I want to know w which member of the team came up with this. I want to know where they were the night before they made this. I want to know if they had any magical smoke devices near their desk. Thanks for freeing us. Yeah, Orbiot's collected. Vinny, did you say you went to another restaurant other than Popeyes? No, just Popeyes. And then I went to, uh, later on, I went to this place I like and got chicken tortilla soup and a taco. Also, Keegan-Michael Key was on Conan. He does a very good impression of, uh, Lando. So, George, who is this? Oh, uh, that's Chewbacca. Chewbacca, got it. <laughs> so, yeah, he does say Chewbacca. 
His name is Han. Han Solo. Han. Got it. All right. I'm not sure how much of this game is left. Is there a way to see the overall percentage of everything? Um, or is that- oh, it's 87%. Chat, would this be a good place to stop? Do I have a full stream ahead? Probably, yeah. I think I probably have a full stream. Two levels, one speedway, and a final boss. I'm just wondering if the next stream is gonna be like an hour. The bonus content you unlock should take about 30 minutes to complete, too. Oh, there is bonus content. Okay. Uh, off-peak, I don't have a specific day in mind, but this week. I kinda, like I said, I kinda just fly by the seat of my pants when I, uh, when I, you know, make up, uh, the stream schedule for the week, you know, and write it down in my calendar, which I don't do. There is no stream schedule. So, that just doesn't exist. But, um, like I said, <clears throat> I fly by the seat of my pants. We make the pants. Thanks, okay. I'm sorry there's no sound. If I click back in, then the sound- then the fucking cutscene goes away. So it's this or no cutscene. Um, I'll check out a little bit of this level real quick. Might do a couple objectives. Vinny, have you thought about playing good games instead? Yes, get fucked. <laughs> Wait, what, what is that saying anyway? Is it let's get fucked or yes get fucked? I think it's yes get fucked and not let's get fucked. Yeah, I'm- in fact, I, it's definitely yes get fucked. I missed gems in the first area? Okay. This isn't a fully thorough exploration of the area, it's just like kind of a once-over to see what's- what's here. How spoilery will the Three Houses stream be? I'm 20 hours in. I'm on chapter 8. I don't know how it happened either, chat. I don't know. It just- it drew me in. I mean, it's pretty big spoilers from what I understand, but it's not like endgame. Um... It's... I don't know. I don't know how far I am through the game. I have no idea. Someone said, worst chat experience of 2020 coming up. What, like people that don't like the game or backseaters? Like telling me how to play the game. Both? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I, you know, I have an answer to, to both of you. Yes! Get fucked! It's really not hard. <laughs> really, it's not, it's not a difficult concept. If another human being is playing a video game, you don't have to tell them how to play it. Especially if I'm not keeping up with it on stream. If I'm... Yeah, I'm just streaming it just one time as a little bonus to talk about the game and to show you my progress. And, uh, one time only. That's it. I mean, you can post your kappas, but I'll just make note of everyone posting a kappa right now. No, this one's from me, chat. This isn't, uh, this is not a Bloodborne. This is not a Dragon Quest where I did, like, ten streams of it. I mean, that's also a 100-hour-long game, and it doesn't have the same level of um, I feel like the backseating in Dragon Quest wouldn't have ever been as intense as it would be for a Fire Emblem. Nor would there be accusations of weebery because of the characters with the big anime eyes. Which, again, I'm not exactly playing the game for those reasons. I, believe it or not, you might not... <laughs> it's like reading Playboy for the articles, but I remember a time when Fire Emblem was simply only about battles and ranking up your characters, and getting new weapons. Which character's body pillow did you order, Vinny? Oh, I ordered a Lauren's, um, body pillow. It's a very, very long egg... egg-shaped body pillow. Why is his crotch vibrating? Oh, did you really have to point that out? I'm gonna have to fucking launch some stuff, aren't I? God damn it. Well, I mean, the game got a little bit more difficult. There are now things that shoot at you and don't just stand there and idle until you sh you shoot them with your fire. Also, Electro Farm is a cool theme. This game has some interesting levels. And, uh, ah. Someone said, have we gotten Vinny to look up Spyro Subway yet? Yes! Get fucked! I know about it. And I know everyone that tries to trick me into watching it. Or looking at it. That's all I'm gonna say. I know who you are, I know where you live. Alright, I don't know where you live, but I know who you are. I know that you live here in this Twitch channel sometimes. 
tell me to watch that picture? Next, you want me to read it with my own ears? Wow. What the fuck am I doing? You better watch out. 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 The only real innocent things that aren't trying to kill me on this whole farm, and I kill them so I can get their health, their delicious fruit. All right, well, I did the level. Now we're gonna take a break. I'll be back to 100% this level and the rest of the levels in a couple days. I don't even know what to say about this game's cutscenes. Butt plug. That wasn't a butt plug. How did you how did you look at that and get butt plug out of that? What the fuck kind of butt plugs are you using? Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Good start. Good night everybody. Thanks for watching. Imagine being that penguin, and then seeing a purple dragon flying at you, and that's the last thing you ever see. And Spyro's the good guy. Vinny, have you listened to- ever listened to any gorilla songs? I think, um, the, uh, I, welcome to the stream. I think the problem with answering questions like that is that most of the chat feels the way I do, which is like, what an obvious answer to a question. Uh, I, I love the Gorillas. I think they're, they're one of my favorite bands. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just a question I get a lot. And, um, I play them a lot on stream. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty big Gorillas fan. Looking forward to whatever the fuck they put out next. I know, um, their song machine thing. You know, they re uh, released one song, which was really good. So I'm curious to see where they're going. Have you ever heard of the Ringles? Hello, it's me, Ringle, on drums. Hello, it's me, Richard Starkey, on drums. Hello, it's me, Ringo. I'm on drums. Hello, it's me, Ringo Rhombus. I'm on vocals and drums. It's just four guys playing drums at the same time when one of them happens to be singing very poorly. Also, I think Ringo's a pretty good singer. I'm not saying he's a bad singer. I liked uh, his songs quite a bit. But if you watched them live, the songs that Ringo sings on while he's also playing the drums, very shaky. Very, very shaky. I'd have a hard time singing and playing drums at the same time. Unless you're fucking Don Henley or Phil Collins. That shit's not easy. Okay, so I have uh, some of this level left. Got an orb, got a couple more gems. Whoa, I watched a very interesting video about 3DS homebrew and voice cracks, but m mainly just homebrew. That, like, was a cubic ninja, had a level editor, and they were able to, like, get into the 3DS and hack it because of, like, one exploit. And Sudoku as well, apparently. It was a QR reader. That's pretty interesting. I think I remember seeing that in the, in the video a little bit. They had the QR code. It was massive, though. It wasn't like a small QR. It was just, like, it looked like a corruption. But it gave me an idea, like, I don't know if it's possible to do so, but... I wonder what 3DS Homebrew is like. I've never done 3DS Homebrew. I've done Wii Homebrew. I've done other system Homebrew on stream, but what does the 3DS Homebrew look like? It's flexible, easy to do. Can you emulate it? Like, are there any cool games? Lots of ports as far as original stuff goes, not so much. Oh. Alright, one day maybe. Halo DS- oh god, there was an original version of Halo DS. I remember seeing that. There's a trailer I saw today for Wes Anderson's new movie. And, uh, it is, as every Wes Anderson movie has been since, like, Bottle Rocket and Rushmore, the most Wes Anderson-looking motherfucking movie I've ever seen in my life. The colors are, like, Wes Anderson created them himself. Bill Murray's in it, Owen Wilson's in it. There's, like, a million cameos from his usual people. It's... 
I just, I really like his movies, so I'm, I'm excited for this one, but it's just funny, like, the dude is so, it's like he's becoming more Wes Anderson with each movie he makes, if that statement, <laughs> that nonsensical statement makes any sense. Wes Anderson the movie. I wonder if one day someone will make a Wes Anderson movie in the style of Wes Anderson, like about him, and it's all just lies, and that's the theme of the movie, it's just like a, a fake documentary about a dude whose life is actually very different. If I ever become a filmmaker, I'll do it. I'll call it Eats Meets West. I don't even know what that means. Eats Meets West. And it'll be a dude named Ys. And uh, him and Wes Anderson compete to make the best movie. Using nothing but bottle caps, jumping jacks, um, cracker jacks, some string, and an egg. There's already Paul W.S. Anderson, they're like opposites. Yeah, I can't think of a good title. Anderson meets Wes? Wes Anderson? Anderson versus Anderson. I don't know. <laughs> I, anyway, yeah, the movie looks cool. My favorite Wes Anderson movie is probably Life... No. It's Darjeeling Limited, which my friend Tyler will never understand because... That movie's about, like, fraternal bonds and, like, brothers and stuff. And, uh, I'm an only child, so why do I like that movie so much? I don't know. I can't answer the question. He's an only child. He doesn't- it's not his favorite. He likes it. I guess it's maybe, like, what I didn't have growing up? Someone says, I always like the look at these assholes line in that movie. Look at these assholes! <laughs> yeah, me too. The soundtrack is really good, too. Alright, I already did this. I'm not going through there. Okay, so there's a couple things. Oh, this dude. Someone said apparently the Sonic movie is actually not that bad. I, I didn't think it was going to be terrible. I feel like between this and Detective Pikachu, this might open the door for more video game movies. I I was like half-jokingly predicting that video game movie properties are going to become the next comic book movie. Where it's just going to be huge. Because, um, you know, these are like franchises that can make some money and they're recognizable. And I feel like even though there were comic book movies before Iron Man, that was the movie that really opened the door for the, the extra cash. So, I think video game movies are probably, like, they've been done. The Assassin's Creed movie was apparently okay. There's been a lot of bad video game movies, but... I think that the, um, the people that make the movies, John Movies, is probably gonna end up seeing, like, okay, well, we, we're doing, we're doing comic books, we got those, okay, superheroes, those are big, all right, what's next, what's next? That Pikachu and Sonic movie, they made some money, what else you got? And then someone picks up the rights to, like, um, big rigs, over the road racing, Bubsy. Ugh, never mind, this is not a good idea. Fast and Furious already exists. Well, they could just do that with Mario characters and call it Mario Kart the movie. There's a Mario movie in the works by Illumination. I'm sure that's that's sure to be a disappointment. I don't think it will be. I don't know, like, what they're gonna do with Mario talking, because that's always been weird. Are they gonna get Charles Martinet? Martinet? Um, that's gonna- it's gonna be weird, and it's gonna be a tough thing to get used to, but I don't think it's gonna be terrible. I mean, again, I love the Super Mario Brothers movie for how cheesy it is. I don't think Nintendo wants a repeat of that, so I think they're gonna probably stray far away from whatever the fuck happened there. We make the pants? How about this, chat? I think the Super Mario Brother movie is going to be mediocre. But watchable. I really do believe that. Someone in chat said, really, Spyro tonight? No. It will be the safest movie ever. Yeah, it's gonna be safe. It's gonna be like, just like my opinion on the movie, it's gonna be very... Very safe. It's not gonna be anything uh, crazy. It's gonna be the usual Bowser, Mario. Maybe they'll take some cues from the Mario and Luigi games, and it'll be fine. I don't think that's gonna be the movie that even breaks down the door for more video game adaptations. I think that's just gonna be a decent movie that people are gonna like, and then everyone gets on with their lives. I think a Zelda movie would be way harder to do than Mario because Link. The only time Link has ever spoken, it's been usually in a piece of media that was, like, kind of terrible. Well, the cartoon wasn't terrible for its time. But you watch that now and it's... Whoa. You watch that now and it's a little rough. 
And, uh, of course, Metroid with the Babby could easily be a Mandalorian type thing. I don't think Metal Gear Solid should be fucked. Already is. Um, I don't think Metal Gear Solid should be a movie. I just don't feel like it would work as well. I feel like so much of that is the campiness of the game format. And without David Hayter, that's gonna be tough for me to really... Well, no, that's not true. They could... Yeah. I don't know what the fuck they could do with Metal Gear. No wonder it hasn't been touched yet. Oh, I'm dropping frames. Oh no, dropping frames. I'm still here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Are we in the cow zone? Chat, are we in the cow zone right now? Okay, the frames seem to have stopped dropping. All right, that's weird. Also, um, for the dude that said they, you know, like Spyro tonight, oh no, or, you know, anyone that says, oh god, like I, you know, I don't mean to necessarily call you out, but you gotta understand, like, I see some of you guys in chat, like, all the time. And, um, I know we don't know each other, but when I see, like, a username I've seen for months, years, complaining about a game choice, a game that I like, that kind of sucks a little bit, you know? It, it's not, it doesn't feel good. So, I just want to let you know that I take note of that shit, and, uh, you know, if you're trying to foster a decent relationship with your, your with your streamer friend, it's best to maybe just, like, not show up if you don't, you know, if you're not into the game. That's really the best I can give you. Like, sure, if I was, um, if I was watching a stream and someone was playing a game like, uh, oh, what game do I hate according to the internet? Undertale, you know, I just click right off because that's apparently the game I hate, I've been told. <laughs> We make the pens. Vinny, I'd watch you butter toast. I guess some people watch for the streamer, some people watch for the game, but the truth is I probably wouldn't be the type of person that would watch only for the streamer. I'd need to be interested in the game, too. I would definitely need to uh, have, you know, an interesting game that I like in order to really get into the stream. Watch paint dry? Well, weirdly enough, paint drying simulator, watching paint drying the simulator, whatever the fuck the name of that game is, has an update. Oh, hang on, we got an update. We got an update, chat. The chat member said, I like the game, it's just, it's a bad night because I have something to do tonight. Oh, I see, I see. Well, you gotta be careful because text does not convey that kind of thing very easily. Jeez. Pose law, yeah, pretty much. Well, if a thing happens enough, you start to expect it, so. Rocket Hog. Vinny, do you plan on checking out Dead Cells DLC? No, I hate that game too. <laughs> yeah, I'll check it out. I want to be in the right mood for it, because right now I'm, I'm still... Like, I'm going to play Hades tonight, even though I've already finished one run of it. Oh, wow. Vinny, what's a game you actually hate? Probably one I've played. I can't hate a game I haven't played. Snarky, uh... Answer aside, I can't really think of one off the top of my head right now. Devil May Cry 2. Speaking Simulator really fucking bothered me. Yeah. Yeah, I hated Speaking Simulator after a certain point. Someone said play it with a controller, it's better, but I don't think I really ever really want to check that game out again. Vinny, and then you continued to play it. I played it for about a half hour. I gave it a fair chance. Death Stranding? Um, no, I didn't play enough Death Stranding to really hate it. I just found it very unlikable, but I didn't hate it. I think hate's a bit of a strong word for Death Stranding. I only put about four hours into that game anyway. Four, five, six hours, whatever it was. And then, what was it? Dude, stop. Oh, I didn't like that one. Uh, Banana Blitz. Yeah, I thought I liked Monkey Ball Banana Blitz enough to want to play the Switch version, but they made the Switch version even worse. Because they edited the levels to be a little bit more difficult in the worst possible way. So, yeah, that game fucking... just disappointed me to no end. Also, I think if Banana Blitz had camera controls bound to the right stick, the right analog stick, that game would have actually ended up being really playable. Or at least way more playable, and a way to turn off the stage tilting so that it was more like Marble Madness. I might have actually been tempted to finish the game. Darkest Dungeon? No, I love Darkest Dungeon. It just, it's frustrating. Darkest Dungeon made me really depressed because I would lose all the characters I really liked. And I just never felt like I was making any progress. Vinny, what's the next game you will start? I have a couple ideas. I, I can't give you an answer right now. I'm sorry to say, Mr. Chat member. I have no idea which one I want to play. I think next week when I'm I'm done with Spyro, so 
Next week I'll start a new game, but I don't know which one. Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Vinny, would you consider Obra Dinn? I've considered Obra Dinn, but I've, I've also considered that the chat would spoil that game to hell and high water. And it would probably make the game rather unfun for me to stream. Um... Because then I'd have to, like, not look at the chat. DMC3 Switch version. Uh, that's coming out a little bit later, but I am very interested in DMC3 Switch version. Yes. I can't say for sure I'll stream it, but I'm probably gonna stream it. Yakuza 0. You know, I don't know what that game is, but it's been recommended about a thousand times now. It hasn't been, like, annoying recommendation level, but it's... It's something that people keep talking about. It's just not in my wheelhouse, so I don't know what that is. I'd have to look into it. It's a long-ass game. The cutscenes are long. So why do people keep recommending it? I'm just curious, what makes that game special? Crime drama wrapped up in a thousand side activities. Is it like Red Dead 2 length? No, it's shorter. I'll, I'll tell you what, let me do a little research on that game, but um, right now I'm gonna say no. My answer is no to Yakuza 0, but I'm gonna look into it a little bit. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Chat, this is what 1999 AD in Chrono Trigger would have looked like. Someone said, didn't you say you wanted to play Fantasy Life? I liked Fantasy Life. I thought Fantasy Life was kind of cool, but I didn't say I was going to play it. I mean, that maybe that was a joke, but I, I streamed it a little bit. Oh, fuck. When did I stream? When it first came out. I got a little bored with Fantasy Life, though. That was the problem. It was like a, like really... Someone in chat said it had really long tutorials. That happened, and then I just kind of lost focus of what I wanted to do in that game, and I just kind of gave up on it. There's a lot of um, going back and forth, different, you know, areas that would... Uh, the same areas, rather. Isn't there a game from the developers of F Fantasy Life, a roguelike, that's coming out really soon? What's that game? Snack World. Yeah, Snack World. What's that? Yeah, I, I was interested in that. It looks kind of neat. But I don't know if I would play it or stream it. It's just something that uh, popped up on my radar, and I was like, oh, this looks nice. It's like a 3D um, Fantasy Life-esque, um, I guess, hack and slash, maybe? Rogue Light? Have you heard of the game Stone Shard? Oh man, there are just so many fucking games to keep up with. No, I, don't, I haven't heard of that. The fuck was that? An unhatched... chicken? I guess the egg that I put in my Twitch notification was accurate tonight. There's another thing. I, I, I listened to the Papa John thing. And I, I don't... That dude just strikes me as, as weird. He claims to be humble, but yet he makes you call him Papa. I love it when you call me Big Paul. Paul. He lied about eating 40 pizzas in 30 days. Um, I, he seemed... He came across way better than I expected. But at the same time, like, he claimed to be humble, but didn't he show off his mansion? And talk about Sody Pop? And the dude's, like, loaded, and he was trying to appeal to, like, people, but he's... I don't know. I, I get a weird vibe from that dude, but who knows? I maybe I don't know who. It's a pizza guy. <laughs> also, the dude is not like the pizza master. You know, he's just a good businessman who made a uh, slightly above average chain pizza restaurant very successful. And he's not, you know, you know, like the pizza itself is just like the usual shit. So he considers himself some kind of like um, pizza prodigy. But I just think that he's a better businessman than he is a better sh than he is a chef, I suppose. And yeah, I don't know. Um, then there's the, all the drama and controversy that he's trying to defend and be like, "Oh, that didn't happen this way." And it's just like, yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm not really even sure why I listened to it. I had like a a lot of people were like, "Vinny, you got to listen to this," and I'm like, "All right, fine, I'll listen to the rest of it." It wasn't that entertaining. It was just a lot of legal shit. It's like him talking about how he's gonna get revenge on some, like, business partner he had. But Vinny, he's the meme man. Oh, I see. I get it, I get it. Meme man. <laughs> Day reckoning. Vinny, if you're hungry for another Metroidvania soon, consider checking out Two Who Luna Nights. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, like, reading some of these game suggestions, and it's kind of... Uh, my mind doesn't go to the right... Like, I don't know what that is. I'm sure maybe it's good. It's been recommended a bunch, but when I read the name Tuhu, I just, I can't help but laugh. Because of the, the, the associations I have in my brain. Then it's pronounced Tauhu. Oh, shit. As you can see, I would advise using the bombs against it. And it will probably take several bombs at that. Okay. It's gonna destroy some fucking ox now, I guess. I don't know, I kind of feel like the robots are the assholes now.
Oh my god. Oh, this- this is terrible. Gotcha. Excellent work, Dragon. Take this visually pleasing reward. <laughs> is that all it- yeah, it just looks good? Vinny, what do you like? Oh, I like killing oxes with fireworks. That's all. I was gonna say yaks are- I'm particularly, um, interested in killing with fireworks. Vinny, what is best in life? just as the pizza arrives at your table. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the pizza meme man, but I mean, like, when the pizza, you're hungry, and the pizza first gets to your table. After you eat the pizza, that's a bad time. But before then, that's my favorite time. It's gotta be really leoparded. It's gotta be, like, highly leoparded. Otherwise, I don't even want to have anything to do with it. What makes your brain release dopamine? Walking to the store to buy a new Zelda. Historically, those have been the happiest moments of my life. Was, like, getting out of my car, getting to the store to find a new Zelda. But, you know what the weird thing is, too? Like, there were times where I couldn't find the Zelda because it was sold out, and those were almost better than just buying it on the eShop or downloading it. Like, spending several days looking for the game or several hours and then finally finding it because it was sold out. That is almost even better than just buying the game. Does that apply to Skyward Sword also? It does, because at the time Skyward Sword was the new Zelda game. Even though I have some issues with that game, it was still an exciting release. Vinny, this is the best Gordon Ramsay clip ever. Okay, hang on a minute. You can download contraptions from the workshop and besiege. He brings that pissing over, and the big surprise is the fucking bass is fucking raw! <laughs> Yeah, that was used in the cartoon, that clip. I think his head explodes like a balloon after he says that, if I'm not mistaken. Level outro is gone. We lost it, chat. I'm sorry. Once again, tabbing out, this game does not handle tabbing out very well. And yet, when I try to skip cutscenes on purpose, it takes forever because I'm pressing the wrong button. But if you click one time with your mouse, you immediately skip the cutscene. I'm gonna show you this goddamn cutscene. I'm gonna... go past these cows. We're gonna get to the end of the level. Uh, the new Steam layout I wanted to mention. I really like what they did with Steam. Uh, where they have, like, a, uh, a little, like, b bar at the top where you can see the latest updates for games that you have. That's a really cool idea. I don't like every update Steam has done, but I like that one. I think that one was pretty good. Some of the layout stuff is, is better, some of it's not so great. But I, I think generally having like a clear view of what games are getting updated, that leads to... Um, less searching around online, just more, more time wasting your life playing video games, which I'm all about. Vinny, can I ask why you're tabbing out whenever there's a cutscene in-game? Um, in this case, someone linked me to it. They linked me to a Gordon Ramsay video, so... No, we don't need to do this. We already did this. I'm just gonna exit, and then that'll get us the cutscene. There you go. <laughs> It's like you can almost predict what's going to happen before it happens. Alright, let's, um... Let's see what's next. I just have a couple things to do in Winter Tundra, and then I don't really know what else. Getting very, very close to the end of the game, and apparently there's some bonus stuff after, too. There's Ripto's Arena. Um... There's an orb. There's an orb yacht somewhere around here, chat. See, see this? Maybe, maybe this rock? Well, that's a thing. I'm um, still missing one orb. Go to the waterfall? I don't know if you mean this, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! I don't know how to get there, though. Fly from the giant stairs. Okay. Oh, fly into the cave from the giant... Oh, wait, no. Use brain? I have not unlocked access to my brain. Oh, shit. Oh, God, that's not the right way. Did you get the brain DLC? I No, I didn't. Speaking of DLC, Fire Emblem DLC came out, which 
check that out after I'm done with the game, I think. But, uh, I didn't realize that Fire Emblem Heroes was so fucking terrible. I just did a little research on it, and there's a subscription plan for a couple of quality of life things for ten bucks a month. That's pretty disgusting. From the stairs, look left, and there's a small pond behind the wall. Yep. Okay. That's cool. Someone said, Vinny, why do you like Spyro? Um, I think it's just a good collect-a-thon type game. And this is, like, got a lot of good mini-games and, like, uh, secondary objectives and... It's funny. Um, it controls really well, it looks nice. It's just a good platformer collect-a-thon game that doesn't get overly bloated with collectibles. I'm missing 4%. F.E.H.'s subscription thing sucks, but it's still a good free game to play. I mean, I'm happy just playing Three Houses. I was considering checking it out again, because I haven't played it in three years. And I- only for 45 minutes at that, uh, but I'm gonna pass. Ripto's demise is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. Alright, chat, here we go. Vinny, I've played F.E.H. since launch. It's outright pay to win now. You have zero chance of getting... You have zero chance in this game without paying. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, here we go. Yeah! Come back here, you useless animals! Hey, Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? <laughs> yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm, I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Riptoad. Uh, He's not even a toad. We want to help you fight Riptoad. I gotta figure this out. I will. I get it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Oh, right, okay. Oh, no. Oh, this is cool. What? I like boss fights where the game mechanics change a little bit. Like, uh, they give you access to some special ability. Super Metroid comes to mind, even though it's a little different than what I just said. Uh, but when you get the power up at the end there, it's just amazing. For story reasons and just because it's so fucking cool to see Samus get, like, overpowered like that. Any other examples of what I'm talking about that you can think of, chat? Metroid Prime? Yep. Resident Evil 6. That had that? I don't even remember. Odyssey? Titanfall 2? Yeah. I don't remember as much of that game as I wish I did, but... I finished it. DMC5 with Nero Devil Trigger. Okay. There you go, I remember that. That was only a year ago. Actually, chat, last year at this time I was playing Resident Evil 2, and soon... DMC5! So, some good memories. Kinda wish the camera was a little bit faster. This moment in time. Ah, uh, goddammit. Kind of using my, uh, controller, you know, like the claw configuration with my fingers. Right now, just to, like, for maximum camera control. Oh, got more of this? Okay. Good. No, you could just have those. That's fine. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just stay here and let you take all that stuff. Oh, you fuck. Ah! It's too big. It's all the goddamn orbs. I'm good. No, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Everything's fine here. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't drop it in front of him, Hunter. You useless sack of shit. I say that as I fail this menial task of just trying to collect the orb. I'm taking my aggression out on another person. I'm using my own shortcomings to lash out. So that I don't have to accept responsibility. But seriously, fuck Hunter. Ow! 
Note, Haunter from Pokemon is fine. No problems with Haunter. Just, it's just Hunter that sucks. Getting some, oh, some Gruntilda fight vibes. Not really, but... Mm. Just the way I have to avoid these fireballs reminds me of that a little bit. To... Well, at least Hunter's dropping lots of sheep. Why does he have, uh, like, a supply of sheep in his bag anyway, though? It's really weird, dude. Dactyl fight. Dactyl has been given. This season on Vine Sauce, Dactyls, Ringles, Muppets, and Gordon Ramsay. And all of them have something in common. Except, well, never mind. The Beatles really don't have anything to do with any of those. Tried to lead my shots. That's another game I fucking hate. Burn Cycle. What an unlikable game that was. That game sucked. Not like I was expecting it to be good. It's worse when you want a game to be good and it's it's bad, but when you you know, when you're me and you play bad games on purpose, I guess you don't really have a leg to stand on. Oh. I didn't die during that fight, like I did for that previous one. Like the big boss from, I guess, World 2 or 3, whatever it was. I don't think we but that was a good fight. Thank you enough, Spyro. Challenging. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. I'll grab my stuff! There you go. I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. I'm sure he is. I want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Uh, Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and there. Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? Hey! Could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yeah! <laughs> this entire game is just Tom Kenny talking to himself, pretty much, right? Cool. Well, there's still a, like, a little bit left, right? Like, I have some bonus stuff to do now because I got 100%. But yeah, this is great. I would definitely, um, I would definitely play Spyro 3 at some point. Vinny, your entire stream is you talking to yourself. Wait, chat is also myself? What the fuck is this guy, bro? He's all bot. This ass guy is all bot. Who is these people? Him has too many subscribers. He's all bot, bro! Well done, Spyro! Step right into Dragon Shores Park! Oh, look, this looks like the CG from the Hobbit movies. I'm gonna say, what's that? You know, they have like a goblin section. It's like that. I guess I just have this now. That's awesome. Vinny, this power-up stays in repeat playthroughs. That's a cool reward. Vinny, you can only open that door by collecting every gem in the game. I figured. Or it's like the Millennial Fair. We're gonna win a clone of Spyro. 
Yeah, I didn't go on a co- uh, roller coaster this past year. I have to do that. Oh no. Oh god. When the weather gets nice, I have to go to Six Flags or, or something. Just something. I need to ride a roller coaster. I need... I need to feel what it's like to be on the verge of death. Even if it is, like, you know, Jape death. I have a need for speed. Good job, Dragon. Here's a token for you. Vinny, just eat Papa do? John's for a month if you want to feel... You like. like you're on the verge of death. Yes. Also, someone said, ride the Superman roller coaster in Six Flags. Here's a trick, chat. If you want a free phone, you know how they have free phone ads? If you really want a free phone, or some free sunglasses, or money, just hang out at the bottom. Oh, these are some interesting couples. <laughs> uh, just, just hang out at the bottom of the um, Superman roller coaster. Here's your one token. I don't know why the- suddenly the fucking camera controls are, like, really sensitive. Use your mouse? Oh, fuck. Wow, okay, that's easy. I didn't miss that one. I don't need to try another. I guess I do need to try another. Vinny, there's another coaster. I guess I have to do all of this stuff. Ah! Watch your dick! Welcome to the Green Lantern ride here at Six Flags. Watch your dick! Step right up, step right up. The only roller coaster that gives you a vasectomy. No kids, no problem. Come ride the Green Lantern. I, who's putting baby turtles on the tracks of this roller coaster? What the fuck? The management really needs to take a look at this. This is a problem. On a scale from one to 10 for, you know, pizza, quality, I'd give this like a seven and a half. It could be an eight if they just monitored the rise. It's so fun. Got really lucky I didn't just fucking crash into a wall there. Oh my god. Hey, not bad. Here's another token. <laughs> Got my token. This time you'll need oh, no. and install on your car to shoot down balloons as well. <sighs> I like how they're so blasé about this, like, it's no big deal, it's a crowded track. Like, hey, there's kids on the track! Moida! Yeah, I'm getting the Mario Sunshine vibes from this, too. And this came out before Mario Sunshine. Vinny, would you stream Sunshine? I did... ...a couple years ago. I used an HD texture pack, too, it looked really good. I would stream it again if it ever came to Switch. Otherwise, I don't really see a reason to. It's all there on full sauce, but it's a great game. Vinny, you should watch the first four seasons of Spongebob. I mean... Why is chat always trying to give me homework? Vinny, the test is tomorrow. Oh, okay. Just for kicks, eh, Spyro? You've already got your token. Oh, man! Oh, you can't... Mm. But there was another token there. Turns out, I got all the tokens, I think. Well, Spyro, it's your Good Ned. <laughs> Go on in and enjoy the show! Not a goblin. Is this just? Is this rain ever gonna stop? All the cutscenes from the game. What the sun looks like. We should go on vacation somewhere warm. Great. All right, so I'm good then. I got everything. This was decent bonus content, and you get a good upgrade for when you restart the game. I guess I don't know if that was worth it. You know the movie unlocks, but, um, I still had a pretty good time with that. Now do the skill points? What do you mean, skill points? One and three have better end game unlocks. Guidebook, and press Y. Oh. Oh god. N nope. Spyro 2 is finished. Let's keep up with the, the tradition and do a quick preview of Spyro 3. Spyru. Spyru Agnew, who was a vice president of the United States at one point, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was his name. What 
hell's going on? <laughs> Oh great, Hunter's still in this game. Get her! Stop her! But Vinny, don't you want art galleries? Um, I think there's an art gallery on Google. Alright, that's your preview. Capture the eggs, your highness. Every That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. No more context. You gotta wait. You gotta wait another year and a half before you get more context and more Spyro 3. Sorry. That's it. Egg stolen. What will happen? Find out in another year. Or two. If I'm alive. You know. You never know. I'll probably be alive. I wouldn't worry about it too much. 